Content warning for mentions of suicide, grooming, and rape. And because of how often it happens, content warning for yelling. Uh, lots of yelling. So hey, hi, Doodle Tones here, Slideshow Commentator, and usually I don't make follow-up videos. Usually I like just covering everything in a situation in one big swoop, cover all of my bases. Be as thorough as possible, because making follow-up after follow-up kind of feels like milking a situation, and I've never been particularly a fan of that play. Hence why this video is several hours in length. Though I know my audience likes that, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem, but I feel like this one might be more justified for a follow-up than usual because I've had a hectic 168 hours and so has everyone else involved. There's a lot of ground to cover and elaborate on, and frankly, as pretty much everyone's been saying for the past couple of years now, boy do I need a break. Anyway, I'm gonna try not to waste more of everyone's time. I don't know if this is going on my channel or Lyo's channel, so let me just get into it instead of doing my usual futzing about. So if you didn't see the last video talking about this, first and foremost, you should. The call was a lot more cathartic than I thought it was going to be. But the context of everything I'm going over really amounts to... I have a slideshow commentary community group called The Cloud Palace. It's got a very storied background. There was a user by the name of the Omega who used to be a part of it, but was removed because he was abusive and a bit of a dumbass. V then went on continuing to abuse people and even went as far as to groom minors and attempt rape. He was outed for this behavior in 2020. During the initial allegations coming out, one of the members, the Gelsio 79 initially defended V, which is fine, actually. People can be skeptical, especially at first. But after everything was all confirmed, you'd expect Vigil to maybe cut V off, yeah? Yeah. We did too. Some of us even remember conversations where it was brought up that Vigelcio did cut V off. But in reality, not only did he not do so, but had also forced miners to stay quiet about it, which was brought to our attention by Pink Robot, who had it brought to her attention by a user named Buggy Boy. I pressed Vigil on it and he folded like an origami crane and flew out of the community, choosing the child groomer over the rest of us. That's when we learned that four other members of the Cloud Palace, Bummer Patrol, Neko Shadows, Map Station, and Blazing Hope, not only knew of this information, but sat on it for years. The four were then removed from the group, which caused a bit of a stir within it. This led a user by the name of Keyblade Master to get upset at everything and started talking shit behind the scenes. Notably, Keyblade told another user in the chat, Ellie Momelli, to kill herself. And that's notable because Ellie had attempted to just a week or two prior to this situation happening, and Key knew this. So he and the four others were dragged into a call with Lyo where they were promptly chewed out for an hour. And that's what my previous video details. So what happened after the fact? Well, let's go down the list. As I was working on my video, we bullied a vulture. That was fun. But after the video was where things got really interesting. So we'll start by talking a little bit more about Vigil. Apparently, Vigil was a lot more like V Omega than we initially thought, telling a miner that the miner could have their way with him some years back. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Hello. So, um, I... I had a very shitty dinner. Hello. Hello. Okay, so, Bill, um, Taku wanted me to go ahead and set up a call with you because uh, he wanted to clarify some things about the uh, comment that he left in the uh, Cloat and Dagger video. Sure. Which I honestly... Which I know this might not be the... Uh, that. This might not be the best thing to say, but I can't I can't watch the final half of that video without a very strange look on my face. I'm not okay. going to elaborate further. <laughs> I'm not going to elaborate further. Uh no, but uh just I kind of assume like uh I know uh MTR mentioned to you that uh mentioned what I said. Yeah, apparently, and, like, uh, apparently Vigil was going around saying creepy things to you or something. Like uh wanted to non Connor. I have to go back and look at the, the comment again, but... Um, if it's alright with the both of you, I have the comment up. Uh, I can read it if you want. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, Taku have one hand said, I should 
uh, have probably seen the signs about Fiegel when he once said that, uh, that apparently Taku could rape Vigal if Taku ah, wanted to when Taku was 17. That's the one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and I can, um, and I mentioned this to MTR like a few minutes ago, like, this was back when I was in high school, so, uh, fuck, um, no, the issue is, I don't know, because, like, there's, like, a chance he could have said this, like, before, like, before, or, like, right after, because I know this happened, because I, I'm pretty confident this happened, like, right before my, before my birthday that year. Like, uh, uh, can can we know what your birthday was uh, for clarification? It's May tenth. Okay. Yeah. So, if it was around then or like before then, like, because I don't, because I don't think it was uh, on on the my birth. I was after that. Because I don't, uh... I, I think a point... No, I think, um... Because I was working on a video with Mav at the time on uh, one of Guru's, like, uh... Like, uh, I think one of the video Guru did about the CC. Oh, uh, yeah, the CC. And I think, like... Rants. Sorry, don't mind me. Yeah. No, I, I don't actually... I don't fucking remember the video, so I don't really care. Uh... But no, that went down. And I think it was around that time, because I was, like, relatively cordial with uh, him and V at the time. But uh, yeah, no, that's what he, that's, uh, what he said to me. Fair enough. So that was a little concerning to learn that we just had that in the group and no one telling me until now. And personally, I am floored. Like, yo, yo, we dealt with V. Why would nobody tell me this? Furthermore, if you have watched the previous video, that boyfriend Mav Station mentioned in the last call, the one that basically told Mav not to say anything, they reached out to me to give me some new info too, and I got a lot of information about V, but I'll keep that off to the side for later. V is only vaguely important to the situation after all. However, this boyfriend also gave me insight to the fact that Vigil was previously told that their association with V was dangerous to the miners in the group. And this fucking dumbass just shrugged it off with, Oh, I wanna say something, but I don't wanna be wooed, uwu. Like, what the fuck does that mean, Angel? You were warned of this shit beforehand, and you didn't care? Now, sure, that should be unsurprising, given that, one, he's still friends with V, and two, he told the miners in the SEC to stay quiet about his friendship. But to see him actually brush this shit off as passively callous as he did pisses me off in a way that I cannot properly articulate into words. Then there's the dynamic duo, Tippy and Key. But blazing hope for those who don't know who Tippy is. The both of them dipped into alt accounts, and boy, that was a fucking headache. Starting with Tippy. Poor little baby Tippy. I had a user by the name of Degenerate reach out to me about her backdoor behavior. Apparently, Tippy was also doing the Vigil thing and silencing people who knew about Vigil's relationship with V. The biggest difference was that Degenerate cut contact with Vigil, whereas Tippy didn't until it became an issue. Also, after my video, Tippy reached out to New Metal Slayer to reach out to me to get me to take my video down. Obviously, that's not happening, less so now. And if it wasn't him, then it was a friend of Tippy's and Key's by the name of Zephy, who caught wind of Umbris, another SEC member who used to be friends with those removed, doing a video about this whole ordeal and came in to interrogate her into stopping production on that video. Nezzy Monster wanted to talk to this one, and things I think worked out. Hopefully. Alright, I'll start up the recording. Let's see if... Okay. Now you do that, I'll... Um... Oh. Yeah. Uh, hi. Uh, I don't hi. think I ever expected to get uh, called here. Yes, hi. you have. So, uh, Nezzy wanted to talk with you specifically, but, um, there is the three of us here as admins? 
Uh, and okay. we'll either chime in if we've got something to say, or we'll reel the conversation in if it needs to get, if it gets too out of, off topic, I guess. I you want to know why I called you in here? Lay it on me. Your message is to Umbris. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, yeah, curiosity got the better of me there. The curiosity? Includes confronting her by saying, what the heck are you doing? And then proceeding to downplay the damage that was done. That curiosity. Yeah. So explain to me, how is the consequences exactly disproportionate? Okay. All right. I'm just going to let it be known uh, that. Okay. So I hate that. Okay. All right. I need to make uh, full disclosure. I, I, uh, okay, so I hate how Key conducted himself, uh, before, uh, for it's like, yeah, it was a complete asshole there. Yeah, and I, like, even today, I still, like, want to, like, smack, smack him being like, what were you thinking there? And with, uh, with Tip, with Tippy, you know, I, I just learned, uh, yesterday that the, uh, person that, she was in touch with that happened to be still secretly be friends with V, just happened to be Vega. Like, I regret not knowing about that sooner. So I'm ashamed of me, uh, Tippy there. Okay, so it's like, it's like, all right. Get to the point. Okay, now. so it's like, they're, they're, they're already out, which that's fair. Uh, you know, yeah, everyone like hates their guts, which it's like, yeah, that's uh, also fair. Mm-hmm. You have yet to explain why the consequences are disproportionate. Explain that now. Okay. All right. So it's like, uh, I heard that. Okay. It's like I. It's like I already heard. It's like I heard that like Umbers wanted like sound off. Her thoughts about it. I don't know oh, if it was through like Spill a longer. It. What is disproportionate? Just get to the point. Okay. So. This is like the seventh time you said okay. Say it now. It's like when I heard uh, she was going to like talk about it like uh, more. It's like I thought. Uh, I, I, I remember uh, thinking at. Uh, isn't that like pouring uh, more like gasoline, like on like a f on like uh, the fire there? So I want to explain something to you, Zeppi. Okay. Because I have a feeling that one, you're being incredibly biased because you dated Tippy. Two, we have known that she has infantilized herself in this chat. And three, that she may have not told you the whole thing. So I want you to listen to me right now, and I want you to understand every fucking word I'm about to say. You got that? Yeah. Tippy chose a pedophile over her friends. I want to make that fucking clear right now. V was in contact with Vigil, Tippy no for two years, and allowed this motherfucker to be around a bunch of minors, and you think that someone, Umbris, who watched all that happen, who got told about this, who just turned into a fucking adult, should be quiet about it? I want you to I want you to answer me when I say that. You think they should be quiet about this? Right fucking now. I don't think they should be quiet about this. So what the hell? What the hell were the DM messages saying? Oh, I don't think you should do this. And what about, well, haven't they gone through enough? Well, what about, what about Tippy? I know that Key's, I'll oh, fuck him, but Tippy. Oh, poor little oo-woo baby Tippy. What about her? Huh? All right, I'm just going uh, right through the messages again for reference. And it's like. No, I read them. Oh, oh I read them. I read them 10 minutes ago, waiting for your ass to get in here. What are you doing messaging Umbris to stop talking about it when it just 
fucking happened. And not only that, I want you to understand this right now. Not only that, but the fact that Tippy went around and lied about what happened in numerous servers and then proceeded to make a separate server after being talked about to Lyo, Lyo and Key, Lyo sat down Key and Tippy, told them, hey, if you start spreading more shit, things are going to go down and you're going to be my problem. And guess what, motherfucker? You're about to be my problem too. You need to understand that they made another server and proceeded to talk more shit, lying about the situation, enabling one another. Because Key told a friend of ours, who's already suicidal, had the grippy socks in her motherfucking hand, to go kill herself. And Tippy also locked that down under wraps. The only reason any of us know any of this happened is because of Umbris. So I want you to tell me why you're telling this girl Hey, you know, maybe don't say anything because the fire's gonna get worse. The fire got worse, motherfucker, because they wouldn't shut the hell up. Because they never left. They stayed. They're on alt accounts, wandering around everybody, trying to see if they can weasel their way back in with a second CC, even though they didn't learn jack shit. And who knows, they're still in contact with them. So what are we gonna do if they make another SCC and they add minors to that SCC, knowing that they're around a fucking dick-riding pedophile motherfucker? You bust them. How? They're friends with them! I know you want to be friends with Tippy, but I think you really need to think about the things that you're saying and why you're saying them. Tippy's not going to fuck you. Do you understand me? Yeah. So I want you to go to Umbris and I want you to fucking apologize right now. And if you bring up the glass houses shit again, I want you to explain that to me. What do you mean by the glass houses thing? Because you want to know what glass houses mean? It means that two individuals are throwing rocks at one another in a glass house that both have faults to them. So what exactly are the faults that Tippy has on the same account as all the people that are ostracizing her right now? You want to tell me that? Why is that? What do they have in common with their faults? Answer me now. Okay, so with uh with what they have in common with your, your faults, it's like you mean Tippy and Key in this instance, right? Yes. No. Well Yes? Yes, because in the DMs he says that Tippy and Key are saying that people are throwing glass houses, gl glass houses, throwing stones at glass houses at one another. Well, no, then well, the comparison would be between <clears throat> Tippy and, say, like Umbris, as an example. So, what do they have in common in terms of their faults? All right. So, at least with Tippy and Umbris, uh, yeah, I don't. They don't. I don't think they got much in common with uh, their faults. So you're dealing with a glass house and a brick fence, right? Because I want you to be aware on something. Tippy and Key could go on a double date with Pot and Kettle for all I fucking care right now. Do I you understand to... me? Yeah. If you do this bullshit again, we're going to bring the Salayo or you're going to have to deal with me again. Do you understand me? Yeah. Now you're going to go DM Umbris and you're going to fucking apologize. And I, I hear you doing this shit again, silencing someone younger than you, less experienced than you, someone who probably looked up to you. I am going to beat your fucking ass. Do you understand? Not to mention yeah. that Umbris is also a victim, one of the victims to be. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, I know. She's also a victim of V. Yeah. She was... You... She was also a victim of V. Yeah. 
and you wanted to quiet her down when she was friends with an individual that still had also, contact with them, meaning that they very well could have caused V to get in contact with her again! Okay, also, just so we're clear, uh, I didn't tell Umbers to not t uh, talk about it. I just, all yes, I said was... Yes, did. You said, yeah. and I quote, it's like putting gasoline on a fire. That is guilt tripping her into not speaking. Well, because it could make things worse. Do you understand what context of your words mean? Don't give me this bullshit. Oh, I didn't mean that. Is it because you were talking with her privately and you didn't think she would come to us? The fucking adults? Because apparently we're the only adults in this situation because Key's given death threats and having anime monologues like a betrayed protagonist in a shitty anime and Tippy's sitting there like an uwu baby crying her little eyes out. Well, what about me? What about the victims in the situation? Tippy could have very well caused V to get in contact with Umbris once again, a previous victim. Do you understand? Yeah. You want to downplay this shit? You want to look me in the fucking eye and say that these consequences are disproportionate? She lets a pedophile near multiple children, potentially another predator from what we've seen. So you want to tell me that the consequences are disproportionate? Tell me that again. Tell me that again right fucking now to my face, that the consequences are disproportionate. I'd say they got what they deserve. Exactly. So if I see you do this shit again, you're going to deal with me. Do you understand me? Yeah. You are going to DM Umbris, and you are going to apologize to her, and you are going to let her speak, or so help me God, your mouth will be where your ass is because you need to get your head out of your dick and your head in the fucking game and realize what's happening. Do you understand me? Yeah. I don't want to hear this shit from you again. Hey, DM her where? right now. Apologize yeah. to her right now. Show me the DM and then you can leave. May I ask a question before he leaves? What? Yeah. Hello, um, you don't know me. I don't care that you don't know me. Okay. I have a genuine question, because it's been bothering me. Um, why exactly is this, what, the third time? The third time, I believe, maybe the fourth, that one of y'all, in either Tippy or Keyblade's name, has gone to specifically Umbris. To say, don't say anything. If Why? I can, if I can mention two things, uh, it's like, uh, one, like, uh, I, okay, one, I just wanted to understand what Umbers was like, you know, what, where she was like, uh, coming from with what. No, you didn't. No, 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 Don't give me that bullshit right now, because I have also seen those fucking screenshots. The thing y'all don't seem to understand by this point is that anything y'all are going to say, it's going to get back to us. Why is it each every time it's Umbris don't say anything? Why? Why is it? Why is it any time? I have a sneaking suspicion, because you don't know me, but Keyblade and Timmy know me. That if I opened my mouth on Twitter.com, I wouldn't be getting no fucking DM saying, oh, but June, that wouldn't that be adding gasoline, like adding gasoline to a fire? Because motherfucker, Umbris, Umbris, and I looked at those screenshots and I also follow Umbris, <laughs> is on a locked account. Meaning only a limited amount of people are going to say it. Tell me what, for what reason, for what reason do y'all... Do you feel like you can just coerce Umbris? Is it because she's younger? Is it because she's more sensitive? If I is it because she's been through a lot in, in this community and is much more of a people, a people pleaser than, say, me or Nezzy or Ellie? Would you be saying this to Ellie? If Ellie wanted to go talk about it on Twitter, would you be in Ellie's DMs right now? No. Why? That's what we thought. All right, if I can go on to the second thing... uh forgot exactly which week it was, but, you know, sometime after, like, Umbers and I just got onto, you know, speaking uh, terms, I, 
I was under the impression with like, oh, we were tight. You know, we could just, you know, ask each other like what about stuff. It's like she came to me uh, about uh, how he conducted himself, and we were on the same page there. Where it's like, this is I not answering believe- my question at all. I'm gonna say it. Point blank, word for word, one by one, punctuation, my goddamn fucking punctuation. Why is this the third or fourth time you people have gone to Umbris to tell her not to say fucking anything? And also, why the hell would you not tell Ellie the same thing? That was the question initially. That was Yoon's initial question when we asked you, would you go to Ellie about this? And you said no. Why would you not tell Ellie this same thing? You know, phrase it differently. Let me phrase it differently. Because for some reason, we all care about t- Tippy thinks. So let me ask the friends, the fucking dick writers of Tippy right now. If Tippy was Umbris right the fuck now, and there was someone going to uh, to Tippy three or four fucking times after Tippy was the victim in a situation, saying "Don't talk about it, don't talk about it, don't talk about it." Yeah, you heard me tell your best fr- your, one of your close friends that I hope she fucking dies. Don't tell her about it. Yeah, I know you're a victim in the situation and you were manipulated multiple times. Don't talk about it. What would you be saying to Tippy? What would you be saying to that person? Can you run by uh, that by me? Uh, can you uh, run that? Do you with not me? understand this, the question of what if Tippy was in the was same spot Tippy instead of Umbris? Would you be saying this to Tippy? If Tippy wanted to speak about a situation in which she was the actual victim, would you tell her not to talk about it because it would make it worse? No. Then why that- are you telling Umbris that? Why wouldn't you tell Ellie that? Do you see? You're about to go in a fucking glass house in a minute. You don't deserve a house. You don't deserve even a glass house right now. Is Umbris not a person to you? Does, you just said y'all, y'all were tight now. I want oh you to God. be clear on this, Zephy. Susie's Every video. Day. The comment section. Umbris was the minor in the situation. Everyone else is an adult. Everyone is over the age of 20. You're over the age of fucking 20. Umbris just turned 18. She's practically still a kid. So explain to me, Zephy, why you wouldn't tell Tippy to stay quiet or Ellie to stay quiet. The two very clear adults instead of the child. Ask you a question. Okay, Is, so... No, 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 no. Let's scratch uh, that for a second. Oh, Let's scratch that for a second. Uh, <laughs> yeah. At least let him answer. <laughs> Okay, so the first question was, why wouldn't I uh, tell, like, Ellie this? And if they answer that, well, it's like, I haven't exactly been on, like, speaking terms with uh, Ellie, so it'd be be weird coming up to her and be like, uh, hey, uh, it's like, if I, it's like, because it's like, if I were to go up to her, which we don't even speak much, if at all, if I go to her and be like, hey, my stupid friend just uh, well, wished you, uh, you'd kill yourself. It's like... That's not the like question. That was not the question. That was not the fucking question. The because question you know, was... Look, I'm going to... I'm going to... No, I know the answer to the question. The answer to the question is because the other two people are your, fr- your actual close friends. Tippy is the girl you used to date. You're much more closer to Tippy than you are to Umbris. Umbris is weak to y'all. Umbris is manipulated, is, is, a, is easy to manipulate to y'all, which I don't understand. After this is like the third fucking, fourth fucking time, Umbris has immediately went to someone with screenshots. I don't know how y'all are still that fucking stupid. So let me, let me change the question. Let me give you an easier question. The gasoline on the fire. Is the fire... Umbris, you are going to get heat for this. Don't do it. Or Umbris, my friends are going to look worse. Maybe don't do it. Because in your screenshots, you say, 
oh, they're scared for their lives as if the SEC is going to kill them, even though they've supposedly left. Well, they haven't really left. They keep coming back under different aliases. So I want you to explain and answer Yun's question. What do you mean by the gasoline and fire? It's like, it's like, at least with uh, with that analogy used, I'm, uh, I was thinking, you know, with, uh, you know, with more being stacked, uh, they, uh, they just probably wouldn't be around anymore, uh, period. Or, you know, or, or no one would see them. I don't they think that people who defend a predator deserve to be around, especially when they're making an alt CC, which would potentially have more miners in it, when none of us are aware of their current connection with Vigil, who was protecting this individual. Do you understand me? Yeah, I understand. The consequences are not sinking in. That's the problem that we have. The reason why Umbris is speaking up is because she's tired of covering all of your asses. And I have a feeling that all of you are getting scared because she is growing into a confident woman who is going to speak up when you shit on her. Well, I need you, Tippy, and Keyblade to understand is by this point in time, nobody's on your fucking side. None of us trust you. You've all chosen. I want you to understand something, Zephy, from the outside perspective. Not only the perspective of people that have been friends with them for three years. I want you to understand that people who tell others to stay quiet, people who lie about the situation in other servers, people who enable their friends in terms of their actions and actively hide them, are not people that you typically trust. So, just a brief thing. Uh, it's okay to drag Sarah in here, right? Because he actually had something to speak with Zephy about. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Apologies it took so long for me to get here. I was getting my combat skirt on. That's fine. Anyway. Log the Ido's logged in here too while <clears throat> Well then it would just be open discussion now, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. We've we've got enough people in here. Yeah, real quick. Do you mind if I say <laughs> something real quick? Go ahead, okay. that's why we brought you in. Okay, so Zephy, I don't know if you uh check the chats too closely, but I do have something I would I've been meaning to tell you for a little bit now. Okay. Okay, so you know how everyone knows about the fact that, like, Key was sharing leaked screenshots and, like, certain other information? Yeah. That was me. I was the one who leaked that information. Okay. I figured I'd let you know, because I feel like by being upfront about this, I think it would be a way to tell you that, like, I'm we're clearly trying to be civil here. You made the right call. Thank you. No, because I was gonna say, like, I'm not against you guys being friends, and I also want to clarify that I'm not against us being friends. But I personally feel like, I'm not, not saying it needs to be right now, but I feel like you, at some point, once Key and Tippy are, like, emotionally better, you need to, like, hold them accountable. You need to just go up to them and be like, hey, you guys need to be actively working to improve yourselves, you know? No, they need to be actively accountable right now. Something that I've noticed in this community is that Tippy and Key tend to be held with kids' gloves. You don't need to go down on them hard, but you need to hold them accountable. Yeah, you gotta go off the cuff, cuff for them. Zephy, can, I, can I tell you a story real quick? Yes, love. Okay. I, want to, I just want to tell you a story. Mm -hmm. It's a situation that happened to me. So, mm -hmm. I knew a person who I had a... I was acquainted with them, and I had a falling out with them. They said something very similar to what Keyblade said to Ellie, to another close friend of mine. They told her that if she were to kill herself, everybody she loves would forget about her. 
I and don't like her out, going. And I called her out for it. And for the next two years, she would change her username, start situations with my friends, with me, wouldn't be honest, try to silence people, and every single time it was found out she did it, she would cry, she would say she's in a dark place, her friends would say we're making it worse, and then she would leave, change her username, and come back. You want to know what's happening to her right now? What? Lyle Convoy called her mother. Do you, you want to know what you're doing right now? You are enabling that same exact behavior in Tippy. Because Tippy isn't being honest. Tippy is running from her problems. Tippy is changing her name. Tippy is having other people come as middlemen to pass on messages to silence people. And you want to know what's going to happen to Tippy? What? Lyo's going to come. If Lyo Convoy has anything to do with it, she won't be on the internet for a year. He's You're creating Aaron. another monster by He's enabling Aaron. this behavior. I'm sorry, Ian. <laughs> But Your Keith's fine. parents have almost been also contacted. All of these people but you know who I'm referring to. All of these people have seen what that kind of behavior can do to a person. And you're all doing it to Umbris. You're who not... is much younger than I am. I want you to understand that you're not doing Tippy any favors by doing this. You are you're creating actively... a monster. Yes, you're actively removing a chance for her to gain accountability because her message to Stag is very telling in that, oh, how are we supposed to move on if uh, no, the mess her message was... Huh? Her message, first and foremost, if you're referring to the message that I think you are, you're referring to the message to Slayer. And actually, Slayer. Becky, do you know what that message was? Can I read it? Go ahead. I mean, it was directed okay. at me, but sure, go ahead. You want to know what your friend Tippy said at 3.39 a.m.? 3.39 a.m. August 1st. Yes. Okay. 3.39 a.m. on August 1st, on a Tuesday. I don't, well, I, the August 1st might be a glitch, because it's a Steam thing. You get it's my point, Steam silence, thing. silence woman. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Slayer, I need to ask you something, but can you, like, tell Susie to perhaps private the video or at the very least mitigate this issue? This issue. Me and Key are fucking scared right now for our lives. We do want to take accountability and we do want to apologize, but with the way things are going, I don't think any one of us can be able to do so without the fear of being chased after. All we want is for the both of us to move on with our lives after this. And I want you to understand something, Zephy. This is who you're enabling. You're enabling an individual who basically just said, I want to move on from a situation that just happened, and I want people to stop talking about it so that I can escape it without having to do anything about it. I want you to recognize that this is a repeated behavior, not just with Key, because I found out something interesting about Key in that what he did to Ellie is pretty common because the way that he talks to other people in DMs is not the same way he talks to us when he's in call because he is what we call a pussy. I need you to understand something. Tippy and Key are not people who are honest. What they want is to appear honest because integrity died 30 years ago. So I want you to really think about your relationship with these two individuals. I don't care if you stay friends with them. We're not friends. I don't care if you stay in contact with them, but I want you to reevaluate before you defend them, 
because I don't think they're telling you the whole entire truth of what happened. And not to exhaust the point further, um, if I may, um, the key I know has also been going into the background in other chats, other private chats, to talk negatively about, you know, this, this group, this community, and especially myself, uh, after I'd released my video. I have a, I have another screenshot where he basically took the last DMs between us and threw it into a chat where another individual in there, I guess, miss, uh, like, chose not to read the screenshots and basically said that I was being two-faced behind the scenes. And Key is all, uh, Key is, is like enabling that. And, and alongside Tippy. Like, I, ever since my video came out, just yesterday, people have been coming to me about other things that maybe I didn't know. Like, apparently, according to the Absolute Degenerate, uh, Tippy was, uh, was telling, uh, telling Degenerate to, to be quiet about everything, was, was telling, telling him to be silent about everything. Um, according to... Uh, according to, to, um, who was it? Uh, according to MavStation's boyfriend, um, you know, going back to Vigil, uh, Vigil was apparently told how the consequences of him being friends with V would affect other people, and he chose to completely, like, just shrug that off. Tippy apparently... Um, some people have, have pointed out that Tippy has gone into Pog to lie about, like, what happened in the Cloud Palace, and apparently even lied in the call with, uh, with, uh, Lyo Heaton and I. Just, uh, just yet, oh, that was put out just yesterday. Um, it's, the, the, the thing is, is, I, I, I just can't sit here and, I, I can't sit here and, and, and not put into question, like, why you would be, like, wanting us to stay silent about this kind of behavior. Uh, uh, can I say something real quick? Sure. Okay, so, I okay, I have no idea what was sent, but I'm kind of a little confused, uh... Whenever I'm told I want this kind of thing to be silent, since you know I'd it's... rather yeah, I'd rather okay, not it's... anything be silent. Since if you got to call something out, then call it out. Well, the... let me read something from you. The thing, yeah, the the thing that 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 caught my eye with with you, I guess, say uh, with with you maybe insinuating that you want it to be silence, right? Um, was. After, so, so you had said, yo, is it okay for me to ask what the heck are you doing? Umbris questioned that. Uh, you had said, I just heard from the grapevine that you intend to make a doc or something about this week, and I wanted to confirm if that's even true, and ask why it would even be necessary since they're already gone. Umbris says, that's not true. Who told you? If it was because of this tweet, I have my thoughts. You say, that's fair, but with it already being a rough week for everybody, why pour more gasoline on that fire? It just doesn't make sense to me. Umbris says, See, I just wanted to explain why I, uh, why I was locked, since I wanted to inform people why I was locked. If Key and Tippy are talking shit about me, trust me, I'd love to hear about it. Then you continue to say, uh, They say it's not a good call to throw stones at glass houses, but nevertheless, whatever you choose to uh, go about things, all I'm asking is to be very careful. Be firm, but be fair. They fucked up, but they've already faced disproportionately large consequences as things already stand. So it, there's a few things in this, in this, in these DMs that point me to you wanting Umbris to stay silent about it. Um, the, uh, the why would it be necessary since they're already gone? Why pour more gasoline on that fire? It doesn't make sense to me. 
um, they've already faced disproportionately large consequences because, or, no, it's like they fucked up, but they've already faced disproportionately large consequences. It sounds to me like you're putting into question why Umbris would say something. It's, it's insinuating a, a want for Umbris to maybe rethink this and not go through with it further. It's insinuating Umbris should be silent. Can you answer something for me, Zephy? Yeah. And I want you to answer me honestly. I'm asking these co- questions in earnest. Are you stupid? Yes or no? No. Do you think we're stupid? No. Why do you act like we can't fucking read what you're saying? You want to know what this is called, Zephy? The courthouse. No. Oh. You want to know what you're doing is called? Okay, what am I doing? Weaponized incompetence. Oh. It is very common in that it's a very common tactic amongst couples in which men will do a job badly and then proceed to use that as an excuse as to why they don't do that job at all. This could be laundry or washing dishes or vacuuming. You keep acting like, I don't know what's going on. When did I say I silence them? But your language towards her, your language in your text, as if we didn't read them, as if none of us understand context or what it means to write something. So I want to ask you, I'm not going to ask you, I'm going to demand this of you. Fuck off with the weaponized incompetence right now. Because we can go further into these screenshots. We've got you saying, where's the... Uh, uh, I already at- get the memo. Okay. No, 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 sir. No, sir. I, uh, how old are you? 24. You're 24. That's a pretty big You're age. You're older than me. That's a, that's a pretty big age. You know what? I'm proud of you for getting this far. I... No, you don't get the memo. Because I've been sitting and I've been listening and I have yelled for, admittedly, anyone who got spooked. I'm sorry. Um, Same. Uh, hmm. Here's my thing that gets me. Are you saying... Like, are you confused? Are you making the claim and questioning the whole silencing bit because you didn't say word for word, Umbris don't say anything? Is that why? Sure. Don't so you're still aware. sure. It's a, no, 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 sure. Don't sure me. We're not doing this. It's a yes or no question. Answer. Now. Why? No, let me, okay, let me do it in a way that you can say more than a yes or no. Because apparently that's too hard. You need a lot of words. And I understand that. I also have a big mouth. What exactly about what I've said or Nezzy said or Susie said about silencing Umbris, what part confuses you about, what confuses you about it being silencing? It's uh, just the parts where uh, where it's like, you know, it wasn't exactly uh, what I intended, and it wasn't something I said either. All I said was just to be firm and fair about it. I don't care okay, what so, your Hold on, was. hold on. That's hold not on. what you said. <clears throat> so Umbra says, okay, so like, can you not damage control the situation as Keen, Nekos, and Tiffy did? Yes, you are aware of what they did was wrong, but I do not believe for a second that they've learned that the, uh, from that courthouse call, they're continuing to go around spreading lies, talking shit, and trying to get the video taken down. Oh, and also, disproportionately large consequences, are you fucking kidding me? You responded with, where's the lie on that one? They're already out of the public eye with everyone hating their guts, and rightfully so, but also at the detriment of having their safety risk with some peeps wanting to go after them after the video was up, you can say whatever you want about me, I'm just looking at things practically here. Um, 
Umbris continues by saying they put their safety at risk by talking shit and rightfully getting hit. They are actively making a situation worse by continuing to talk shit behind people's back, which is precisely what Lyo told Key not to do. When it comes to glass houses, Tippy and Key should really take the pot and the kettle on a double date. There's too much to focus on poor little Tippy and Key being put in danger when Tippy was the one who actively withheld information about Beedrill for two uh, for two miners and thus put miners like myself at risk. If I may ask, what did Key and Tippy say in detail about me? I'd love to know. Also, I'd love to know what the proportional consequences you'd like to be taken because to me these guys are getting ramifications that they very much deserve. You answered that with i'll answer your question if you can answer one i have i figured that would be fair to propose since we both seek some clarity here by the way love that deflection Ombris says you know what sure thing then you say what do you uh what do you want to achieve out of this you know they've already been vilified and about everyone we happen to know is heartbroken and the likeliness of either of them being back on anyone's good graces is less than slim and you're already in a nice spot where you don't see them again and that works to your benefit since you don't ever want to see them again anyways. So what's the end goal here with the, your exact intentions? This is the impression I'm getting, so correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like you just want them to not exist, period. Like the fact that they're already out of the picture and nowhere near you is enough, they need to be eradicated without a trace. Can you enlighten me on anything here? Also, love those insinuations, love those assumptions. We love to keep it classy here. Love the very smart ass attitude that you seem to prevent in these present in these. So See, I want to ask pause? you. Huh? Can, can we pause, can we pause real quick? Because yes. <clears throat> now I have to know because in my mind it's been brought up more than once. Who's going after Key and Tippy? How is how how are their lives in danger? Who said that they're gonna go after? They're gonna find their docs. They're gonna find out where they live. They're gonna go hunt them down. They're gonna cause them bodily harm. They're gonna. Ruin their lives outside of the internet. Who who said that we're gonna do that? I want I want receipts. Give me them. I wanna see. I wanna see for myself. We want names. Because if they're doing that, that is disproportionate and they should be handled. I just think it's funny that we're not being shown this. We're being told this. Or you got told by Tippy and Key. Yeah, you're uh, right there. I was told. Mm -hmm. Did they show you? There's the shoe. Mm -hmm. Did they show you anything, or did they tell you? They didn't show anything. I wonder why. Also, vilified, as in people made them out to be the villain and aren't justified in their anger, or they have a slim chance of getting in anyone's good graces as if they deserve that. You're in a nice spot where you don't see them again, as if they're not currently talking about us right now. How do you know that they don't have plans to go after Umbris? Especially considering they didn't care about her safety to begin with. So you just took this at, you took this at face value. Went after somebody to get them to be quiet. I want you to sit there and really think about that for like a minute. Just an, it's an 18 year old a freshly 18 year old an 18 year old that was a victim of a serial abuser an 18 year old who over the course of let's say three days at least for this specific thing had been told by multiple people to withhold to hold in serious information oh but what a away from people she trusts and cares about but what about tippy what about her feelings, huh? This was Someone all- Someone who's 26. And you contributed to it because you were told something without evidence. You do know that you could look at Susie's comment section, right? You could see for yourself. You could ask anybody. Susie, are you in contact with Zephy in any way? Uh, I don't believe so. Maybe? Is there anyone that? Oh, well, how is that? How did Zephy get here? Sarah. It's through Sarah. Yeah. So I you sent, couldn't I have asked. The link. So you couldn't have asked. Sarah does. Sarah does is in the Cloud Palace. You couldn't have asked. No. Umbris. You brought it up with her. You don't think that we're not monitoring that comment section? We're not watching what everyone's saying. All of us have Twitter. I have an email. I have a business email. All of us have Twitter. 
You had no means of contact with any of us to see what, what was going on? You, you just blindly trusted them? So if I were to tell you, what if I said, oh, I don't know. <sighs> Let me just come up with something. Hmm. At the very least. Tiffy said she's going to kill my cat. And I, and I just said that. I feel my cat's in danger because Tippy said she's going to kill my cat. You're just going to blame me blindly? Uh, see, I th- it's like if, uh, if it was just set out the open, you know, person's going to kill my cat. It's like, I just think that would be pretty far-fetched because, like, how would you even be able to reach them? How is that not as equally as far-fetched as these two people... In discord, in, in, that that was from a very extremely, incredibly niche internet community, are fearful for their lives because their actions have been set out in the open. I'm pretty sure that nobody even knows Tippy doesn't live close to near any of us. Also, you tend to have a very common thing that I've seen talking to you right now. Tippy has a tendency to downplay what she did repeatedly by not being completely honest. He has the tendency to go behind all of our backs and talk shit instead of saying it to our faces, saying the most vile things, calling us dishonest and uh, that we should kill ourselves. You never answer a question directly. And I'm getting real tired of it. So when you move on from this, you are going to answer directly. I don't want any of this, well, hypothetically, this goes down, or context of something that is not related at all. I want you to answer me directly. Do you understand me? Yeah. And if we catch you doing it again, because all of us are very aware of manipulative tactics from our own personal experience of dealing with people just like you, we can recognize it. We can recognize patterns. We can recognize certain things about an individual while speaking to them because that's partially our job. And I want you to understand that I, too, have fucked up before. And I have believed someone with very little evidence. And you want to know what I did? What did you do? I read out. I wrote out an apology twice because I also got something wrong in my first apology. I wrote out an apology, trying the best that I could with my memory. I tend to have a bad memory because of my mental health issues. That's not an excuse. It's an explanation. And I shared that on every single platform. I had an apology sent to the individual in question because I didn't want to contact them. They were, uh, I believe, friends with a doctor at the time. And I had a conversation with one of the people involved. I didn't hide anything. I didn't talk to them and say, well, you should, you should take this. I did tell a friend if they could take it down, which I do regret. They didn't take it down. I didn't bother them again. I understand being scared. I understand being panicked. But I need you to realize that this is a repeated pattern that Tippy is not being honest with you on. In that she sends out you, her little cocaine mule, to go around and spread her little messages around because she doesn't want to face consequences. And I know she doesn't want to face consequences because she is actively hiding from everyone involved. No apology to Umbris, no apology to Ellie, no apology to Susie, no apology from Key. No one. They're hiding. Going on this dramatic fashion of, oh, this is now the Tippy archive and going to a different account where this is Key's alt with an edgy as fuck profile picture. Oh, I'm going to only, you know, fill this chat with my friends so that they know, um, I know that they care about me. I'm going to try to find something real quick. Give me one second. You guys can keep talking. if. You... Well, Nazi tries to find it. I'm going to go back to the whole life, life is threatened kind of thing. Yeah. Genuinely, genuinely, oh, silliest 
punk is the silliest thing I ever heard. Shenanery is off the charts. <laughs> I want to know, what exactly, how exactly is telling Umbris to not make a Twitter thread? Voicing her thoughts? How is that s- stopping these people from harming them? Well, how is this the direct solution? It isn't. What? Yeah. Um. Why wouldn't you? Why wasn't your first thought to be like, "Who are these people?" And then so you could put those people on blast because threatening their lives. Yeah, that is pretty disproportionate. And if you wanted to keep your friends safe, Umbra shouldn't have been the one you were focused on. It should have been the people threatening your friend's life. I found it, by the way. And, Zephy, I know that I yelled at you for a good five minutes. But I want you to understand. I know this sounds pretentious, but I'm having a bachelor's in psychology. I'm trying my very best to understand your perspective. I think it's really great to be empathetic, even towards people that you're having a really hard time with, to understand their perspective. I am trying my best to understand what the hell you messaged Umbris, as angry as I am. And I can understand that maybe you were worried for Tippy, but you were brought in here for a reason. And this is to learn a lesson. I've learned this lesson the hard way. A lot of us have learned this lesson the hard way. Don't go gallivanting around with your armor when you have nothing to fight for. I'm going to read you a message from Tippy. Is that all right? Yeah. Now, who this was sent to Ellie. Yo, so I'm not going to come back to this account. I will make it an archive primarily for Zephy, and I do plan to make an apology, which will be sent soon. With that said, I do want to say this. In spite of everything, including the last call we had, I want to apologize to you, mainly because out of everyone, you've been the most, you've been the one of, you've been the one of the more critical towards me. And in spite of wishing things would have been different, you had every right to be mad at me. You didn't deserve me lashing out at you and everything that happened through the entire thing. Additionally, I want to say that I do not support anything that Key said on my server, even though she hit it. I chewed him out. I don't believe that. I called him out on it. Don't believe that. And I'm disappointed in him. And I gave permission to Livy to at least be able to talk about this to Susie so you can know about this. I'm genuinely sorry for this. Also, that didn't happen either. Um, I'm genuinely sorry. If I remember correctly, Susie um, gave permission to Livy and then she didn't do it. Uh, gave permission to do what? Uh, she says, and I gave permission to Livy to at least be able to talk about this to Susie so you can know about this. <clears throat> Did that actually happen? Because um, we found out about it through Umbris. Oh, uh, maybe. I, I, if, if that is how it went down, then I don't know. I just know that I wound uh, up with those DMs in my, uh, in mine, so... Hmm. I'm genuinely sorry for this as someone who has went through suicidal ideation a few days ago. It is unacceptable, and yet they're still friends. It isn't fair to you nor anyone including me, making it about herself. I will be taking steps on my own accord in regards to improving myself and getting self-betterment, and while I don't expect for forgiveness, I'm going to continue to move and strive in spite of everything that just happened, despite that she's trying to actively hide everything that was done. Uh, additionally, I want to, I want to say that I do not support anything that Key said on my server. Oh, what the fuck? I'm in the wrong spot. Hold on. Oh, God. She, oh, this is such a bad screenshot. I'm sorry, Ellie. Uh, you're good. Um, I will be taking steps and for I'm going to continue to move and strive in spite of everything that happened and will practice on in order to never do something like this again. And yet she's doing it again. Made a whole server so that people could be the lovely voices in her little chamber, echoing everything and reassuring her that she didn't do anything wrong. From what I've seen of uh, Umbris's lovely screenshots. No, not Umbris, Sarah's. She didn't learn anything, Zephy. And she used you as a means of sending a message so that she can further hide. You can't fix a situation 
this way. You can't take accountability when no one's allowed to speak. You understand that, don't you? Yeah. So again, I want you to write an apology to Umbris. And I better like it before you send it to her. All right. Actually, Zephy, can I tell else you anything you want to say? Can I tell you one more story? Uh, Zephy? Sure. Uh, Susie, you know where I'm going with this. Because I'm not going to sit here and act holier than thou and not act like I didn't campaign for a terrible person before. Susie, you know where I'm going with this. So let me give you a cautionary tale. So you don't end up like me or Susie. You see, I once had a friend who was really pop was pretty popular, pretty charismatic, had quite a few people backing her up. She was also, you know, had some mental health issues. She needed some help. So we helped okay. her. We helped her. Oh well, Susie. I'm telling I'm telling Zephy a cautionary a tale about us. Because I don't want Zephy to end up in the same spot that you or I did. Oh, are we talking about Susie Rachel? And... Yes, we are talking about Rachel. You see, Susie and I used to be friends with one Rachel Kohai. The rapper? And everything yes. you're doing... Everything you're doing for Tippy right now... We've done in some variety of font for Rachel. Oh, God. I am so sorry. Oh. Yeah, that's the normal Look reaction. where we ended up. Do you want to end up like this? Oh, hell, hell no. Because it's not good. You need to stop. Tippy, Tippy is your friend. I'm not going to tell you to stop being friends with Tippy or Keyblade. But you want to know the problem? You want to know my mistake when I was friends with Rachel besides the fact that it would have been impossible anyway? I never once, until it was too late, held Rachel accountable for her actions. Yeah. I didn't... Because what you're doing is not... You may say that you agree that they fucked up. But you can't say they fucked up and then go to someone and say, don't talk about it. Also, I found another screenshot that you might want to hear about. Are you in Tippy's server by any chance? Yeah. yeah. Here's a message that you might not have seen. So I'm going to give you the context real quick. This is a message between Key and Susie. Key, so Doodle, what did you tell Tippy and Mav? Susie, that Heaton made a good point and maybe it'd be best to leave the group for the time being. I made sure to clarify I don't want them to isolate themselves, I don't want them to leave every SEC server, and I don't even expect them to be gone from the group forever. But something does need to be done. And they agreed, albeit begrudgingly. So I gave Tippy, Mav, and Neko Shadows time to say their leaves. And I also inform them that Laya wants to talk to them tomorrow. So they don't need to leave, like, the courthouse or anything like that. But they will be gone from the Cloud Palace for now. Key, how long? Now, that's the context. Key took screenshots of this and sent it to the server that Tippy's in with no mic. Yeah, actually, on that note, I might ask Zephy something real quick. Because this, was, because this was brought up as a question. Who is musically bright? Oh, her? Yeah. Some people, okay, were, cu uh, some people were curious as to who that is. Yeah. Uh, to be frank, this is actually my first time meeting her, so I can't really say much about her. Okay. Maybe I'll ask yeah, so Rio. So, Maybe I'll ask Rio then when we get him in here. So, um, they clearly didn't read what was said. Because they decided to say, so let me get this straight. Wait a minute. Susie, you wanted them to leave temporarily, yeah. but it sounds like they are leaving permanently, which is a very clear presumption of intent based on nothing. Honestly, I've lost all respect for Susie. These make me so mad. Keep, take your time. Like you're getting lambasted badly in her comment section, sadly. Hmm. Yeah, this and is... then Mitchie. Do you know who Mitchie is? That's Tippy. I had a feeling. How can you screw up this fucking badly? I'm so fucking angry. 
Yeah, I had mentioned that earlier when I had said that he was throwing around screenshots of our DMs to get people... Yeah. I needed him to hear the full thing. Fair enough, fair Because enough. I have a feeling, Zephy, they have not been honest with you. They have been using you as a means of contact and a means of getting control over the situation because they don't want people to talk about it. You, you can stay friends with them. We don't want them around us because what they did is despicable and it is dangerous. If you want to keep that in your life, I will not stop you. It is not my control. You are older than me. You can do what you like. But I need you to see what's going on because it would be incredibly irresponsible of me to be dishonest with you on this. They used you. They lied to you. I know, like, some of us took it all too far, maybe, with our I yelling. Angry, I know. And you know what? I will apologize, because that's your first, that, your first impression to me was coming in Guns a blazing, yelling at you. Typically, I don't like doing that. Um, I think mine however, was when we played Splatoon. I could be wrong, though. Um, the most yelling I, that I did was because people kept killing me. I, I don't want you to think that we're yelling at you because we think you're some duplicitous scumbag. It's a uh, very abrupt wake-up call. Yeah, yeah exactly. and I didn't it's sleep. a cautionary tale because, as I told you, I don't want you to end up like me or Susie. And I don't want you, I don't want Tippy to end up like Rachel or the other person. Yeah, that would be my worst uh, nightmare. I, I don't I need want you to... any of Sorry. you to become these horrible, terrible, irredeemable scumbags. Because I don't even think you're there. I think you're just, you, ju you got played. It happens to the best of us. It happened to me. It's. It, 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 it's, it's. I'm pretty sure it's happened to almost every one of us in here at some it point. It happened to me uh, a year ago, so I know the feeling. We're not. Know. We're not trying to fucking make you feel like absolute filth. We just want you to understand the gravity of the situation because it feels as though Tippy and Key don't. And they're giving you their own twisted perspective of what they think the actual gravity of the situation is. And it is one that is centered on how they feel and what's happening to them. Not what's happened to everybody else in the wake of their actions. I know that this may be hard to believe, and I'm, I'm sorry for yelling too. I didn't sleep last night and it's 8 a.m. Um... I need you to understand, I know I keep saying that, but this, I'm telling you the truth, in that we were friends with Tippy and Key. We cared about them. I spent three years with Tippy. I didn't know Key that well, but we played Mario Party together and we, hang, we hung out, we did streams together. We did good, we had good memories. I did a commission for Key a couple times, which tell him to take my commission off his Steam profile, by the way. We care about them. And the reason why we're so angry is because they took our good graces and our trust and they put people in danger for the sake of their own desires. We're angry and we're sad because we lost people that we thought we were good. We gave our lives to, to a certain extent. We gave time to them. We gave them years. And it's very clear that they've gone mask off in terms of what they do. And you haven't seen that yet. And I don't know if it's because you're trying to ignore it or because you're blinded by your previous affections, but you need to wake up right now because you are enabling their behavior and they will turn more toxic with time. We may be yelling at you now. You're lucky Lyo isn't here. He wouldn't have felt bad for yelling. Oof. You would have what? He said he would not have felt bad. He w you would not be getting these apologies. Yeah, no. He would have fucking obliterated Zephyr. 
He would have he would have yelled at you and then yelled at you more for reacting to him yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> you and I, it, 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 Lyo has made this very clear in that he does not play nice. He's there to make a point. You and I, maybe to our detriment, are a little bit gentler than that. Even though you didn't get the most of our gentleness, but we got everything out and we were allowed to be angry. It's been, you were unfortunately a victim to stacked up anger, but we're talking to you now because I do want you to be safe. I didn't know you that well. All I know is that we hung out in Tippy server like maybe once or twice with this platoon thing and it was fun. But you have to see that this damaged a lot of our trust. You didn't see the conversations that happened in the Cloud Palace of numerous people being betrayed. Donnie is devastated. Slayer is devastated. Nekos is devastated. A lot of people are devastated. Oh, Nekos is pissed at you, but... Oh, yeah. That's not going to hear from there. Yeah, I saw firsthand her conversation with Key last Monday, and I'm like, what the fuck were you doing? That's not how you treat your partner. Exactly. I'm just going to point it out. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say it to you, Zaffy. You, you can't be blinded to it. Tippy and Key have a really weird, fucked up relationship. And their fucked up, weird relationship has grown incredibly toxic. And it's going to drag you down. You yeah, can still have... be around them. You can try to set them on the right track, but you need to listen to what they say. And I'm not saying follow what they're saying. Hear the words they're saying. Because not all, it's not always going to be honest. Right now, they're focused on doing whatever they can for their own survival. They are in survival mode. You need mm-hmm. to discern what they're saying. Because and it, not even... Sorry. You're good because at this point they were te- they were telling you things that you should rightfully be worried about. If any if any of the people in here came to me and told me that somebody I called out on whatever platform was now having their life threatened, I would be worried about that because nobody wants anybody to to, to get hurt. No one needs physical harm if it's been dealt with. But at the exact same time, I'd be like, who's saying that? Tell me where it's being said, who is saying it? You can't just act. You need to get more information. Otherwise, you're running around like a chicken without its head, and now you're in a call with a bunch of people that were yelling at you. Or just hungry for chicken. Yeah, you also not just listen to what they say. If you're in calls with them or you're in, you DM them, you need to listen to how they say it. Because as someone who has seen their behavior before, you're looking at someone who fetishizes in a weeaboo way and someone who infantilizes themselves in an Asian baiting way. That's their weird relationship. And you need to see that. Key very clearly has feelings for Tippy. He put her above his own partner and his best friend. Donnie felt it. Neko felt it. All of us felt it. It became a meme at one point. You need to see this. You need to see it for your own sense of self-preservation and their sense of growth. We want them to improve. We want them to get better, but we don't want them in our lives. They need to grow, but they're not going to grow with us. We've given them enough of our time. We've given them enough of our understanding. And they took that and they pissed on it. So now they get to do this on their own. This is only their fault. They took everyone and they pushed us all away. And now they're claiming to be the victim. Oh, everyone's leaving us. Oh, our names are being dragged through the mud. Instead of questioning why their names are being dragged through the mud. It's a very common tactic. 
a very common manipulative tactic of questioning that it's happening and not why it's happening, not analyzing the cause of it because they know the cause of it. And it's because of what they did and they don't want to see that. And you doing this shit is making it worse. So, is that everything? Um, I still need Zephy to write out an apology, send that to Umbris, and that should be it. Okay. Okay. Um, if it's okay, I would like to ask uh, one question uh, to uh, Zephy, because sure, sure. Uh, I feel like as if you now realize about the severity of how much they're lying and manipulating you, but I need to know about it. Um, did you, for whatever reason, tell Tippy or Key that Umbris was going to make a Twitter thread about it? No. Okay. Actually, I have a quick question. When you said you heard it through the grapevine, it was that just like your way around saying I noticed your thread, or like did you hear it through the grapevine? Well, that was, uh, it's like it started with me, like a glimpse, uh, of what she tweeted, uh, at least before making a thread. And then my memory got jogged when I was told, oh, she actually plans to do this. Because you mentioned a doc. Did somebody, like, did somebody say Umbris is making a doc? Or did you kind of just added some numbers and it came up to a sum? Well, my first assumption was, uh, yeah, there was going to be a doc about it, which might be. <laughs> so it wasn't like a rumor that was going around. That was just your assumption. Yeah. Next time, please say that. Just say, are you? Ma I saw this tweet. Are you making a doc? Because when you say, I heard it through. That's why, that's why Umbris keeps asking you what Tippy and Key are saying. Because it sounds like someone is telling you she's making a document. So someone's talking about her. Also, Susie, can you drag uh, Avi and Heaton? I kind of want their input on this apology. Sure, sure. <clears throat> Thank you. They also might have something to say. <clears throat> Welcome. Uh, but just to keep you, just to keep y'all posted, he gets it. He understands. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've driven it through his head. Very good. A little oh, excessively, cool. probably. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think there is too excessively in this situation, but cool. I told you I can be scary. <laughs> oh yeah, and as he was, I can confirm. If you do this again, we're gonna bring Lyo in here. And he's not as nice as us. Do you understand? We're probably also gonna bring Tippy and Key. And you're gonna learn a lot more about them than you may want to. I mean, when it comes to Tippy and Key, I think Lyo has made oh. it pretty clear that the next th the next time Lyo talks to those two is going to be in the Senate. Yep, and they're not making it easy because and I have a feeling there's going to be a Senate call quite soon. And just to warn you, he can tell you. I think Susie might be able to tell you. He can definitely tell you. Senate is not a place you want to end up. You do not want to end up being sent to a Senate call. No, Senate's, listen, 75% of the time, Senate's <clears throat> cool. When you, when you get thrown in, jail, in gallery chat, it's, it is a distinctly unfun experience. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, that's what, and I know, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's because what, so, so, you know, what happens in Senate calls, everyone else is muted, people hash it out, you have your beef. Uh, and then Gallery gets unmuted, and everyone gets to say, uh, all, and you get to sit there and get your fucking, and get it pushed through your head in front of, like, a hundred people. Yeah, the only reason why I had a pretty decent experience 
is because I was as honest as I could be. Tippy and Key, considering their track record, it's going to be bloody. And confirm. And you, if you keep this up, you may be dragged in too. And I don't and think you all, want that. And because if you, thought me and, if you thought me and Yoon were scary, oh boy. There's not going to be any... Yeah, there's not going to be anything you just heard from me being like, yeah, you know, typically I don't like coming in guns and blazing, yelling at people. My bad. Uh, you're not going to hear that. No. I want you to bear in mind that this is the man that got another person to shut down all their socials with a comment. So you better watch what you say. You better pay attention to what Key and Tippy say. And if anything happens, report to one of us. Do you understand? Yeah. We need to know. We need to know because they have shown that they are dishonest and they are going around with manipulative tactics to vulnerable people because this is a very common tactic with them and that they go to the most vulnerable people, people like you, people that like them, love them, care about them, people who are having some hard times right now and using them like a coke mule for emotional manipulation. So I want you to watch your back because they are not who you think they are. Are we clear? Yes. Now, are we all okay? As I only have one last request. Is there anything else anyone wants to get off their chest? I think you put everything pretty uh, clear away. I think you got most of the important stuff. Okay. Now, I want you to put an apology in the trial no mic, cat, no mic chat. We're all going to judge it. And then you are going to send that to Umbris. You are going to take a screenshot and wait for a response, and we'll see what happens from there. Do you understand? Yeah. Now I better hear that keyboard clapping, or I'm going to get pissed again. All right. Well, I actually just uh, got this typed up, but if, if it needs uh, work, I could use some... Uh... Uh, retyping uh, advice uh, for this in case uh, it's. Oh, post it. Okay. So it. By, by all Second means. I dragged in uh, Heaton and Avi. They were a lot better at this stuff. Yo, Lily, lo, yo, Libby, sorry about giving you trouble. It wasn't my intent to have you be silent on these matters, but I failed to see at the time how I implied, sig how what I implied signaled a preference to, in silence. My everyday goal is to seek out understanding, which I shouldn't made that more transparent sooner. I've been complacent to Key and Tibby's malarkey, but I seek to change that so neither you or I or anyone else can be harmed by them. So let's talk about the weaponized incompetence one more time. We made it clear to you that we are aware of your intent. In fact, I don't give a shit about your intent at all. You were aware of what you were typing. We explained this to you because you doubled down three times. So take out the it wasn't my intent because I'm getting really tired of your weaponized incompetence. If I could, uh, so Zephy, there's something I like to say. All right. Um, and it's uh, intent doesn't override impact. So I if I were to say, like, so for example, I yelled at you a lot, right? I would yeah. not be surprised if I had called you a few names. Yeah. Did you feel bad? No. If you were to have felt bad, and instead of saying, sorry for yelling at you and calling you names, I made you feel bad, and I'm sorry, I said, well, sorry you feel that way. I didn't mean, I, I didn't mean for you to get upset, but sorry you feel that way. You wouldn't feel like that's a genuine apology, right? Oh, it puts no. the blame on the individual. See, and uh, well, I, it's, it's I, your I problem can, for feeling that way, but sorry. I can intend. I can say something, even in like joke. I, I can say a ha ha he he to anyone here, and it hurts their feelings. 
just because my intent was it for it to be a joke doesn't change the fact that it hurt someone's feelings. Just because you didn't intend to silence Umbris doesn't mean that that wasn't the impact of your actions. Because Umbris was pissed. You might also want to apologize for the constant deflection. Keaton, oh my fucking god. I'm sorry, I thought I was muted. Mm -hmm. No, it's fine. <laughs> Fuck. I'm taking your keyboard away. I like the clicky clacks. <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> well, I'll sorry. Like, take away your standees, I guess. I don't know. No. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was muted. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I was, I was going to say the same thing. Um... Uh, I failed to see at the time how what I implied. I it doesn't fucking matter. It, yeah. it, uh, uh, signal's purpose of silence. My everyday goal is to seek on understanding. Uh, that that middle sentence truly is nothing. Like it's a listen. A solid like. So solidified is I'm sorry here's what I did I will not be doing it again here are the steps I am taking I am sorry I've taught you well I see you watch my video of course <laughs> but like that's also just fucking common sense <laughs> like like that's that's it that's all I don't know I kind of don't like the phrase common sense because yes. a person's common is change depending on the individual but it yeah. should be common sense <clears throat> everyone should be taught how to give a solid apology but that's it like like this this middle shit of like oh my goal is to see you don't understand it's don't care yeah it's like i fucked up here's what happened i'm sorry because the way that you wrote this it very much comes off as well it's kind of your fault for taking that intention the way the way i like to structure it it's like the same way he had said it i'm sorry this is what i did wrong this is why it's wrong i'm not going to do this thing again this is how i intend to not do this thing again because you can tell me and, I, and i've come to this because of the experiences i've been through zephy I could sit here and tell you, I'm upset with you because you did this thing. And you could say, and, and then I could say, that thing was wrong. And you could say, I'm sorry I did this thing. That thing was wrong. You're literally just saying what I told you. You're not explaining to me why it's wrong. Ah, oh, God, my stomach fucking hurts. Ugh. I'm gonna assume Zephy doesn't have a clicky clacky keyboard like certain people. It's called. No, he doesn't. You know what? It's I fine. better I, I hear can... them click clackies like your keyboards clapping cheeks, boy. No, I am muted. We must not have that. I wasn't okay? talking about you. You know what? It's fine. I'll make up for it. <laughs> oh god. Good. Also, real quick, Zephy, uh, are you finished? Oh yeah, I got another like one typed out ready for reviewing. Uh uh It's like I would have mentioned it sooner, but yeah, you know, I'm just smelling the roses a bit. Kind of enjoying the vibe. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. We've all been through a lot. It's been a rough week. It's Bro. it's only Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's been a rough fucking Wednesday. I just it's hope Wednesday. I can get a good night's sleep. <laughs> Me too. I most and certainly it, didn't. I was just watching Bones. I'm so sweaty. It is fucking hot. It's hot in here. Okay. But I so this is what it. I have typed out right now. Uh, I am uh, open to suggestions. Mm -hmm. Yo, Libby, sorry about giving you trouble. I've taken the situation far too lightly out of complacency towards Keys and Tippy's malarkey. But I won't let it happen again. They need as much as criticism as they can receive for the irresponsible way they've handled this things this week if they actually want to improve themselves. Thank you. Put the I'm sorry. You didn't Oh shit. Yeah, at the at the front. Yeah. Sorry for giving you trouble. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. I don't know. I, I, I usually put it at the end for me. That's how I do things. No, that's so well, I put happens. it at the beginning and the end. But that's because I'm mentally ill. 
Anyway, yes, this is this is a good apology. You will send it to her. We're gonna wait about ten minutes to see if she responds, and then that will be the end of it. Yeah. Okay. And if you do this shit again, I will tear your ass out of your fucking face. Now, as for Keyblade, firstly, Keyblade broke up with his girlfriend Neko Shadows over all of this. That was pretty wild. And then went into private chats telling friends of his, one named Musically Bright, about his and I's DMs around the time that Tippy and crew were removed from the Cloud Palace. Pushing me into oncoming traffic, which, uh, thanks Key, I really appreciated that one. Don't get that enough on a day-to-day -day basis. Meanwhile, Ellie, the person who Key told to commit suicide, sat Key down after the initial call to talk to him about his behavior. And with permission, I shall relay that to you. Hello. Hello. I... Shut up. So... Shut, shut up. Shut the fuck up. You know, Kenny, I yes. stuck my neck out for you during the whole Avi situation. Or do you just choose to not remember that? You you did. Really? Tell me, tell me. I want you to tell me, tell me in detail you... how I fucking stood up for you when you even though you decided to try to send my best friend, somebody that I would kill for, somebody I would take a bullet for somebody whose only heinous crime was being not, not being nice to your beloved tippy you decided to send him two manifestos and uh tell him to be quiet about it because the shit that you said about his character and about his horrible terrible actions of not liking your fucking girlfriend After all of that, after your your adamance on on keeping shit behind closed doors about how you feel about Avi. Tell me, after all that, how did I still stick up for you while you two were beefing? You you stop you you gave us a way to communicate with each other and you let and you let it us talk out our grievances. And I was fair. Let's not forget and, that. Because Avi and, did have times where he fucked up. And I, on many occasions, Avi and I don't disagree about much. But there have been, there, but in this situation, there were a couple things. Very few, but there were a couple things that he fucked up on. And I was more than willing to tell him about himself when it came to the time. Because I could have very easily been... It could have easily very been a 2v1. That's, I'm just, I'm just going to say that right now. It could have easily been a 2v1. Mm, I... Yeah. It, and behind yeah, but... your back, I had times where I defended you, despite the fact that you were treating my friends like garbage. Because we're not going to... We're not going to forget... How you treated Yoon during the whole Jesp situation. Or the Rachel situation. Because mm. Yoon is also my best friend. And even after all that. When I saw it was fit, I defended you. Mm. Now I don't like mm -hmm. you, Key. I haven't liked you for a long time. You wanna know why I don't like you, Key? You know why it's it's been a very long time since I have had any goodwill not you know no not goodwill. It's been a while since I've had any good thoughts about you. Because because of my impulsiveness and my and how I want to keep things behind closed doors. No, that, that that's part of it. That's part of it. But that's more of a later addition. And I can I can and, definitely just say I don't like you because I think you're fucking annoying, but I don't like you because of your double standard. Hmm. You do not in most situations. 
I have, I do not remember you ever being able to hold your friends accountable for the dumb shit they do. But boy, howdy, will you do it to other people that you don't like. Yeah, I do do that. So you were in a bad place. Huh. Mm. You were in a dark place when you said, and I quote, fucking kill yourself, you fucking whore. Sorry, I hope you kill yourself, you fucking whore. Tell me, were you there when I made my thread at the Cloud Palace talking about me being admitted into the hospital and me having my intrusive thoughts to put a gun to my head? I... I don't... I don't recall being there. Really? Because the recording, you definitely didn't deny that you were aware that I wanted to kill myself. Okay, okay, I... Look, uh, okay, I looked at the thread... So you lied to uh, me just now. Uh, no, I didn't... Did, no, but no, 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 no. I asked you, were you aware that of my thread, and you said you didn't, and then when I told you that I, that I caught you with your pants down, you then decided you were going to actually tell the truth. So what is it? Did you know, or did you not know, Kenny? I, I looked, I looked at the thread. And you I, read it? Yes. So then you knew. That not two weeks ago, I was admitted into a hospital for a psych evaluation because I was attempted to use my gun that we have in the house for protection on myself. Yes, and I shouldn't have. I oh, we are well aware that you shouldn't have. That's our, that, that, that ship has sailed. We know you shouldn't have. You're 22 years old. You should have known. And you did know. That's why you did it. You did it because it was wrong, and you wanted to feel some fucking catharsis, because your girlfriend Tippy and Neko's were hurt. Because for once in their fucking lives, somebody told them about themselves. Where do you get off? Where do you get off on telling a vulnerable human being to kill themselves, well aware that they are in a very fragile position? You know, honestly, Keyblade, I would have had more respect for you if you just said it to my face. But you couldn't do that, could you? That wasn't in because your I'm fucking a... cards. Shut the fuck up. Don't. If I hear the words, I was a coward, come out of your mouth, I swear to God. I swear to fucking God, Keyblade. I don't need to hear what I know. Is it because that you don't you wouldn't have had the strength to deal with somebody who could go toe to toe with you, blindfolded with no limbs? Cause tell me, I want you to tell me what you think would have happened if I, if you if you came into my DMs the other day, and said exactly what you said to, to about me to me. Tell me, tell me what what would have happened. I want you to I want you to take an educated guess. You're a big smart boy. Fucking tell me what would have happened. You would have been furious, and we would have ended, and we would have had a shouting match. Scout, damn it! Hold on. Excuse me. There wouldn't have been a shouting match, Keyblade. Because I would have dragged your ass in front of everyone. Because unlike you, I'm not afraid of an audience. Mm. I have nothing to hide. I'm a rat? Keep like, I have been the one human being in the Cloud Palace that isn't afraid to say it how it is. I'm one of the very few people. That are that is, that have never has never been afraid to tell you how I feel about you. Tell mm -hmm. tell my tell how I feel about anybody else. Mm-hmm. 
You know what the one thing about me is? Is that I suck at keeping secrets when it comes to surprises. If you tell me something in confidence in terms of, oh yeah, this is something, you know, very personal to me, you know, I, I won't say anything, right? But if I was going to get a jump on your little girlfriend, Tippy, then trust and believe me, I wouldn't have kept that shit a fucking secret. Mm. And tell me, up until this point, what the fuck would I have to do against Tippy? What on earth made you think for five seconds that I had it out for Tippy? Did you think I had it out for Tippy, or did you uh, this whole time, or did you, th or was it only because I decided it was going to tell her about herself? Um, it was, it was, it was when it was, it was. It was when you confronted her in the smaller chat and just and, and yelled and yelled at her about stuff like Green Star and, and a transphobe. Okay. Let's get one thing straight. I understand I'm a loud person. You would know when I'm yelling. Mm -hmm. This isn't me saying I didn't yell. Because I did. But I didn't just go in guns a blazing and screaming. I came in and I told Tippy about the the pattern that I had noticed with her and her inability to do the right thing over somebody's fifis. And the entire time I was telling her why. Her inability to remove a racist, that being Green Star, was a very important proof of that. Not to mention the fact that she mentioned that she sent, she was having a little funsy conversation with him at one point. Do you think that might make somebody a little pissed off, get, given the situation? Yes, I can. So tell me, why was I not allowed to yell at her? Why was I not allowed to yell? Well, so first of all, not only was I not allowed to yell at her, but why was it that Heaton didn't get, get the shit that she got? Because if you want my opinion, Heaton kind of went a little harder than I did. Is it because you knew that I was vulnerable? Is it because you knew that if word got out- What if I actually did it, Key? What if I what if there what if I actually decided to do it? I I You know Donnie. If somebody told Donnie that they were going to do one of his triggers. I I I wouldn't I I I see I see what you're getting at. I asked a question. It requires an answer. Now, I understand I have a problem with kind of going on without, you know, much, much time to stop. So I'm going to ask again. I'm going to ask the first question again. Why is it that when I yelled at Tippy, I was told to kill myself, but Heaton didn't get that kind of reaction from you? She was involved in one of your little fucking conspiracy theories. But she wasn't told to kill herself because Heaton didn't recently have suicidal ideation, did she? She... She didn't. So then why did you decide to do it to me? I want to hear it from your fucking mouth. I... It's because I... It's look, it's because I don't like you, okay? No, feelings mutual. And I and I just and 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 the moment you screamed that tippy, I just got furious and just and I just had to let it out. I I said that without any fucks given. I I I knew what I said was wrong, but I still did it anyway because I just because I just dis because I just disliked you. Because I disliked I you, and I never said to kill yourself. I just like a lot of people. I never told them to kill themselves. Mm. And, 
and you're and you're more then you're more knowledgeable on this stuff than me since I have been desensitized to the phrase kill yourself. I doubt that. I, get... I doubt that. You know how I doubt that? Hmm. I know for a fact if somebody told Tippy to kill herself, you'd have the same reaction my friends did. I know if somebody told Donnie if he was going to kill himself, you'd have the same reaction my friends did. Hmm. You'd be pissed, wouldn't you? I I would. You'd be furious, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. But it's okay because you don't like me. It's okay to say to kill myself knowing I was in a vulnerable state and if it got to me there could have potentially been blood on your hands. Mm -hmm. I, so I, I will ask the question I asked earlier the second I will ask it, uh, the question that I asked earlier. What if I did kill myself? You know the gravity of those words. Desensitized or not, you know the gravity of those words. Mm -hmm. What if I decided to kill myself? I... I'd... What if your impulses just... finally took a life? I'd... I'd realize I... I realize that what I said was, be was fucked up and... Just feel awful about it. Just... Now tell In fact, me. I already... Tell me. Oh, but did you regret what you said, or did you regret what you said when you got caught? I regretted what I said. Tippy was angry about what I did. I never saw any screenshots of her saying anything along the lines. If you have them, I'd like to see them. All right, I I do. Mhm. Mm it's funny. You regret it when Tippy says it, but not your girlfriend? I... not- Because you know, if you want my honest opinion, Keyblade, your treatment of Neko Shadows is abhorrent. I- I don't think- I- I've been in a relationship for now, 11 years, Saturday. Saturday will be my 11 year anniversary. And I have seen you show more kindness, more affection, more doting on someone who wasn't your girlfriend versus your actual girlfriend. Hell, I don't even think I remember you ever saying anything nice about Neko's appearance. Never saying how pretty she was or how cute she was, but I've heard you say Tippy was cute on several occasions. Do you wanna do you wanna explain that to me? How how you are your obsession with Tippy has is is more now what the fuck? Shut up spam. Your obsession with Tippy is is borderline obsessive, if I'm going to be generous. You You are a horrible boyfriend, Keyblade. There has been situations where Tippy was nothing but loved in the Cloud Palace. Do you do you realize that? Before now, Tippy was nothing but loved. Mm. And on several occasions, if I recall, when Tippy would vent about something in her personal life or what have you, and people wouldn't drop what they were doing to come grovel at her feet. You decided to get on everyone's case for not caring about Tippy's feelings. To care about what Tippy is, is how Tippy is doing. I've never seen you do that with your own girlfriend. And there has been times where she's been actually ignored in the Cloud Palace. I'm surprised she didn't break up with you sooner. I'm surprised you were the one to do it. Because, my God. Your treatment of your girlfriend was horrible. Because you cared more about another woman than your own fucking girlfriend. And whether or not that actually happened, 
I don't know whether, whether you actually had that in your head, your actions spoke for you. Mm hmm. I, I really did. I really did care about Tippy more than my own girlfriend. Are you saying that to please me or are you saying that because that's actually the truth? It's the truth. Why did you ever date Nekos if all you wanted was Tippy? Is it because she rejected you? No, I never, no, I never, no, it's like I never viewed Tippy as, as someone, as someone romantically. I just cared about her a lot, like really? as a friend. I, I remember hearing about you confessing to Tippy at one point and she rejected you. Huh? If I'm wrong about that, then that's fine. I... I never recalled confessing to Tippy. Well, confessing or not, Jesus Christ, you know? By your own admission, you didn't give a shit about your girlfriend in comparison to Tippy. Why'd you date her? It was... It was because, like, she was the first girlfriend I ever had. It was it was because she sh showed interest in me, and like back in 2019, I I just I it was like still I was still I was still hung up about about my last relationship. So I so I wanted to like get back into the pool of dating, and Neko showed interest, and I showed interest in her, and we and we started dating. You showed interest in her. How long did that last? Before you decided it, Tippy was the one for you. It, it, like, we saw... It, it lasted, like... It, it lasted, like, a long time. We even saw each other in, in real life. Yeah. It's like... But, again... You cared about Tippy more than your girlfriend. The feeling started to fade away around... Around... Around this year, since... Since it's just... I was... Since... With all all the stuff going on in my life, I just I just kind of fell out of love. You were falling out of love. Why didn't you just break up with her? I, I, because she still showed love for me, and I and I didn't want and I didn't want to hurt Nekos. Hmm. So because you were getting the attention that you should have been giving to your girlfriend, you kept her around. Interesting. What if you were treated like that? I. What I if mean, you had? What if you were dating a girl, and she decided that she liked her her guy best friend way more than she cared about you, but she strung you along because she needed, you know, the emotional support. Knowing that I don't have to put a lot of effort in because they're they're already going to give me the emotional support that a, a loving partner should. I don't have to do anything because they're just they're going to stay. I know they're going to stay. You got secure, didn't you? You got secure, didn't you? You just, knew that if anybody, if either one of you two was gonna was gonna pull, pull the trigger, it was gonna be you. Yeah, because I know yes. Nekos. Nekos doesn't have that big of a self esteem, and you know that. Mm hmm. And you took advantage of that, didn't you? I, I didn't. It's like your actions I, definitely speak louder than words on that one. Hmm. And that's actually a theme with that, Key. Remember when the whole thing with Avi happened? And you said, oh, I don't want anything bad to happen to Avi. I don't want anything to happen. But your actions spoke for you. Intention mm -hmm. does not equal impact. Yes. That, that, is, that is true. It's just... My, my actions spoke more than my words. Yeah, I just said that. You don't have to repair it to me. I, I, I'm sorry.
You know, imagine me going into work last night. Listening to the call just because I needed background noise for my work. And being stopped by two separate people. Telling me, don't watch the video, don't watch the video, don't watch the video. Or don't listen to the recording, don't listen to the recording. And, uh, I was like, what happened? What happened? And they say, it's very, it's going to be triggering for you. Come to find out that somebody who was in a group that I shared very personal information with decided to say they wanted me to die. How does anybody trust you after that, Key? How, how, who else have you done this to? I, I'm, I'm curious. How, how many other people have you taken sensitive information about them and decided to use it against them behind closed doors? What else? What have you said about other members of the Cloud Palace? I'm, 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 I'm chopping in the bit to find out. I didn't say anything about them. You said shit about Avi. Because you didn't like Avi. Did you tell him he should kill himself too? No, or better, I or better, didn't. Or better yet, or better yet, did you use his trigger again against him behind closed doors? Because you have no problem doing it with me. I I didn't I I didn't use I didn't use any triggers. It's like so. What makes you I, think it was okay to do it then? Because I was a because I because I just didn't care anymore. Yeah, I trust me. I I know you didn't care anymore. I saw your little anime protagonist monologue about how people are horrible and, and people are duplicitous. None of those feelings were directed towards the people who harbored a child grooming apologist. Only the people who held them accountable. I get that you're friends with the people that with two of the people that were that were kicked out of the Cloud Palace. What did you think was supposed to happen to them? They put people like Susie and Umbris in danger. But you didn't care because Tippy did something wrong. And you don't believe that an adult should have consequences for their inaction. What did you think was... What, what, what did you expect to happen, Key? Just because Tippy's a popular girl, that doesn't make her any less human. That doesn't mean that she gets special treatment like you want her to have. I, I thought I thought she would have been suspended. She put people in danger, Keyblade. Her and Nekos decided to not let all of us know that Vigil was in still contact with a child groomer for two years. That doesn't require suspension key. They broke our trust. And I know that if anyone else did it, you would have had the exact same reaction to kick them out and never come back. But because it was your girlfriend, Tippy, suddenly your morals decide to fly out the fucking window. And it's so funny that you have not corrected me at one point when I said your girlfriend, Tippy. This entire call, you have not once corrected me. Because, because what, because, because my actions speak louder than words. You can still say it, Key. Just because I don't believe it doesn't mean you can't say it. Just doesn't mean you can't deny it. It's like, look, or you can't say, hey, stop calling her my girlfriend. She was never my girlfriend. But no, no, you haven't once corrected me this entire call. Because, because it's like, I, I, I fucked because I fucked up and I'm and I'm willing to accept consequences. Hmm. Like, willing to accept consequences. You're willing to accept consequences because you got caught with your pants down. You weren't willing to accept consequences because you wanted to silence Umbris. You know, somebody who had just finished being silenced by a groomer apologist. Do you understand how fucked up that is? Yeah, yes, I, I understand. And it's like, it's just, look, I didn't want things to escalate. I fuck. You didn't I want fuck. things to escalate. You didn't want things to escalate. If you didn't want things to escalate, you wouldn't have said it in the first place because you knew it was going to come back to me. You know, Umbris. Umbris has a good heart. Umbris is a sweet girl. 
and she is a honest person, which is more than what I could say about you. It was going to get to me one way or another, Keyblade. Mm hmm You weren't sorry that it happened. You were sorry you got caught. Because I know for a fact you were never going to come to me and apologize until Susie put your ass on blast. Be honest with me. Were you ever going to tell me? Was I ever going to be informed by you? If you had the ability, if, if Susie never brought it up in that call, would you have ever been honest with me? I was, I was, I was, I would have told you, I would have told you this on, on my own, I would have told you this on my own accord. How long would it have taken? Weeks? Months? It, it would have taken a week since I, you know, there was a lot of tension going on. I didn't want to, I didn't want to escalate things. Didn't want to escalate things. Jesus Christ. Your whole, your, your whole group's inability to not want to raise conflict in any capacity is pathetic. Life is about conflict. You're going to have to nut up and deal with it at some point or another. Which is what, which is what I was trying to convey to Tippy. Before she decided that she wanted to backpedal and pretend like she didn't do anything wrong. Which something which is something that she has continued to do. You know, by making an alt account, having people want to add her on there now, start an SCC group. She just wants us all to be pushed under the fucking rug. She wants her inaction to be pushed under the fucking rug. She made a choice, and now her choice has negatively affected her, so now she doesn't want to take actual responsibility for her actions. Tell me, is that the signs of a good person to you? No. That when the, chi that when the chips are down, they'd rather run and hide than, you know, hold, hold themselves accountable? No, it's not. Or when somebody tries to silence somebody uh, from telling the person that you told to kill themselves. Trying to silence them and, and make them quiet. Coaxing them to not say anything because you know you get in trouble for it. Because you know we don't run like that around here. Is that the signs of a good person? No. What makes you think you're any better than me because I yelled at Tippy? What makes not. you think you're better than me? Oh, I know you're not. What makes you think you're better than me? You sure you don't need help with that, babe? Right. Cuz. Cuz. I'm, I'm not. I'm a coward. What did I just say? What did I say to you earlier? Uh, Ellie, look! Ellie, look! I regret what I did! What- what- what am I supposed to do? You want my honest opinion? Yes! Admit to what you did. Publicly. Admit to what you did. Mm. Because I made Neko show her ass in Patrick's server. Because she was not going to run away from it. I'm a mod oh. in that server, and I have a, a sense of responsibility. You know what that? You know what? You know what a sense of responsibility is, right? Yes, it's it's taken account. I didn't ask for, for your... a definition. Yes, I, asked I do. If you understood. I understood. I told Nekos this morning. That if she didn't confess to what she did, I was going to do it for her. Now, granted, your sins are going to be laid bare anyway. Mm. 
But if you have any integrity or any sense of, of what's right and what's wrong, frankly, I think you should say something about it yourself. Because Nekos was able to deliver. Nekos was able to say, hey, this is something I did. I did this to Ellie, and I did this to uh, my, my, my peers at the Cloud Palace. I, I let somebody who was uh, a friend to a child groomer still run amok in a server that was full of his victims. And I tried to silence somebody into not telling a victim of suicidal ideation that my boyfriend decided to tell her that she should kill herself behind closed doors. I, I gave her that chance, and she definitely delivered. So tell me, is your ex-girlfriend going to have more balls than you? If you want to at all atone for what you did, in any capacity, admit it. And if I see you calling your you you self deprecating and making yourself feel bad for actions you knowingly took, I'm not gonna be happy. Saying that I'm a coward and I have I have impulse issues that I don't that, that that that's 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 fluff. We don't need any of that. All right, where do you want me to admit it? Publicly on Twitter. Or if you want to do it on your YouTube, I don't care. So, what's your next plans, Key? At three, I scheduled a therapist appointment. I mean for the future of your CC career. Your time on the internet. I... Are you going to also doing... make an alt? And are you also going to try to run away from responsibility? I I'm I I I've been I it's like I've been trying to figure out what to do since I I hate what I did. Yet every yet everywhere yet I don't know what to do. I I'm trying to better I'm trying to better myself. I got a therapist. I have I'm trying to find self-help books. I am, it's like, I, I know that, it's like, I know that I have a lot, I know that I, I broke a lot of bridges, and, and it's going to be a long time before I could ever rebuild them. I don't think you'll ever be able to, if you want my honest opinion. I saw what you said to Donnie. Man. Donnie has some shit luck with best friends, I'll tell you that much. Mm. Tell me goodbye? Jesus Christ, how melodramatic can you get? Were you ever a theater kid? Because that make a lot of sense. You, um, yeah, I took theater. Yeah, yeah. All right, I've made I've I've made up my mind. I think that it's best that you do not only a admission of guilt via Twitter, but your YouTube channel. Oh. And you are going to show the screenshots of what you said, unedited. And I know you have them. And if you don't, I can gladly give them to you. Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, sure. You are going to admit what you did to me. And you are going to admit. You're just, you're just going to admit everything, really. Because either way, I'm going to be making an appearance in a video that Heaton is currently making. But if you have any sense of, of manhood left in you, I think it's best that you, uh, you admit what you've done. You admit 
what you said and what you did to me. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to be generous, and I'm not going to give a time limit on this. Like, okay. like Neko's. I'm going to trust that it's going to happen at all. Well, and if you want me to review your video and review your tweet, then I can. Uh, Alright, just, you know... You know... You know, you are, you know, you are giving me, like, or, mm, mm -hmm. or you are giving, you are giving me a, a lot, you are giving me a lot more of an olive branch than I thought, despite everything I did to you. I was treated abhorrently by the Cloud Palace. I was told by your girlfriend, Nekos, that I should have timed my grieving better. Mm. I'm going to say the same thing to you that I said to her. I hope that never happens to you. When your parents pass away, I hope that you get nothing but comfort and a support system that you can rely on to help you deal with the loss of a parent that you love. Mm. I hope that no one ever tells you that you're being depressing when you cry randomly in a VC about how you miss your dad that you were very close to. And I hope mm. that when you need somebody and you need someone to listen to you or you just need a hand to hold, that no one tells you to be a better time about it. Because while you weren't there, you sure didn't fucking defend me. Mm. Or when somebody, when, 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 when people in the Claude Palace were making assumptions about somebody that I knew, that I was close to, they decided to judge his character based on flimsy Twitter quote retweets. And then when I confronted you guys about that, and I told you to have bigger standards for yourselves, I was accused of using their hobby against them. I was told that I was, I was being holier than thou. Do you guys just have a, a, an allergy to accountability? Because Jesus Christ... Because I know for a fact y'all didn't like when Rachel didn't take accountability. What, what, what makes you think you can just do the same thing and not get the same reaction? Is it because that's you in the hot seat? Mm. You know, in the call with Avi when I was mediating, I, I made it a point to talk about perspective. Mm-hmm. And I, and I think I've made my point very clear today, talking about perspective and, you know, you can say you have impulse problems all you want and, and have it be whatever, you know, but something tells me that if I did take my own life, that's the only time you would have really understood that your actions had consequences. I'm going to pray that no one ever does that to you. That when you're at your lowest point in your life than you ever could be, I hope that no one in any group, whether they liked you or not, Whether whether or not somebody did something that you didn't like, I hope no one, or sorry, did, did, you did something that they didn't like, I hope that they never tell you to kill yourself behind a, closed doors or to your face. I, 
I, I should want that for you. I should want you to feel what I felt. But I'm not going to. I know what that's like. I know I... what that's like to be at your lowest point and to have no one there for you. I trust mm -hmm. the Cloud Palace with my father's death and with me having a, a sanctuary to go to, and I was not given that. Mm -hmm. I should wish that upon every single one of the people in the Cloud Palace, but I don't. I don't like you, Key. I would never want you to kill yourself. I don't like Nekos. I don't like Tippy. I would never want them to kill themselves. Because I would never want to have parents bury their child. I hope you I hope that if something happens, God forbid, something happens where you are at a low point in your life that you have that support system and that you have people around you that will be there for you and will do everything in their power to make sure you make it out the other side. You know, I, you know, I hear that and I realize I did. I pushed them all the way. Sucks, doesn't it? To be alone. Yeah. But you see, I didn't have a choice in the matter. People chose not to be there and support me. You had a choice. You decided to go scorched earth. Mm hmm Sucks. I mean, shit, I don't, I don't know what you want me to say about that. Yet, it, 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 I think it sucks just sums it all up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take accountability, Ellie. I'm not gonna run away. I'm not gonna hide, I'm not gonna hide behind an alt. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that tweet and video and address everything. I'll give you this, I will give you whatever you want from that video. I'll give you the script. I'll give you, I'll give you what I wrote. I'll give you everything and if I and if I step out of line I want you I want you to tell me honey if you step out of line after this I can't help you it'll be out of my hands because I know for a fact that Lyo bitch slapped you last night mm-hmm if I may, Look, if I, I just... and if I, if I may be crass for a minute, I had a little laugh, honestly. I, I had a little bit of a laugh, hearing him rip into you, hearing him and Heaton kick you while mm -hmm. you were six feet under. I got enjoyment out of that because you needed that. Because for I... once in your life, you needed a man to tell you you were being a pussy. I, d I really did. I know your mother didn't treat, didn't teach you to, to say that about women. Mm-hmm. And I know your father didn't raise you to be a duplicitous coward. They're, they're really, they're, they're really loving parents, and, and this, I, I let it them down. Every, I believe that every young adult deserves to make mistakes in their lives. They deserve to make fuck-ups in their lives so that they don't ruin themselves in their 30s. So, while it would be fun for me to get your mom and dad involved and tell them what their baby boy has been doing online, I, 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 I don't think that would do much. People like to say that, that self-growth and healing is in isolation, and I don't believe that. And I know that you would have never looked at a computer again after after 
I told your parents. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm, I mean, I mean, tech, I mean, I am taking an accelerated college course. The point, starting okay, today. okay. The fact of the matter, it, it, hyperbole aside. You would have been alone after that because you don't have a lot of friends in real life, do you? I don't. Yeah. That, 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 that's what I thought. Well, now you don't have much friends at all on either side. You decided mm -hmm. to have you decided to have your little 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 monologue about how human beings are are horrible. Actually, let me let me read let me read quote for quote on here because I don't I don't like to misquote. Humans are scum. They aren't going to keep their word. Those four are effectively cancelled. Because that's the kind of people those three are. They don't want change. They want those who did wrong to be gone. Tell me, how is that a bad thing? I mean, it depends on, like, the severe... And, I mean, the way I see it is it depends on severity, just... Well, this is pretty like... fucking severe, Key. But, but actually, no, you, you didn't, because you thought that it was small potatoes that Tippy had kept somebody around who was uh, for two years. Who, who could have put people that you cared about in danger. Or really, actually, no, you didn't care about them because it was Tippy that you cared about. Tell me, did you also know? Because I don't, oh. I don't like to believe that Tippy really kept this to herself for two years. And your girlfriend. And your girlfriend kept that together. I don't know if it was for two years, but your girlfriend and Tippy? And you didn't know about it? I, I have a hard time believing that. I really, I really didn't know. It's like, I wasn't even that close to Vigelcio to begin with. But you were close to Tippy, and Tippy knew. Don't you two tell tell each other everything? Like, no, since, like, so, no, since, like, we don't tell each other everything. There are things we don't, there are things we don't tell. Well, I don't have any evidence to prove the contrary, so I'm going to go ahead and take that at face value. But tell me. How was I a rat? And why was I the only one called a rat? It was, it was because you were. It was because you were the only one who went into the smaller chat with Doodle, Tippy, and Nekos. But I wasn't the only one that tore into her. Heaton was right there. But you're scared of Heaton, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. That's my one. It's like I look. I was gonna. I was gonna because you I, knew I, she I, could fight back if she found out. Did you not think I was? Do you not? Hey, you've known me since 2018. Did you not think I was gonna fight back too? Just, what'd you think I was gonna do? Um, I, I, I it's like, I, I knew. Well, I knew you were. Well, well, it's like I knew you were gonna be very furious at me and it's like it's plus it's definitely gonna go public given how much a rubber rat ellie is tell me am i known to just dragging people online that didn't deserve it because the last person i did that to was vivian and we all know what she did mm -hmm. I... if i didn't like tippy i wouldn't have had her in my private server But no, actually, I guess according to you, I'm such a rat. So I would have her in my private server just to just to plan to cancel her for some reason. But you know what? I, I, I we're running in circles. I, I've already made my points. I, I feel like I'm at this point just kind of just kind of kicking you down a little bit more than you really deserve. So just for sense of clarification.
I'm not going to give you a time limit, but I'm going to assume you're going to be reasonable about this. Indeed, I'll I'll be very reasonable about this. And reasonable in time. I'm if I I I hope that you just you are smarter than Spockter and won't wait a whole year before you decide to actually say what you did wrong. So you will be making a video. Mm hmm of you admitting to what you did and apologizing which i will say i uh i don't remember if you had already done that but uh i'm gonna need one a little less cryy this time like all right i i will i will it's just no i mean in here because i kind of feel cheated i was asleep I... during that entire call which pisses me off i really should have gotten i really should have oh. gotten in there but you know. All right, Ellie, I am. I am sorry for ever saying you should kill yourself. No, for despite knowing that you were going, that you were struggling, despite knowing that what Neko's and Tippy did was wrong, yet downplaying it because they, because they were my friends, when I should have held them accountable. I am sorry. There is that. So anyway, uh, I want you to publicly admit what you did, both on Twitter and YouTube. Uh, and I will, I would like to see your script and your tweets before they go out. And we'll let the uh, chips fall where they may after that. I don't know what's, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen after that. I can't, I can't give you an answer. I really want to make. I really want to. I really want to make things right. Well, then I already gave you your tools. All right. It's up to you I'm... to figure out how to use them. I. I will. You know, even after all this, I, I can't sit here and say that I hate you. I. I. I, I don't know. Something. Something in me is. Telling me that I can't sit here and hate you. I, I, I don't know. Some, some, mm. Something in me. I should. I have every right to. But I just can't bring myself to do it. Mm. I pity you. I will say that. I, I, I do pity you. You are, you are, giving, you are giving me more than, than you reasonably should, but thanks. Hmm. You know what you have to do, and, uh... I do. I hope to be hearing from you very, very soon. Hopefully with a Google Doc link, or a screenshot, or a, a notes app. Writing. Mm-hmm. I will. I will talk to you later, I suppose. I'll talk to you later, too. By the way, I want to point out that pretty much all of these calls were August 2nd. If you can't tell, I was getting mighty tired of everything happening surrounding my group, which was going to culminate in another call, and like Lyo promised, in Senate, where Tippy Key and Musical.ly all agreed to sit down and talk with a handful of us Marshmallow people. Unfortunately for them, we were fed up that day, and the Marshmallow people were ready to bite back. Hello and welcome everyone. I'm not doing this call. Lyo is. Hey, Lyo. Hello. <clears throat> oh, Jiminy Christmas. Oh, God. Thank you, Lumi. A lot of people to mute and unmute. I just do. What did I just do? Uh, who do you need unmuted? I'll do it. Think no. I think I accidentally sent server invites to another server randomly. So just ignore that if you got it. Congratulations. Uh, uh who do you need unmuted? I can help you. I think I may have just about everybody already. All right. Do you need Ellie unmuted? Yeah, I thought I did. 
But Ali's also at work. No, it's, uh... It's like Aaron Tempest. Yep, I accidentally and... sent Nezzy. I sent, I sent Nessie an invite to a server they're already in. Yeah, he <laughs> sent it to me, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was really confused. All right, I'm going to mute myself then. All right, so, Nezzy, can you talk? Yilly dilly. All right, so... Let's see here. I know Ellie's at work, but June, I just heard you. So heard Susie. Aaron, can you talk? Yes. How about you, Boonslayer? Yep. I see Baiji still did the Jackal Sniper thing. Keyblade, can you talk? Of course. Where's Tippy? Oh. Mm. Uh. Was Tippy invited by any chance? Should have been. Mm. That was part of the conversation. Uh. Oh. Uh, like, mm. uh, hold on, uh, hold on a moment. I can, I can, uh, get her. all right. <sighs> sure. Why you I'm satisfied. all to invite someone? I'm satisfied. I got to yell at Zabby this morning. Where's Blue? I Who just joined? Who just left? Uh, Questions. Ah, uh, God, my fucking arm. It looks like Umi left. If you hear me, like, if you hear, like, weird Velcro sounds, it's probably me taking my cast on and off. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm a whiny bitch. Old man, you cannot pick yes. up me. I've crashed just because I started to fucking mute myself. I'm not worried about that. We're waiting on somebody. In fact, we're waiting on two somebodies. Three. We're waiting on. Yeah, because. And... Go ahead, Boone. Again, I just find it weird that like when he's when he's going to like make sure Tippy gets in, he leaves the call. I find that very weird. Probably to get in the car with Tippy. Probably. And now they all. He's also said he's bringing a, a a person along, too. Who? I don't know. Ellie. Mm. Oh, Ellie's gonna be muted. Laya, do you yeah. know? I was never. Hi, sorry. I, first of all, I'm not. I'm getting ready for work. Also, he just said that he was gonna bring somebody, but he never told me the somebody. Yes, but in the message it said that I know what he and Tippy are doing, so that should have been understood. Also, where is Heaton and where is Blue? I don't know. Uh, well, I ask Heaton. I must say somebody could probably get grab Brooke and tell her to get Heaton. I don't know. Right now, I understand what Heaton was talking about. This is the most people I've ever been yeah. in a call with. <laughs> oh, <laughs> The call hasn't even started yet. Wait till people start noticing it's happening. Oh, hey, oh, people no. was there oh, when I was yeah. there. Like oh, that call believe. that happened two weeks ago oh. or something. I don't remember oh, what yeah. time. Oh, oh no! I crashed! Uh, I'm here. There they are. There Thanks, they are. Dicord. Okay. Love that. We're also waiting on... Avi, who is in Heat and Server streaming, but he hasn't responded to anything. I think he might be AFK. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll go text him. I'll, I'll, I'll can call him. He's probably dragging him to do something. Hi, Blue. I'll Hi. mute myself and call as well. Hi, Blue. Is, this call is going to get chaotic very fucking quick. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Nah, I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm going to be laying some ground rules when we actually start getting started. Once everybody's in here, it needs to be in here. Now, mm -hmm. technically, Heaton's not required, but I thought she might want to be included. I got my yelling out this morning. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
uh, before we start, is there a no mic in Senate? There is. I'm old. Why? Uh, BL, BL, uh, is it, uh, BL can only speak in text right now? Why? Because, uh, she's in uh, a car. and she's in a car and internet is pretty shit. Well, this call, this call isn't going to last five minutes, so I'm sure whatever they had to say, they can say with their voice when they get home. Uh, um, I told Avi it was starting now. Yeah. He said, sorry, one second, so wait on Avi. I'm sure Heaton probably, like, did the smart thing and actually went to bed, so. Mm-hmm. I wish I could sleep. I've been too stressed. Oh, so true, Bastie. So true. <laughs> I say as I ready myself for my John Capitalism. I'm just gonna go and drink water real quick. Yes, I haven't hydrated in like days. Jesus, drink. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me just put it like this: like the stress levels were so bad, I passed out. Uh. Earlier this evening. You know, give mm. me a break. I wonder why. Give me a fucking break, Tippy. Jesus you Christ. You know, I mean, if you want to go into competition, y'all did this shit on my birthday. Yeah. I'd Thank you. Overtime. I'd work overtime to make them happy. Since we're, since we're getting on, like, a, a trivial do. shit that doesn't matter. Which I would do any day of the week for you, BB. Also, All Tippy, right. you don't get to complain about stress. Yeah, you, you really don't. I don't understand why you think that this is just going to be some fun, casual call, Tippy. I, I really don't. Yeah, so Avi uh, is here now. Alright, let me go ahead and take care of that. He's under the I name Desk. Of course. <laughs> why wouldn't he be? Yeah, uh, All right. that's Desk Howard. <laughs> All right, no so let me go ahead and lay some ground rules here, because you are not in a familiar setting. You are in Senate now. There have been times in the past where calls got extremely chaotic, so we're going to avoid that here. You see, you're probably going to wind up with a bunch of people sitting in here listening to what's going on, because they got a bunch of looky-loos. We have a lot of rubbernecks in here, but they're not going to be allowed to talk unless they are manually unmuted, which I have done for all the guests here. So... If you are not speaking, even if you are one of the guests, I'm going to ask you to mute yourself. I'm also going to ask for people to properly recognize call etiquette. So, try to keep the in-jokes among yourselves. We need to address some more serious matters here. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a time for everyone to express how they feel. It's actually been involved, which means the peanuts will not be. You guys get to sit on it and have your little hee hee ha ha's in the gallery chat. But the people who are involved in this conversation, to my knowledge, are Avi, Blue, Keyblade, Tippy, me, Nezzy, Susie, June, and Ellie. And probably one or two people I forgot because there's going to be a lot of people involved here. To give a TLDR for those who are not aware, a few years ago, there was an individual within the commentary community's sideshow, which is the side, which is a slideshow, you know, slideshow people here, a slideshow commentary, who was exposed as a child predator. His name is Vomega. Apparently, an individual by the name of Viper or whatever Vigil. was uh, Vigil. Vigil. Thank Vigil. You. Was his was his BFS forever bestie, and despite knowing what this clown had done, decided to. Still hang around him, still be his friend, and get upset when people speak ill of him, apparently. There were four people who were aware of this, Tippy being the one who knew the longest for two years. Now, those of you who have been in Senate, seen what I've had to deal with, seen how I've operated, know full well that predators never just have one person. And more importantly, they tend to scout using their buddies, which is what I feel is likely what happened. I'm sorry! <laughs> What did I just oh. say? That was Heaton. Heaton was late. 
Oh, Heaton. I thought that was Tibby. Yeah. I was about to lose my mind. No, 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 no. no. But Sorry. I don't want you yelling at that. I will not yeah. yell at Heaton. Moving Three on. people just DM'd me all at once. I'm sorry, I'm late. Uh, go ahead, continue. Okay. okay. Thankfully, you're not too late. The problem is nobody decided to tell anybody. Nobody voiced it. Tippy having the weakest of possible excuses. Tippy's excuse for not telling anybody was she was trying to get this individual, who is an adult, away from the Omega, somehow taking two years to do so. Interesting. Now, Keyblade here, the best way I can describe Keyblade is massive simp. You see, when all this came out, a few people, Ellie specifically, took issue with Tippy's self-immolation about all of it, because Tippy wanted to avoid the unpleasant conversation by talking about how, well, she's hurting and she knows she's done wrong and you don't need to yell at her, and she was put in her place in Keyblade here, decided the best thing to do to react to that, which is apparently a pattern for him, is to talk about how she should kill herself and called her a whore. Very interesting language. Now, this is also, while well, Keyblade here knew that Ellie has tried a couple of times. One of which was because Ellie here, unfortunately, and I am sorry to hear this, lost her father. And when she was trying to talk about it in the chat they have specifically to do that, they told her that it wasn't a good time to vent. Now, we're, we're here in Senate. People at least fancy themselves as a little harder... Emphasis on fancy. Most of you don't. Or aren't. But, you know, even we don't dick with people who lost family members and want to talk about it. And we especially don't do it behind closed doors thinking nobody's going to tell on us or anything like that. So, this is when I get to my point. We had a call Monday. Some of you will listen to it. Some of you probably listened to it multiple times. Where I made some very clear statements to Keyblade here about how I expect him to conduct himself and how I expect him to not do certain things. Keyblade, unmute. I've been unmuted. Keyblade, can you tell me what a whore is? A whore is is a, a woman who like uh, sells herself for money. A whore is a derogatory statement for a sex worker, usually a woman, who exchanges her body for money. The benefit of being a whore is that you get paid for it. You, Keyblade, are what I would call a slut. A slut is somebody who gives themselves away for free. Now, there are some people who have reclaimed this as a form of female empowerment, but the reason why I'm calling you one is because you are simping after somebody, trying to defend her honor, who seems to show no actual attraction to you. Especially, I find odd that you did so while you were dating somebody. Isn't that fascinating? Fascinating behavior. But that's just the icing on this crap cake, because the truth of the matter is the main reason why I brought you in here. It's because I made you a promise last time, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Tippy, I'm going to ask you a very clear-cut question here, and I'm not asking this for self-aggrandizement. I'm being as blunt as I can with you. Do you think you're smarter than me? No. That was for Keyblade. No. Do you think that you're able to hide stuff from me when I have plenty of people who will happily tell me when somebody's being stupid? Mm, no. My information network's better than yours. They're more reliable, and they're pissed, just so you know. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell me about the server you made, or that you're in, whichever term you want to use for it. Tell me all about it. Uh, that server was... I'm sorry, was I speaking to you? Oh, sorry. Um, look, th the purpose of that server was just to... Look, the situation is like is like very stressful it's like i oh I, it's I, stressful is it that did i ask you if the situation is stressful or did i ask you the purpose of the server it, it's just it's just to get it's just to like 
get away. It's just to get away from it all and just, just you know, catch, you know, just catch my breath since. You made a Discord server to catch your breath. Yeah. For the record yes. of everybody here, who I know is going to ask, uh, this individual's twenty-two, and Tippy's twenty-six. Since I know that's going to come up sooner or later. Mm -hmm. Catch your breath. Tippy, unmute. Yes. You know, I was oh. past some logs. I was past some logs today. It's very, very fascinating what some of these logs say. Um, let me verify. I need to. I need to check. I want to make sure I'm addressing the right person about these logs that I was sent. Do 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 do. do. Oh, okay. I am right. You go by Kazuna on another platform, yes? Uh, mm -hmm. I have a very blunt question. In that call that we had Monday night, did I threaten to dox you? No. Did I post your address anywhere? No. Nope. Did I do it to Keyblade? As far as I'm concerned, no. Then why? It's one of the first things I'm seeing. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and, and do the gallery here a favor. And for the record, since half of you don't listen unless I say it, which I'm getting very, very tired of, and we will address in the near future, uh, you make fun of somebody for what they can control, not what they can't. So I don't want to hear dick about any of you making fun of people's voices here, because half of you sound like you're part of Pee Wee's Playhouse. So for the chat, I will read this off. Okay, Slayer, I need to ask you something. I'm guessing Boon Slayer. But can uh, you, no. like, tell... Really? Uh, no, this would be a different Slayer. Yeah, they go by... Uh, they go by New Metal Slayer. Anyways, I need to ask you something. But can you, like, tell Susie to perhaps private the video or at the very least mitigate this issue? Me and Key... By the way, it's Key and I. Are effing scared right now for our lives. I was curious about that one, too. For our lives. Mm -hmm. so can one of you tell me how exactly you're scared for your lives? I'm very curious uh, about this. It's uh, from from what I recall. It's more directed towards a uh, key than me. Uh, because he's been getting uh, a lot of uh, negative uh attention directed at him oh. yeah, i bet oh so key do you feel in fear of your life i mean yes I or mean, no it is not an essay yeah. question uh yes has somebody threatened to kill you N no but has somebody I... has somebody posted your address no has somebody posted your real name no. Has somebody driven by your house casing the place with a firearm? No. How is your life in danger? How do you feel afraid for your life? Because it's just... Because I just... Because just seeing so many people I knew saying they hate my guts or they're disappointed in me because of a mistake that I, that I made and I will continue to admit it was a fuck-up. I will... You will? I, <laughs> Yes, I will. Is that, uh, is that right? You will, huh? Because I recall, uh, I, I recall, dearest, uh, that you promised, if I'm not mistaken, you promised our, our dear sweet Ellie that you were going to post an apology on Twitter and on your YouTube channel, and you were going to take accountability. I, if I, I recall, am. yeah, if I cor recall correctly, isn't your Twitter gone? Yeah. Yes. Aren't all the videos on your YouTube channel gone? I I private them, but look, I can but look, I can explain just I, It's like given given everything that it's like look, I privated my videos because after I made the accountability video, I was going to leave the community. I was I was I I'm not going to be making any YouTube videos. 
I'm not, I'm not going to be, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be around this community. I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be gone and seek professional help. So you deleted your Twitter because why? I delete, I delete. I delete my Twitter because, because I, because I just, because I just, because I was like, because I, I delete my Twitter because I was stupid to put it lightly. Yeah, no shit. Um, um also, fun fact for everyone involved here in, in gallery, because I'm so glad that people reminded me because I would have probably forgotten. Um, this is not the first time that Key has done this, as Lyo said, uh, because one time Key has done it to me. Uh, what, did I, what did I tell you, Key? I told you just the other day when we had this conversation that if I found out that you had my name in your mouth again, I was going to be fucking furious. So I'm coaxing Susie into making videos now. Wait, like, I'm uh, a if... I'm a rat and a terrible person because that's just the kind of person I am, huh? Was was this said in like uh was this said in like uh um like uh may I ask where the where I where I said this? You said this in. You a... don't know where. You said this. You don't in... know. What, Susie? Tell him. <laughs> you said this in Umbrus's. What was it? Lizard, wizard. Uh, chat or whatever. Wizard, wizard, money gang. Yes. Uh, your uh, exact what? words. Your exact words. I, I, I can pull them up just real quick. Um, you could not appreciate that immensely, yeah. Susie. Uh, while Susie's doing that, can you guys hear me clearly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So, P, why didn't you tell me your Twitter was gone when I told you to make a tweet about it? Because your Twitter was gone. Before you your sent Your was message. gone before you told me. So you lied to me again in the same I, call I called you out on it. Because you I, lied I, to me. Like, but you lied to me minute one in the call when you said that you didn't see when I told the whole Cloud Palace I was getting admitted to the hospital. Do you well, have the, a problem with telling the truth to me? I think I'm not gonna figure it the fuck out. I don't. I don't. It's just like, look, do you think I, I'm a I, fucking I, idiot, or do you think I'm a stupid fucking whore like you think I am? No, I don't. Like, look, I deactivated my Twitter. I was like, once I made the Twitter thread, That's not what I asked. I asked why you didn't tell me. Because, because it's just I didn't. Because I. Before you answer. Think very hard about the answer you give. A spoiler alert, I know why. So let's test your honesty. Tell the real I have a question role. afterward. I also Tell have a real... question. That's yeah, fine. I got my uh just while you while you think. While you while you postulate the words, because you're you're gonna answer Ellie first. Um all I have to say about that. Because, you know, uh, I'm, I'm sure, sure that uh, in these particular moments, we would have been, you know, the SEC would have never lost anything, wouldn't have lost anything of value if I had uh, left it, was his words before. Uh, but mm. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you something for free. I don't tell Susie to do shit. I specifically... And multiple people in this call can confirm it, said repeatedly, I'm going to let Susie have a day, and I'm going to ask Susie if it's okay if I make a video. And I am making a video. I'm absolutely making a video on both of you. Uh, and I'm going to be in it. Yeah. And I just want you to know, unlike you, uh, I don't need to get other people to do my bidding. I don't need to do things behind closed doors. I don't need to ask Susie to do fuck and shit all. If I want something done, it gets done. Actually. That's the beginning, middle, and end of it. And I'm getting real sick and tired 
of people like you who are snaking around in this community having some weird predilection towards the thought that I am somehow puppeteering the people around me. No, King, I am not puppeteering the people around me. I am a good friend who cares about her friends and stands by them when they want to do things themselves. On that note, um, if I may... You of course may, my dear. I think this is the perfect time to segue. So, first and foremost, I have the I have the quotes pulled up. So you were talking to poor Kate. Poor Kate said, Susie did specifically say she doesn't want the four to be isolated or shunned. My opinion on all of them hasn't changed, and I still consider them good people. FYI, I'm not upset at anyone here or, uh, for earlier. You responded with, I highly doubt Susie's going to keep her word. I'm sure she'll get strong-armed into making it public by Heaton or Ellie. Now let me address that myself. Um... I did that on my own terms purely because of what you, Tippy, and a few others were doing publicly on Twitter, worrying everyone by posting about how this is going to be your last post on Twitter, or talking about how well you or like how not well you're doing. It got people really worried about what was going on, and people were coming to me about it. I figured it was time for some full transparency. That's why I put out the call. Uh, you can also tell that to your your little friend, uh, Musically Bright, because I know you were sharing around our um, your yours and my DMs uh, with them, and and kind of leading them under this insinuation that I was somehow being two faced when I initially said that I didn't necessarily want people to isolate themselves. You can tell that's your little buddy. I don't know who Musically Bright is, but I've seen the I've seen your little messages with them. Frankly, I don't appreciate no, no. you you insinuating this kind of behavior, Key. Well, other people had some questions, and then we're gonna make Key answer literally all of them. So I think Nezzy had a question, and I think I think it was Yoon had a question. Yes. Yeah, Did you can go first. Oh yeah, let's answer Ellie's question. My question was never question. answered. Yeah. Now yeah, we my go. Now we cycle all answered. the way back. Um. Uh, no, excuse no, no, me. I'll, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, excuse well, me. Well, no. Hold on. What? I, I know for a fact Nobody asked. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Call etiquette needs to be observed here. Real quick, Tippy. What? Uh, musically bright wants me to read something on her behalf. Musically Bright can get home and open her own mouth. Oh, is that the other person that's that's supposed to be in this call? Sweet, I can address them myself. Yes. Well, we'll mm -hmm. wait then, because questions need to be answered first, and I would like you to answer Ellie's question first. Then you can answer Susie's, and then we can finally come all the way back to mine, because you've had plenty of time to talk about it, or think about it. Then we can get to Nezzy and June so they're not left out. Key. Answer Ellie's question. I didn't bring up that I deactivated my Twitter because when when I finished making the accountability when I was going when I was going to finish making the accountability script and Twitter and and Twitter links, I was going to reactivate it to explain to, ex to take accountability for what I did. I didn't think that literally answers dick all of what I just asked you. I asked you why you didn't tell me. I didn't, I didn't care if you were going to reactivate it, P. If you just said, hey, just letting you know my Twitter's deactivated, but I'm going to reactivate it when I make the Twitter post, would have been fine. You, you guys have such a, a pattern of, of just not saying anything or just lying by omission. I didn't, I didn't bring it up because I didn't think it would be, I didn't think it'd be important. Uh, it's a little important when I find out that your Twitter wasn't ever, you know, activated by the time we had the call when you promised me you would say something publicly. Looks a little suspect. I, I know, and that was, and that was dumb of me. I react, I reactivated. Yeah, anyway, whoever has, whoever has a question, that's, that's, I, I'm muted. For Susie, Susie had the question next, and then we can wrap around to mine. Oh, no. 
I'll wait for I'll f wait for Musically Bright to get home because I've got something to specifically oh. ask them. Cool. So we're circling back to why that server was made. Key, did you finally figure out what I know? Did you finally think about it? You know that me and Tippy have cult accounts. A server. I do. So why was the server made? Let's see if you can be honest with me. It's, it's because... It's, it's because we... It's because we... It's because the situation is hard for us, and we want it... And we just want it... We just wanted a place to just, you know, like, talk, talk with people and, and just... Just, you know... Eat. You wanted a place where you couldn't be held accountable, surrounded by people who are dumb enough to stay around you. Where you could talk trash, where you think it wouldn't be seen. That wasn't... That wasn't my intention. I... It's like... That's what the road to hell is paved with. Oh... Oh... The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Not that I think you actually had any. So my next question, and I, I need to know, because I'm not in this chat. Are there miners in Umbris's server? Um, there, not asking no you. Not asking you. Susie, Heaton, anybody who I know is not going to lie to me? I actually have no idea. I'm not in that server. If Nova, oh. if Nova is... Oh, oh yeah, there? No, Nova. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't care about Nova. I just want to know if there are miners in Ephraim answered. There are miners in Umbris' chat. So you, Keyblade, are in a chat that has miners after you've already failed to make sure that your end of things was tidied up here, complaining about people who held you accountable. Isn't that a fascinating thing? For the record... There's only one person who unintentionally put any pressure on Susie for any of this. You know who that was? Yell. Me. It was completely unintentional, and I do mean that. Because when Susie found out I knew that I wasn't happy, that's when Susie said goodbye to all of you in the Cloud Palace. Susie was initially going to take her time and deal with it and process it how she needed to, but because I found out and because she knew I was pissed, she thought it best to remove all of you right then and there, which I told her wasn't really necessary. And hopefully she'll take that to heart. But I hate to tell you this. I said don't. I really like telling you this. Actually, no, I'm not even going to tell you, so I'm going to ask you something. And then I'm going to let these other two, who have been very gracious in allowing me to continue on, uh... How exactly would, the, would this small subset of the community uh, have nothing missing if Heaton left? Can you tell me? I, I, it's like, I can't because, er, because, us, because, something would, because something would be missing if Heaton left. Oh, I don't want to hear that right now. I'm going by what you literally said, because you had to be thinking something then, because we already talked to you two days ago about your inability to control yourself. So why don't you stop, drop the facade, and just be honest for once in your miserable life? Mm. Just... And don't, and don't take forever because we have other people we need to cycle through here. And unlike the Ephraim call, I'm not willing to let you drag it on for a third of the call. Mm. It's just... I, the, sub, the, sub, the subsection I thought was just, like, you know, like, just people who... It's just... It was just people who, I, who like, made... Who made... Who made like who were just irresponsible? I, I... <laughs> rollicking love that. He, so our choice of words. Heaton irres Heaton um, irresponsible. That's a fascinating num thing to call her. Very fascinating because you know what the truth of the matter is, Key. 
She's not the one in this call getting grilled. She's also not the person in this call who simps for somebody who's never going to be into his dick. And she's also not the person who made excuses for their compatriots failing to report somebody who is chummy with a kid molester. That's you. I'm so, I'm terribly sorry. Um, can I uh can I add a can I add a question to the docket once um yes. once everybody else is finished? Well, right. I'm done with I'm done with my section. Heaton, I hear you want to say something. Then we're gonna move to the other questions. The most fucking infuriating part of it Are is because so you don't so you don't know the context for that one because this this one's old. Uh, because I know exactly why. I know exactly why. Because there's two possibilities uh and given the context of time frame if i'm remembering correctly susie can correct me it was because of one of two things and both of them aged so poorly because either i was irresponsible in dealing with fran oh, no. or it was in no. dealing with ray oh no it could be either <laughs> Because during that time frame, if I remember correctly, the reason that that side of the CC hated me and got mad at me was I was irresponsible because I let everyone see. Lyle's going to love this because the context is so funny. It wraps all the way back around. Ouroboros devours its own tail and all that. Because I got called out uh, by people like Key in the SCC because I told everyone what Ray was saying about me in private. Oh, Heaton, I can do you one better. I can do better than you asking Susie because I was still in the friend group at that time. So would you like me to confirm which one it is? I would love that. It's Rachel because she was upset as Rachel is that she was called out for calling Heaton a waste of sperm. What an interesting thing to call Heaton. Yeah, Rachel called me a waste of sperm because uh, I was because I was so mean to a girl who was trying to frame a young man for being a pedophile, uh, and then trying to duck accountability and lying about mental illness. Um, and I called Rachel out because she called me a waste of sperm in private while she was trying to play buddy-buddy with everyone in public. Fantastic. So thank you for that context. But we do need to gracefully move on. Nessie, please ask mm -hmm. your question. Thank you. So, Key, what exactly did you mean by you feel like your life was in danger because people hated you and were disappointed in you? Because I, because I genuinely regret what I did. I agreed to Ellie's terms to make a public video and Twitter link thread and like taking accountability for my actions. And, and when I see people I know for a long time cut me off just one by one and, and the call going up and seeing people hate, hate my guts for something, for something I stole. I strongly regret, and I will keep admitting that I, that I, that I do not, I massively fucked up. I will keep admitting that until the day I die. So seeing them say they, they hate me and all that stuff, just, I felt, I felt scared that like, and hearing that people will hunt me down if they see if they see my presence online, I, I was ter I felt scared that my life was in, my life was in danger, and I didn't know what to do. I want to take I, accountability. I don't think that answers Nezzy's question. It does. Who's it. gonna hunt you down? Who said that? I want to see it for myself now. It's just, I, I, it's just, I was told this by BL. So you were ah. told this. No, 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 hold on. This is my section. You were told this. 
based on conjecture, by the way, by someone who already has shown to be dishonest in your server, and you took that to heart, not to mention completely demeaning all of your so-called friends' emotion because they're in the wrong for unfriending you and being disappointed and not wanting to be around you because you told a suicidal person to go kill themselves when a lot of people in that server have a history, including myself, of suicidal ideation, suicidal attempt, self-harm, depression, anxiety, bipolar, autism. You want to know? Hmm? You are aware of that. You chose a very brilliant, perfectly timed you picked a really bad time to uh, express your emotions of uh, Ellie being, oh, right, a whore. And I know you're going to be like, oh, but why are you keep bringing it up? T key, it just fucking happened a couple days ago. Of course, people are still going to be talking about it and being pissed at you. You deactivated your Twitter before you sent that message to Ellie. And your whole plan was to make a thread apologizing and then deactivate it again. So it was basically pointless. And you privated every single video. You cut any type of contact because no one wanted to talk to you. And now you want to blame them for not wanting to talk to you. Oh, and not to mention you had an alt, you had a server where you went in with Tippy and you decided to jack yourself off in this massive circle jerk about how you weren't in the wrong. Am I correct? If you lie to me, I swear to God, I saw the screenshots. You will answer me the truth. Now! It's just... It's like... It's like I felt... No, 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 no! It's just like I felt like... Tell me now! Yes, it's... Yes, it's true! <laughs> Fascinating. So what do you have to say about that? Hmm? What do you have to say about your entitlement to people's time and kindness that they gave you for God knows how long, Al Donnie is fucking devastated because you snapped at him when he gave you all types of support. He gave you all of his time, but you were too busy gawking at Tippy and the infantilization with your weird weeaboo fetishization. I don't, don't that I don't have that. I just look. I now just shut the fuck up. We all know about the Kanzaki shit. We all know about your waifu battles in the fucking chat that got so heinous that people left. Waifu battles? Yeah, was that was a whole yeah. thing. I was about to say, story. don't you even start Kanzaki month, Christ. No, oh, that's in October. Oh my more god, Eric. More importantly. I want to be... Moving. Sorry. No, I'm saying we're moving on. We're letting you finish up. I just want to say, right now, we'll probably get into this later. I don't know if more things are going to be brought up. But mm -hmm. later on, we're going to bring up Zephy. Because there's a very interesting call that happened this morning with our dear friend Zephy. And mm -hmm. Tippy is going to want to listen very closely. Because there were a lot of realizations that were made. And I have a feeling you're going to lose another fucking friend in five minutes. I'm going to get my opera goggles on for that one, because I wasn't even in that call. Now, yeah. June, you're up next. Is, is it okay if I ask two questions? Because all, all of that fucking posturing Keyblade did, um, ooh. Well, I mean, it was your birthday, so I suppose you're owed that. <laughs> Thank you. So, Keyblade. Um, you pretty a uh, pretty. Oh, for the record, I uh, asked Ellie. She said I could. Um, you you used a very specific word before all of that. I regret. I majorly fucked up. You said it was a mistake. You said. Um, let me just read this out. Um, for the class. I hope you kill yourself, you fucking whore. No, but I genuinely do wish the worst for her. Um, I believe it's justified when people I care about get wrongly cancelled. You think it's a lot, but I personally think it's just right. 
No, you didn't. The worst you did was dumb. At worst, it should have been a suspension, not fucking kicked out. I highly doubt that, since humans are inherently evil. After yesterday, I finally saw the world for what it is, a shithole, and I'm only acting appropriately. Fine, I'll fuck off then. Does that sound like a mistake to you, or does that sound like someone said it with intent? And real quick, I want to give context to people in the call who don't know what this is in reference to. Um, he said all of that because Ellie made Tippy cry for holding Tippy accountable for <clears throat> not informing people about someone being connected to a child predator for two years. That's Wait, that, I made her that... cry? Well, I say cry, like, more likely not physically cry, but upset, emotionally distraught. Interesting thing Damn that it! Is. That was my fault. <laughs> Either way. Uh, also, just a quick thing. Uh, after Yoon and everyone else who has a question, I'd like to ask one as well, because I kind of realized something as we were Don't going worry. through Here's this. how the order's going so far. We have Yoon currently, then we're going to have Aaron, then we're going to have Blue, and then we're going to get to you. And then we're probably going to turn our attention to Tippy. Excellent. Um, Avi can go before me because personally, I think I'm going to be extra hard on our friend Keyblade here. Also, a fun side note: I see the I see the mods are eating well in rule breaks tonight. Fantastic. <laughs> I will say one more one more thing before my my sweet prince uh, continues. You know, Key, it's really funny that you call me the whore. I've been more. I have I have Yoon, I have Nezi, I have Susie as my husbands and wives, but I'll tell you right now, I am more faithful to my husband than you ever were to Neck of Shadows. And yes, I told them what you said, and they heard you say it. I live in a one-party consent state. You're pathetic. And I'm so glad that Neko is away from you. She deserved better. I don't like her. But she deserves better than a pussy wit micro penis ass motherfucker like you. Oh, Poor actually. Baby. Oh yeah, no. Um, I do have a message from Neko Shadows to to Key and to Tippy. Uh, if I'm allowed. We are, but we do need to move on to other people. It is getting late. Yeah. So, Keyblade, answer my fucking question. It's like... It's yes or no. No, 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 I hate this shit. I hate this. It's like... It, I'm asking a yes or no question. Does that... Is it, is it a mistake? Does that sound like a mistake? Does that sound like something you, like, oopsie poopsied into? Yes or no? Yes, because I... Because... I'm sorry, are you saying you said I want that I hope this person kills themselves after you knew they were suicidal and then doubled down like three fucking times when people called you out that it was extreme. That's a mistake. Yes, because I was because I legit just didn't care at that point. That's not it's a mistake, just... you dumb cunt! You did it with intent! Sure it wasn't an accident, it wasn't an oopsie, you did it because you fucked meant it stop trying to bullshit me keyblade i'm smarter than you i will always be smarter than you that's why you keep taking my fucking points that's why you used my point against fucking ellie when she was mourning her father's death because just like tippy you don't have a single thought for yourself now answer me again was it a mistake Yes or fucking no! No, it wasn't! Thank you. Now my second one. Because I think it's really novel and really funny for you to sit here with me in the fucking room. For you to be like, oh, and I, all my friends were leaving me and abandoning me and cutting me off left and right. Hey, Keyblade. Do you remember oh, punishing me, punishing me for saying that I hoped someone killed themselves because they hurt my widow friend that I totally am not into Fifi's Keyblade. 
does it, you know, let me just give a second. Does everybody else want to know something? This isn't the first time Keyblade's ha handled someone's suicidal ideation poorly. Really? So Keyblade, remember? Do you remember when I was friends with Rachel and you were friends with Rachel? Yes. Do you remember when you were here before me coming to me about how you're so scared about your impulse issues and your anger issues? So you asked me to fucking babysit your event channel? Mm -hmm. And remember when I... To, who sh to people who should have been my friends opened up about my suicidal thoughts as I was saying I wanted to fucking kill myself because of fuck shit that was happening in my life. What did you do, Keyblade? I removed you from my vent. No, 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 no. What did you do, Keyblade? Pun- I- Punished- I punished you by removing you off my vent. What did you punish me for, Keyblade? Expressing your suicide thoughts. Yeah, you punished me for being suicidal. You cut me off for my abuser because I was suicidal. Oh, but it doesn't stop there now, does it, Keyblade? Because this isn't the first time you did that. That wasn't the only time you did that now, was it, Keyblade? That wasn't the last time you cut me off for somebody that was making my life hell, was it, Keyblade? Mm. Wasn't. Who was the other person, Keyblade? Mm. Uh. Say uh, their name. I'm Do you not remember? It. I am losing my patience, Keyblade. I, I, look, I look. I don't remember. I'm being honest. Remind you me. don't remember having a whole rant in the Cloud Palace when Yoon posted her. Oh, sorry, when Yoon posted their thread about a certain someone and how you and Slayer went off on them in that chat. You don't remember? Mm. I do, because I'm I one of the people it. that called you both out. Tell me, Keyblade, do you only talk shit about me because you think I'm never going to find out? Did you think when I entered the Cloud Palace, I wouldn't check? Because it's in the document, Keyblade. You didn't think I would have checked to see who talked shit about me? Who was it, Keyblade? It was, it was, uh, it was Ray. No, it wasn't. No. You fucking dumb bitch. No. Who fucking made a docu document about me? Who made an 80 yes. plus document about me? Yes. For those For all of you, you not to know. Galbanum that he's referring to. So not only did you uh, side with my stalker, um, who, who was upset with me for cutting cut for just not being an acquaintance anymore, you did that. You also uh, decided to punish me for being suicidal because the person who made me suicidal said that they didn't want to be my friend anymore. And now you're over here saying you want Ellie to kill herself and that she's a whore because your friend didn't like her. So tell me, Keyblade, why is it that your morals are so fucking easily swayed by women you don't have, well, by AFABs, excuse me, that you don't have a chance with. AFABs and women you have zero chance with, why are they so swayed that you don't care about lives of innocent people that did so fucking much for you? It's, since, I, since they were my friend, since they were my friends what? at the time. I'm sorry, was I not your friend? You, uh, you clearly, you, you thought of me as a friend since you trusted me enough to go help you. Mm. Or am I just a convenience for you? Was Ellie, was, so I guess Ellie's doesn't matter because she wasn't your friend. That's what you're saying. 
I think that's pretty obvious. We'll we'll touch back on that later. I think you I think I think you know the answer, and I think he's pretty well given it, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Aaron, you're up to bat. Uh, salutations, Kate. It's been a while. Haven't heard from you since um everything happened. Um um, I'm going to need you to help me refresh my memory. What was Vigelcio like kicked out for? Being, being friends with with a child groomer. That wasn't it. What else? Of like, not, 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 not telling anyone. And there was one more part. And- and just basically, just basically choosing the, uh, basically choosing V over everyone else. I don't. I didn't think about that one, but thanks. Um, I was referring to the fact that they tried to keep minors quiet about it. Oh. 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 So a lot of those. You know what? I think you've talked a lot. Let me ask what Tippy thinks. Tippy. Yes. What is so both of you can answer. So, did you try to get Umbris to stay quiet about what Key said? Uh I don't remember. I think you do, and I think you're going to answer. Well, okay, that's that's like, all right. Tippy says she doesn't know. Key, did you try to keep Umbris quiet about what you told Ellie? Yes, I, yes, I did. Okay, now, now I remember. Okay. Now we remember. No, no, all right, hold on. I did, I put her on the spot. All right, so. If I can answer, I do recall uh, he not wanting to uh, talk about this because he uh, uh, didn't want things to escalate. Okay, that's all I need. That's all I need. Okay. You do remember, you do remember who Umbris is, correct? Yes, they, they, they are one of uh, like these victims. And? And they were silenced by V. Gelsio. So why did you think... Did you think for a second that you were literally doing the exact same thing V. Gelsio did? I didn't think. I just didn't want things to escalate. So, you don't want things to escalate? Key, let me give you a pro tip. If you don't want things to escalate... You don't wish somebody ends their life because they were trying to hold someone else accountable. <laughs> you didn't want it to escalate. You didn't want it to escalate. Man, that's that's like a dude turning on a car, putting it in drive, slamming on the accelerator, and then when he's pulled over, he said, well, I didn't want to go fast, officer. Everything you've done is nothing but escalating things. You escalated it by running a cock holster about somebody. You escalated it by telling a kid to be quiet in something you know you shouldn't have. You escalated it by the way you treat people, and then you escalate it by lying to others and trying these backroom attempts at staying around. Because, you know what? There is one person, actually two, technically, who threatened you. I'm one of them. I told you what I'd do if I caught you with this nonsense again. And, of course, Ellie's husband to- threatened you and told you if you don't keep your, her name out of your mouth, he'll deal with you as well. How is that not escalating things? I'm curious, because this is the problem I've always had. Like, dealing with any scumbag. They always pretend like they've learned until the moment their your back is turned on them. Like, did you actually think you'd get away with any of it? Like, I'm dead serious. Did you, for a second, think that you'd be clever enough to get away? Actually, um, if you may permit me, I know this may sound, I do have a quick question I wanted to, uh, to ask Key directly. Go for it. 
Who was the last person you commentated on? Ritas. What were you <laughs> like? You know, you remember. Um, you remember we had a lot of conversations about Veritas and how they behaved online, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. What was particularly, um, what did you have a specific issue with with Veritas's video on Much Cry? That he, that he was essentially like bring, bringing in personal beef he has with someone into a video, a public video. Okay. So you called him out for that publicly. Mm -hmm. Would it have been better if Veritas just said that behind closed doors? No, it wouldn't. Okay, then. Next up. How... So how they dealt with hopeless peaches? You remember the nasty and volatile things that Viatas was saying about people they thought was harming hopeless peaches without asking? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're gonna know what question I'm gonna ask next, yes? Yes. Did you ask what Tippy thought before you said that? I didn't. <laughs> the one time, the one, the one time, and yet Veritas told people that they were cockroaches file stuff but i don't think veritas wished death upon somebody that they knew had suicidal ideations am i correct or you're correct so key when you said that you that everybody hated you do people in the clubhouse like Veritas? No. Do you people in the clubhouse like like Vigelcio for what they did? No. So why should we give you that same grace? Why should we give you clemency? I genuinely want to know. Because your friends? Yeah. Get your friends. Well, we were friends with Vigil, too, up until fucking Sunday. <sighs> mm. Fascinating behavior. Sometimes I feel like a zookeeper. No, I have to... Um, I do have to step out for a little bit. I'll be muted. Um, That's fine. So, uh, you, can you can... You can... Uh, go ahead. Ahead, Can I just say something real quick to Susie? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was was he one of the people that talked bad about Crimson when he sold you out? Probably. I mean, there's a lot of talks about Crimson in the Cloud Palace when he sold us out. I think that's all everyone needs to know, you hypocritical bastard. Abby. Anyway, Abby. You're up. Hi. Key, I'd like to start this by saying that uh, I really I really think that this is an interesting scenario you and I are both in right now. Because I don't know if you remember the last time we had to uh, settle something between us or others. Uh, but that was the Manifesto Saga. I'd like to, for, for, um, for, for context, uh, I had a habit in the Cloud Palace of leading the charge, let's say, when picking on Key. Uh, and I did some things that I think now is kind of dickish, but, you know, whatever. That's not here, neither here nor there. What... I ended up happening was I got a Twitter DM from Keyblade with a list of my faults and why he doesn't like me and asked me to not stop to talk to anyone about it or escalate the situation further until I stop being a dick. Did you stop? And... Oh, 
You go first. I <laughs> said, did you stop being a dick? <laughs> no, actually, uh, we made an entire, me and Susie made Police 3, which was a 50-minute video where we uh, <laughs> slammed Keyblade into a locker. Fantastic. Um, and it's the best yeah. police video. <laughs> so, I think it's funny how this and the uh, manifesto I received in May, after I thought, I legitimately, when you sent me that, it did make me think about a few things. And, and I said to myself, you know what? I might as well do my best. Because I'm going to be as blunt as possible with you and with Tippy in this very moment, because uh, this is something that Tippy has thought. And the reason I would have you two muted in call was because I found you both incredibly hard to listen to for extended periods of time for reasons like this. And having amended that and thinking, that's kind of dickish. I'm going to stop that. I received another manifesto talking about how I shouldn't be allowed to join voice calls with people in the Cloud Palace who don't like me. And that this also stemmed from me uh, blocking Donnie on Discord for a little while, um, but having to have done so on or near uh, a very, let's say, uh, traumatic day for him, an anniversary of a traumatic day for him. I was not aware of that fact, but um, well, I'm, by not aware, I mean I just straight up did not pay attention to the vent chat where it was all being discussed as I had Donnie blocked because, and so it said just blocked messages. So like, would not, I wouldn't open them because my cortisol levels would rise. But I think it's interesting how you got on such a moral high horse and tried to lord shit over me about how my presence alone makes people uncomfortable, but no one who fe felt that way actually came to me about it. My Twitter DMs have been open to everyone forever. And so I think it's interesting that those people whom are made uncomfortable didn't come, but you came for them. Like how you said to Donnie when he asked what you were doing, he said, I'm taking care of it, and then never told him what you did. I mm. think it's wildly interesting that not only are you doing a lot of what you uh, got onto me for, such as uh, picking favorites among the group and not wanting to be around people I dislike. Um, crazy. Uh, there's plenty in these manifestos. Um, not all of it is relevant, so... Uh, I'm not going to read it at the moment, but I might ask Key to read them out because it would be hilarious. Um, but you got on to me and made a spectacle because Susie had to get involved because it was a conflict within her group. So, of course, I told her, if you think I wouldn't have shown those around, you're nuts. But I... Again, I think it's very interesting that not only are you doing the exact things that you got onto me for, but they are on such a dramatically large scale because both those situations could have been easily avoided if you just shut up and didn't try to fight Tippy and Donnie's battles for them in the most clumsy, absolutely like counterproductive way that for a while it actually was becoming a thing where i was going to be 
asked to that where you guys are essentially going to go to Susie and ask me ask her to kick me because of how uncomfortable I made people by having them blocked on Discord. So you were like and again, I know when you said um that you didn't intend to lead that um by the way, yeah, uh, leading the charge. Huh? Isn't, isn't that great? We're bringing that back up again. Um, you led this against me and made it Susie's, like, essentially made it Susie's problem, officially, without anyone having come to me about it first, aside from you. Mm -hmm. So, I guess my question is, how in the fuck are you going to rag on me for all the shit that happened between me and Donnie, which goes far deeper than you, he probably told you? But how does that make this where you could have just not told, said, said you want Ellie to kill herself? You could have just not said that. You could have just not gotten, like, as genuinely pissed as you did that Tippy was held accountable for the fir in the CC for the first time. How do you get off thinking that what you did was in any way, shape, or form okay after you grilled another person for doing it on a smaller scale? But All right. Okay, let me let me rephrase. This. I think what Avi is trying to ask, he you remember what the what your argument with Avi was last year, yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. How, uh, so so you remember that the stuff you got onto him for is not nearly on the same level as it is for you now, right? Yes. So where do you get off on that? I just... I just... Just wanted... I just wanted to... Let that out. Hmm. You know, that's always the stupidest response I ever hear from anybody when they have bad behavior. Yeah, it means you're prone to it. It's also right up there with I was in a dark place. Yeah. You know, I've been, in a ba I've been in a bad place before, too. I visited Detroit. You don't see me doing crazy <laughs> crap like this. I was in Chicago a couple days ago. No, but like... <laughs> like... Do you have anything else? Um, Who's dork? Because I don't think he's going to be able to actually answer you. Okay. Um... I would like to step in and say that I was the one who encouraged both of them to stop dicking around and actually confront each other about their problems. And I was the mediator when I could easily, because I also had issues with you at the time, but I decided to stay neutral because like I told you in our call, it could have easily been a 2v1. Indeed. So I guess if I'm going to rephrase this, What, in your mind, were you thinking when you said, when you thought that this was justified to completely try to essentially fight a battle for Tippy and for Nekos, but let, let's be real for Tippy. Um, after we had our entire, this was months like, a huge majority of the year last year was dedicated to this, between you and me. Mm-hmm. What did you learn from that? I, I learned I should have... I learned I should have been confrontation... I learned I should have con been confrontational. Well, obviously you fucking didn't! Or else we wouldn't be here right now! 
I've also got something to bounce off of Avi after he's done. Okay. Um, let's just end this with um, the fact that you actually, unironically, put in this manifesto that one of my horrendous qualities amongst like being mean to people sometimes and having them muted in calls is that I don't like Pyra and Mithra of Xenoblade 2 fame. <laughs> I forgot about that. Like, <laughs> this is what we meant for the waifu battles. Wow. Wow. I, no, no, also... I'm super fixated on Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, oh yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, horrible horrible Let's make that clear. People need to learn how to read. Okay. Oh I'm... my god. I remember, trying... I remember seeing those screenshots, and I thought he fucking edited them. I couldn't believe that somebody with their full chest unironically wanted wanted fucking 2D, 3D pussy so bad that because someone didn't like them, that, that was that was relevant to put in their, their, their little manifesto, but he didn't like them. Yeah, our, no, but... our, our types don't really... Our, our types don't really consist of uh, girls who have no self-esteem so that you don't have to worry about being single so that you can thirst after a woman who you're not even dating. Um, before, yeah. before, 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 I'm just, I'm just a fucking whore. Before, before Nezzy segues, I just want to bring, I just want to give the full scale for Keyblade specifically from that situation, because I also intervened in that situation. Because Keyblade bet on Avi and lost. To think that Avi wouldn't tell me what you were saying is astounding. Keyblade, do you not understand the gravity of what you were trying to do when you were trying to get Avi kicked? Be don't even answer that, because I know you don't, because you don't think. Um, if Avi would have been kicked... I would have left, Ellie would have left, Keaton would have left, Aaron would have considered leaving. I probably would have You would have just splintered all, the, you would have splintered a whole entire friend group. Because you wanted to play fucking Kirito from Sword Art Online for your pretend waifu, Tippy. No, it wasn't even Tippy this time, it was Donnie. You wanted to be an anime protag for Donnie, instead of letting Donnie deal with shit himself. Because you have some sort of weird hero complex, despite the fact that you're a pathetic little coward. You wanted to do all of that. Make Susie's life so hard. For that. Over a block. I just wanted everybody to know that. A follow-up question. Did you ever tell Donnie you did that? I... I... I only told him I was going to take care of it. Oh, so don't worry, because no. we did. No, no, no. No, no, I, I know we did. I just want to get that on record. That he did not. Fantastic. Nezzy, what did you have to say? Um, Key, you know how you keep doing that I was impulsive, I was just trying to let it all out, I was in a dark place thing? Yes. Knock it the fuck off right now. As of right now, knock the fuck off. I want you to know something, right? I care about people's mental health, unlike you. I try to check on people, try to make sure they're okay to the best of my ability as someone who also has a very deteriorating level of sanity. This not helping. Mm -hmm. And I want you to know that I once cared about you too. I try to be as empathetic as I can, and I'm not saying this, oh, I'm a good person, because I'm not. But once you don't give a shit about someone else's mental health, I don't give a shit about yours. Because after you got called out, you had this stupid fucking anime moment where you ran out into the what? Ran out into the woods, taking a deep breath while texting Donnie. And I want you to know something. You know how we all condemned Jess, and you did too, when she was doing her shit? Mm-hmm. 
you're doing the same thing. I told this to Jesp and I'll tell it to you right now. If Actually, you if I... think... Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, uh, I'd go a step further. Key, you remember Rachel, right? Remember how <laughs> Rachel yes. acted with her group? Mm-hmm. You remember how she, how she would do a lot of back uh shady back alley stuff? She would cut people off yeah. and then talk shit about them behind the scenes. Yeah. You're being Rachel in this scenario. Mm. I'm gonna mm. do the same thing I told Jess when she oh so gloriously went to Heaton and said that if you killed yourself, people would forget you. And that maybe if you don't know what to do and you have a history of not knowing what to do, maybe, just maybe, it's time to shut the fuck up. Do you understand me? I understand. So maybe after this, you take a little lesson and shut the fuck up. About Ellie, about Avi, about everyone here. And if I catch you talking your shit about them, if I get another message of you wishing death on someone, you are going to have to deal with me. And I will not be nice. You've lost your nice Nazi privilege. Do you understand me? I, I understand. Good. Anyway, does anybody else have something to say? Blue does. Blue's been patiently waiting yeah. her turn. My apologies. I've been waiting. So, I've been waiting because I wanted everybody to get their words out about Key Blake first. Because after what I heard about that call, I'm not going to be nice. Because Ellie and I go way back. And I don't expect anybody to know this, but Ellie and I go back to about 2016. So, I know we quite do. a bit about her. Hi. So, I know quite a bit about her. I know a lot about what she's been through. Some stuff that even you don't know, Keebler. And there's some stuff that I do know. There was stuff that I was aware of, such as her losing her father, which is very, very tragic. Um, I was not aware until that call that she was hospitalized. And somehow... In all of your grandeur of being this great anime protagonist fuckwit, you're sitting there wishing death on somebody and calling her a whore. Correct? Correct. But oh, it was a mistake. That wasn't the intent. You knew your intent. The entire time. But the moment that somebody calls you out on it, you cower down like a pitiful, pathetic bitch. Correct. Let me tell you something. Shut your mouth. Let me tell you something, because it sounds like you've never gotten professional help before, and it happens. That's okay. I only got professional help when I was a bit older than you. But I don't think you realize how fucking jarring it is to go from your real life to being hospitalized to potentially even being IEA'd. Do you know what that means? Um... Um, I... What does IEA mean? IEA is an act in which a social worker takes away your rights. They take away your rights because you are a danger to yourself. You are stuck in the hospital for a week, two weeks, three, six. Because your mental health has gotten so bad that if they let you out, you will not be coming back. 
So I want you to realize something because I'm sure you have no knowledge in this thanks to the lack of tact on this whole fucking thing. When you are in the hospital, you are not allowed to have shoelaces. You are not allowed to have a length of so much as yarn. Because they're worried that if you go into your room alone at any time, you can hang yourself. No sharp objects. No nothing. They are constantly monitoring you. No drawstrings to pants. Even if they're sewn in on the inside. You don't get to see your friends. You don't get to see your family. You are lucky if you get a phone call from them once a day while you were in there figuring out what the fuck is going on with you. It's not fun as someone who has been there. I've been there twice. Uh, I'm so sorry. That is I was okay. only lucky enough to be there for a psyche valve. It could have gotten a lot worse. Which I'm... Right. I was just going to say, I'm very thankful that that's as far as it went. Lyle, you Key. were saying? Key? Yes? Have you ever had anybody in your life try to kill themselves? No. Me. Oh. Me. Wow! Me. You're not even you know. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. Hold on. I... I'm handling this now. Shut your mouth. You don't even know if one of your friends had attempted suicide at one point. And you're sitting here like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just got my fucking dick in my head waiting for the girl to come around. Are you fucking kidding me? You sat there. Sorry. Sorry. I just got one more point. It's okay, Susie. I, I, I just need to get this out. Because if I don't, frankly, I'm going to explode. And if I explode, I'm going to say something I'm really going to regret. Key, you make fun and wish death upon someone who lost their parent. How would you feel if your father went into the hospital and weeks later, you find out he's never coming back? Um... Devastated. Yeah. And you sat there and tried to police somebody's grief about their dead fucking father. I asked you for a specific reason, Key, and I'll continue that when Susie says what she needs to. I was just going to I... follow up on the on the suicide question because key you and I have had discussions about my attempt in 2018 you should know better you also remember what happened in 2021 when I was drunk texting in the oh. drama alert chat being sent to the hospital if I could just say it, because I'm kind of pissed, and I'm, I, I'm, it's a very understated kind of pissed. Key, you sent me, you were part of the friend group that sent me on a 14-hour suicide watch. What do you mean? I thought you it was time. I can tell you why. It's because we're not tippy. We're not tippy. No, no, so why do we, no, why do we matter? No, let me we're explain. Not tippy. Explain, by all means. I thought the question was talking about in real life. Oh! I forgot we aren't real to you. No, we're just digital people on a screen. My bad. Hey. Oh, oh. Which is why you're so afraid for your life when <laughs> over, no. over, your inter over internet people being mad at you. 
No, I know exactly what he's saying. He thought I was asking if it was anybody he knew in his day-to-day -day life. Now, that's incorrect. There have been plenty of times I'd told people to remove themselves from the census. It's never because they just said something that held somebody accountable. They had to do something egregious. I've said it to a no small number of child predators or general scumbags. You, however, Key, will say it to somebody who is just doing nothing but holding somebody accountable for what? Canceling? They don't know your name. They don't know her name either. But I'm imparting this to you so you can understand actually understand a level of your script because you've already whether you recognize it or not already kind of shown your face here your real face of what you think of these people you know the truth of the matter is i barely know nessie i still check on them i still care when they talk same thing with june same thing with a lot of people here as as aggressive as they might find me or as distasteful as they might find this server in some cases i still check on them because i care you don't so now we're going to get to my questions for you. So far, I've been surprisingly pleasant. Found some things amusing. I found watching you sit in the fire kind of funny. But I'm going to be more direct here. Dippy, when did you get broken up with by Neko? Or, broken, or when did you break up with Neko Shadows? I broke up with her, like, broke up with her on July 31st. Why? Because I thought our relationship was unhealthy, and it'd be bet and it'd be best for both of us to go our separate ways to grow as people. <laughs> Your name, screen name. Does it come from Kingdom Hearts? Yes. Let me see if a certain somebody's in this call right now. Uh, I don't see him, so I guess Weebus isn't here. If he is, he can ping me in the gallery chat. Less, I, I don't know much about Kingdom Hearts because I value my sanity. Isn't Kingdom Hearts about a character who's heroic and does the right thing because it's the right thing? Um, yeah. It's amazing to me how many people grew up with this type of media. Mine too, of course, because I was raised in the 80s where cartoons couldn't help but tell you, you know, be careful, don't trust strangers, also don't be racist. It's amazing to me how many people lived through that decade, the one after it, the one after it, to, all the way to you, where they identify with this stuff, use it as their screen name, their iconography, and completely miss what is being taught. Personally, I wouldn't be running around with that name if I were you. Not after all this nonsense. Now, I want you to tell me what it is exactly about Tippy that attracts you so much that you have to be her white knight. And don't tell me you're not. Don't tell me you don't. I'm not in the mood to hear lies tonight. It's just Tippy is treating me with such kindness that I felt it best to kindness. repay it back in whatever way I can. Mm, kindness. That's a fascinating thing because that's not what I've been informed. Hey, Tippy. Uh, can you hear me? Do your anime girl voice. Well, I can't do it now. Um, oh, I'll, why I'll, not? I'll, 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 no, it's because my mother's asleep right now. I can do it. It's just I need to do it, like, quiet. That's fine. Do it. All right. Hey. Hello. This is my understanding, Key. That's what you find appealing, isn't it? But I'm not stupid. You'll talk to me. They tell me about you two having this goofy little LARP back and forth about her being an anime girl, and you're you're gonna protect her, and ah, oh, you're you're so powerful, and all this other type of nonsense in your own mind, this weird fantasy imagination you have, because you refuse to live in reality. Now, Tippy, Key. Both yes. had the sentiment. You had to both had the sentiment that you were worried for your lives. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Who do you think's gotten more deranged people dealing with them, me or you? Uh, you. Good guess. 
What did I just rattle off to you? Or you got doxxed. I doxxed myself. Oh. I'm not scared of any of these actually deranged people. The truth is, I don't think either of you are actually scared of people actually coming after you. I think you're scared people are going to find out what you two scumbags did and aren't going to want to associate with you, which is why you made the little server, which is why you have the little backroom chats, which is why you tell people to be quiet, and it's why you got mad when Tippy was held accountable. I'm trying to frame it under the idea of cancellation. Here's the truth. You two can't be canceled. You were never relevant to begin with. I didn't know either of you even existed until the call we had with Ephraim. And even then, you could argue that Ephraim isn't even relevant enough to cancel. You were all up in airs about Ephraim doing this, Ephraim doing that. Matter of fact, Key, you're the person I had to correct the most about how you were talking and what you wanted to address, because you wanted to go on tirades about commentary instead of the, instead of the moral and emotional issues you have with him. Mm-hmm. And I, and, I, and, I, and I still apologize for that. I don't care. I don't care, because your apology has been proven to be nothing. Worthless. Confederate money is worth more than your apologies. Do you know what that is? Money used in the Confederacy? Did you say that as a question? No, I just, I just answered it as best as I can. No, you asked, a, you asked that in a question manner. Do you actually know? Do you actually not know what Confederate money was? I didn't. I didn't know what Confederate money was. I was just making a guess. So you can't even tell the truth when you're asking something, something minor. You weren't really educated, were you, son? That's basic knowledge of the Confederacy of our Civil War. Did you play Kingdom Hearts so much that you forgot everything else? Or was it trying to get commentary clout that got your attention? Commentary clout. How's that working out for you? Not badly. Yeah, badly. Very, very badly. Because here's the reality of the situation here. Mm -hmm. You have been trying to avoid actual accountability because I've screwed up before. I've screwed up in this server before. I've screwed up out of this server before. You know what happens when somebody screws up and they hold accountability for it? They don't run from it. They don't try to make the people they've wronged pity them, feel bad for them, stay quiet for them, and start their own goofy little side chat to try to worm their way back into a community that has made it clear they are not welcome in. I'll get back to you again later. Hippie. Yes. Wait, before that, um, Susie, musically, is right here. Man. Oh. Fantastic. Cool. Can, can I, can I, can I can ask? Can you give uh, me, like, can you give me a few minutes? I am so sorry. I'm still in a car right now. Uh, I'm going okay. to have cool. everything right. sorted out. We'll I am wait. super sorry. That's fine. Go ahead and mute. I have plenty to say Tippy to Tippy. Then. Tippy, do you All know right. how I do you know how I know nothing that was said to you that night sunk in? I want you to take a guess how I know. Uh from what I've gathered was uh someone in my server uh Here. I'll, I'll make I'll make it easier, I'll make it easier has nothing to do with any of the server log leaks, has nothing to do with the secret server you made, has nothing to do with the communications you've had within people's DMs. It has something to do with ha something that happened the very same night you and I were in that call. Do you remember what it was? Uh, no. Then I will refresh your memory. when somebody gets called out for something as egregious as what you had done. 
the fact that you thought you could sit there in Susie's server where people hash out their beef as though you are welcome there and acted surprised when I told you to beat it 100% communicated to me that everything I said to you went in one ear and out the other. So I'm going to communicate it again, hopefully in a way you will actually understand. Mm-hmm. Your nonsense is not accepted. Your garbage is not agreeable. You are not welcome in those spaces. You will not operate in them. You will not have alt accounts to try to worm your way back in here. And if you are dumb enough to continue this nonsense, I want you to be aware I had to learn this lesson very, very recently through somebody by the name of Neko Koda, who had a tendency of coming back after every time they screwed up and didn't take accountability. If you try it, I will make sure there will not be a third attempt. I am not. These con you are not understanding. You don't. Because I thought you said you understood the other night. I am being quiet and patient with you right now because it is almost 11 o'clock at night and my wife is asleep. I will not wake her up because some mentally stunted half-wit whose parents <clears throat> did not raise them with an iota of brain cells decided to get stupid with me. So I'm going to say this very clearly. I am not, as much as I hang around them, and as much as I do genuinely enjoy being around Heaton's people, I am not commentary. I do not operate by their rules. I will not respond to you in a kindly worded video essay with decent editing and a bunch of gags. No, that is not what I do. What I do to people like you is worse because you have put children in danger through your own willful negligence and stupidity. So if you do not leave, if you are not gone, period, by the end of this call, once this call finishes, if you are not wiped and gone and out flipping burgers, touching grass, mowing lawns, being a chauffeur, door dashing, whatever, I will find better ways to make it clear to everyone around you what you have done in ways that's not going to make you just go, well, I just got to get a new ID. It's going to be people who know you and see you daily. One thing predator hunting has taught me very, very proficiently is how to find people. Are you picking up what I am putting down? Yes. And I'm being meaner to you right now than Key, because Key, at his dumbest, at his most mentally stunted, didn't do the exact thing you did, little miss. I'm going to help him get away from a bad person while you twiddle your fingers or put your thumb Actually. up your butt the entire time. Go ahead, Doodle. Actually, on that note, hey, Lyo, did you know that Tippy actually lied to you in that call? That. Because I noticed after the fact. So, Tippy, you claimed that you wanted to help Vigil cut ties with V. Yes. But in, but in the Cloud Palace, you claimed that you didn't know the extent of your uh, of of Vigil's friendship with V. So which I one is it? I didn't know, uh, about the. Like, the things that he's done, more specifically. What do you mean you didn't you know, know the, the things, things he's that... done specifically? Well, the things I didn't that V did, or the things that Vigil did? The things that Vigil did. That doesn't matter. You claimed you wanted to help Vigil cut ties with V, but then you, did, then you claimed that you didn't know the extent of Vigil's friendship with V. Which one is it? Mm. Speak! Uh... 
Uh. It. Excuse me. Uh. I. Use. I would use your more big for girl words. Form. Don't you the say you'd okay. lead to it. You will answer it directly. The things that Vigil did. That's, That's not the mm. important part. The, okay, let, let me let me break it down then. You said you wanted to help Vigil cut ties with V. You wanted to get Vigil away with V. That is what you claimed in the call. But in the Cloud Palace, when this whole conversation started, you claimed that you didn't know the extent of Vigil's friendship with V. That you didn't know that Vigil was as close of a friend to V as he was. But you wanted to help Vigil cut ties with this person that he was quite clearly very, f uh, very friendly with by your own admission. Okay, now so I realize that this is... So which one is it, Tippy? I just realized that that's like an inconsistency on my part. Well, you you know? Yes, realize? so which one... Are you kidding me? So, You're a so judge, which one realize. is it? Hold on, hold on. So which one is it, Michelle? Oh. I don't have a clear answer, unfortunately. I mean, right. not what do you mean? Not be serious. Yep. Guys, no. it's because she doesn't have anyone to pair it off of. Excuse me, let me do it for you, Tippy, so then you can repeat it after me. I lied. I did know the extent. But I tried to hide it from the Cloud Palace because I thought I could get away with it. I'm scared of Lyo Convoy and didn't want to lie. God, Tippy, you are so pathetic. I, I, when I remember fucking going after you in because because for some reason he is under this impression that I came in fucking swinging at you. No, 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 no. Let's 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 recall what actually happened between you and me, because for some reason that part hasn't been very clear to people. Because I came to you because Susie asked me to come into a call with you in the Cloud Palace to. uh elaborate on what I was talking about when you were playing D&D &D games with a racist. Wait. Because I you don't... told me you Green lied Star. to me. I don't recall that me. happening. 2021, <laughs> bitch, don't you fucking lie. No, no, ever, no. No, because she said this to me. She said it to me. It was you and two other people. You didn't want to fully cut him off because of sessions in your server. But and it told me you that you didn't want to cut him off because you don't like cutting off friends. That you knew and that also, they were racist and transphobic. Oh, no, no. We're getting, let me get to the transphobic part because you lied to me there, too. Because Yoon also told me, because you said, you told me, that you, I, okay, the crux of my whole thing was that you have a problem with cutting people off because you are too concerned with feelings over what's right. Okay? That was what I started off with, right? Yes. Okay, so I told you, the first thing that I said was that you kept transphobes around when they were being transphobic to you, right? Uh, I'm right, yeah. Right. Eventually, okay. I did cut them off. Uh, no, 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 Shut up. I asked yes or no question. I don't need anything else. You told me that you immediately cut them off. That was a lie. Because I remember you telling me that they had to constantly keep convincing you, or not really convincing you, but having to, to tell you that you need to confront them and cut them off because... As a as a as a uh, trans person yourself, or I guess non-binary, yes. you don't need friends who are transphobic around you. But you were too afraid to cut them off. But you told me you had no problem cutting them off yourself. You fucking lying bitch. Look, Tippy, I would have no problem with this if you had a hard time cutting people off. If you were like. Umbris's age, or when I was doing this shit, and I was like early 20s to 19, and I was in servers with not so great people. You're 26. I'm younger than you. But the entire time that we were in that call, and Susie 
test for this because the only person I will apologize for yelling is Susie because I caused her more stress. And I'll admit that, probably. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to make here is, is that I was very patient with you, wasn't I, Tiffy? I was trying to very, very calmly explain to you, given the situation, why you have a fucking problem. Like it was a goddamn intervention, and I was the only one in the world. Because no one deigned to ever tell Tippy that she was in the wrong. And I can see why. I can see why what happens when you get told that you're wrong. You think that it's not a big deal. That you were spreading, that you were, you were trading memes and funny ha-has with a racist. Because you just didn't want to cut him off. And when I convicted you about that, you told me you were stabbing him at it as a fucking Sunday. You still have Madden, don't you? No. Hmm. I so don't funny. I don't have him at I don't have him at it at it anymore. Don't talk so to me. Like supposed to believe that. Enough. Don't don't talk hold to me on, like you have on. a one up on me. Hold on. I do hate So let's let's come hate, back. Hold on. I do hate to say it, but that's a much minor issue compared to what we're dealing with now. That's fine. So let's ahead, Susie. So let's come back to let's come back to my question, Tippy. Let's come back what? to my question. Did you want to help Vigil that. cut ties with V? Did you want to help uh, Vigil cut ties with V, or did you not know the extent of the friendship with V? Answer carefully, because I know the correct answer. I wanted to help v uh, Vigil to cut off V. Bullshit. The answer, conveniently, is neither. I had words with Degenerate. <laughs> uh, Degenerate reached out to me, and, um, apparently, you were trying to keep people quiet as well? Oh, we're gonna talk about that in a minute, because that was the whole conversation no, with Zephy, so, remember? So yeah, so so Degenerate told me, and I quote, wanted to reach out in reference to something I know for a while I knew for a while regarding this whole recent Cloud Palace fiasco. Like two years ago, Vega had told me that he was in contact with V. After some contemplation, I cut the fucker off and hasn't spoke to him since. All I have is my word on this, so whether you want to believe me, completely up to you. But maybe a few weeks after that, when I was talking to, to Michi, I brought up that she, not only she knew, but she had asked me not to share said info. Like an idiot, I didn't. There's no excuse for that. I'm not looking to justify it. I told a few people here and there, but obviously that's not enough. I mentioned this to a friend after hearing about your video, and they suggested I come forward about it, so here I am. Sorry for all the bullshit these people have caused in your group, and I'm especially disappointed in Mitchie and Kenny. I guess I didn't have to read that last part, but you get the idea. You get the gist. The gist is... You had other people keep quiet about this for two years. So you want to know something interesting? Zephy confirmed that in the call that we just had a bit, like maybe a couple hours or a handful of hours ago at this point. Susie, you want to know something interesting that Umbers found? What? The alt account that Tippy was using was made two years ago. Really? So, Tippy, do you remember when I was asking Key about the similarities between what VGLCO did and what you two did? Yes. So. I just wanted to bring that for the record. And before we go further, yes. um, I, yeah. do, I, do, I do want to... This is a, a rather small nitpick, but I think it's necessary. Um... So your message to New Metal Slayer. Did you Oof. reach out to them through Discord before you sent before you tried to reach them through Steam? By any chance? No, because I uh planned on deleting my uh current like this main, like this Discord. Uh, before you turned it into an archive, okay. So yes. you, so I saw all of those. I read your message. Um you know what I didn't see? In that message? What? Slayer, how are you doing? I know it's been hard for you. Are you okay? No, 
I didn't see that there. Not even a how you, are you. Just an immediate request that Sudoodle private the video. <clears throat> so you and Key yeah. can... No, 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 hold on. I do have a question to ask. The timing of that message is a little bit weird. How did you know of that video? How did you learn about that video that the call was being released? I was told about it by uh, by a few people. Um, give me names. Uh, if I remember right, uh, it's a BL or uh, musically, musically, uh, musically. Musically? Who is musically? She's there in the chat right now. They're the no, one no, that no. shot on Susie in their private server. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. I got, uh, that, that's I not, got, that's not got a question, question for them too later, but. All right. Sorry. I mean, I'm, yes, I'm, my bad. My because bad. the, because that, the call, the call wasn't released until after that message. That's why I'm asking. I, I apologize. Uh, I dosed stuff a bit. The call, the message you get, you sent, happened before the call was released. Give me a mental because I have it. Uh, give me a well, she's looking for that. I'm sorry. Did she? Did, did she say she dozed off a bit? No. Yeah. yeah. Is she it's, like, like, it's like she it's like bored, Tippy? No, 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 it's twelve AM. I've been up since three. What's your excuse? I've also <sighs> been up I since haven't. three. No thanks. I didn't sleep at all. I haven't slept at all. Well, I haven't slept much. I don't care. Well, welcome Tippy. to the club then. I I don't care, Tippy. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, Tippy, since you're having a hard time staying awake, why don't you focus on what I'm saying now? Uh, you awake now? Okay. Let's get... It's like, I don't... I don't have time to... It's... It's a... It's... It's... It's a... No, it's nothing. We can discuss that later. Continue. Sorry. Clearly, um, my inquiry isn't stimulating enough. Should we talk uh, about the Zephy call? Yeah, go ahead. I think yeah, at sure. this point... I think at this point, we should go to that. You don't get to control. decide where this conversation goes. I, you, I, so uh, shut the fuck up. We're in someone real else's, quick, we're quick, in someone else's we house. Do go mm -hmm. any further. Boonslayer has a question, apparently. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, um, Tippy, I, 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 have a bit of a, I have a bit of an inquiry. Considering... Who else you were playing D and D with in a different game? Do you think they would want to know the uh, the the types of people you were having other games with? No. Is that no? Hmm. Uh, no. I don't think they'd be. I don't think they'd be happy about it. No shit. Well, what would give you that idea? Shock of shocks. I'll say it again. God, you're pathetic. Was that your question, Boone? Yeah. That was my question. Moving I want to get two things. I want to get two things out of the way before we get into this Effie call. And that I have almost borderline cried because of the shit that you pulled. I've drawn art for you. I've been there for you. We did a whole Let's Play series together, and you throw it all away for a fucking dick riding on a dude that dick rides a fucking pedophile? Did our friendship mean that little to you? No. That you threw it away like that? I don't believe you. I don't fucking believe you. You want to know why? Because you went around in different servers and told a different story. You lied to Susie's fucking face. You lied to Lyo's fucking oh. face. You lied to Zephy's fucking face. Yeah, no, don't think I didn't hear about the calls in Pug either, Tippy. 
Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, can I can I say something real quick? Sure. Because I, I, I feel, I just fear it's, I'm not going to be able to bring this up. So, you can't say I've got the Rachel treatment. Hey, Tippy. Yes? I have a question for you. You've been around me enough. You've parroted the shit I've said enough. At this point, you have been going behind people's backs, lying about people, lying about people to other people so that they can go to people based on your lies, having people play messenger for you, and you're changing your fucking name and running away. And I think it's pretty funny, given the last person that did that, you had a lot of, you said it quite a bit, because I looked at the thread. A lot of times you just said, I just want, I just, they just need to take accountability. They just need to leave. They need to understand we don't want them around. Well, guess what, Tippy? I can t I can give you a few names that you can change your name to. How about only Jesp, Werewolf, Mind Your Own Business, Yo Pal Gal. For a lot of shit you talked about them, you sure have been acting like them. These past two fucking years. Two years worth of fucking lies coming out of your goddamn mouth. I don't want to hear you criticize a goddamn person anymore. If you're gonna act just like them. Lumi Lumi has you're gonna low key accuse of emotional abuse. Lumi has something to say. Hi, small, small little uh, thing, and I apologize. First off, peanut gallery, absolutely go fuck yourselves, because Jesus fucking Christ, you're acting like twelve year olds. Second of all, key master. And uh, what's the other person's name? Sorry, I'm awful. Tippy. 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 Fantastic. Let's pity party more accountability. You both are older than me. Some minute of other accountability. If you try to cut me off, I'm going to fucking scream. And I do not want to scream. Because I'm sick and tired of hearing this constant fucking bullshit of you guys making excuses upon excuses upon excuses. Why don't you fucking learn to dip your head and go, yeah. I did this, I did this, I did this, I fucked up and improved, instead of fucking trying to come up with excuses. These people, they're giving you their fucking time. Right this fucking second. And quite frankly, you're basically spitting in their face by trying to come up with every fucking excuse under the sun for why you did something. You're adults. Act like it. Thank you so much, Lyo. I'm gonna go back to bullying the peanut gallery, because I'm getting sick and tired of these fucking larpers. <laughs> All right, you can continue now. Um, I do. Oh, sorry. Oh. Go ahead. Um, that uh, interesting word has been thrown around. Um, I do need to take my leave, so I want to ask one final question of both Key and Tippy before I do. And answer honestly, please. We talked a lot about accountability for the past two hours now, more from other calls. What does accountability look like for the two of you? Like, what, what what does that mean for you? Both of you can answer, please. I'd like to hear before I go to bed tonight. To... No, no, no. To... Accountability for what you both have done. Not what to it hold... is in general. Uh, to hold them responsible for... You, you misunderstand me, Trippy. I'm not asking what accountability is. I'm asking what accountability for your actions looks like for you. What you've done, what does accountability look like? How will you accept accountability if you are going around lying to people about what you've done? Constantly and key going behind closed doors and repeating the exact same sins that they've done for months on a grander scale. That's why I'm asking this question. 
because you keep you both keep saying you want accountability you want accountability i want to know what accountability looks like in this circumstance from both of your mouths please basically learning from what happened in order to improve ourselves how admitting go ahead king sorry admitting admitting what you did wrong with no excuses and and improving and trying to improve from that going forward, regardless of uh, what happens. It's interesting because both of you have failed to do that at every bloody turn. So, Key, we'll start with you. How can we expect accountability for you? No excuses? But you were in a bad place at the time. You were at a bad place. Are you in a bad place right now? Um, I'm, I'm not. You should be. Tippy was yelled at. That's what it takes to put you in a bad place. Obviously. So, why are you not in a bad place now? Because, uh... Leo specified on no uncertain terms what was going to happen to Tippy if she was gone. You said a lot of heinous stuff for just doodle kicking her out of the Cloud Palace temporarily at the time. Come on, boy, where's the heat? Yeah, tell me to kill myself. Uh, what? No, no, I'm. Don't say like... it! It's fine! Yeah. No, 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 no. This, this I... one. This one's directed to me, so what are you going to say about me, Key? you going to tell me I should kill myself? Or are you going to do no. what 90% of the other people do and try to claim I'm, I'm some sort of child predator? No, no, I, I wouldn't do that! Okay. Such a sure. Why would, you, I, I why would I believe that? Why would I believe All right. that? Okay. Because I, I agree to Ellie's terms about making the video! That's... Kenny, we Resulted. can't trust you anymore. Good job. You said words. You haven't oh acted upon them yet. Uh, well, he's reactivated his Twitter. He's reactivated his Twitter since this conversation fucking started. No, hold on, hold on. I'm going to give Key the benefit of the doubt. I won't. Key. No, 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 no. Hold on, guys. I got this. Key, where's your script? All right, you want to? All right, you want to see it? Yeah. Where's the script for the video? Okay. All right. Let me. All right. Put it in the gallery. Put it in the gallery context. Please. You can't. I have to put it in spawn. Spawn? Oh. oh. Go ahead. Wherever you, he needs. Wherever it needs you, to be put. Did you finish the script? Uh. Is this script? Is this script finished? Uh, no, it's know. a work in progress. Yeah, hey, I just want to post speak. it. Post it before you make me lose what little patience I have left. You have ten seconds. Ten. Nine. I did. Uh, I'm going to oh. I'm going to read out the dot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Kenny! What? What's, what's the dot? Here, I'll read it out. Really? I'll read it out. I'll read out. I'll read out what's this the massive this the script clearly needs to be tailored down. It's way too long, so let me go ahead and read it out. On July 31st of this year, I told Ellie Momelli the following message. I hope you kill yourself, you effing whore. No, that's wrong. I didn't tell Ellie that. I said that behind her back in a private server out of a sheer dislike for her for daring to hold four friends of mine, Mav Station, Bomber Patrol, Blazing Open, Neko Shadows, accountable for their actions of knowing that... Vigil was friends with a child groomer and telling no one about it for two whole years despite them being in a server with grooming victims and putting minors in danger. Not to mention saying it despite knowing Ellie wanted to kill themselves and went to a psychiatric ward to help improve their mental state, but I didn't care because humans are inherently evil as if you saying that nihilistic crap justifies telling someone to kill themselves, let alone changes how those four still effing putted minors in danger. This is your script. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. He said it was a work in Kenny! progress. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Kenny. You're a commentator. What is this shit? So we've a, seen your scripts. So it's, it's a work in progress. You and I have Along worked work. together yeah. on scripts in the past. I've seen what your work in progresses look like. This is not that. 
it's just look, I no, I want to no, I, I can't win. I, I look, I'm <laughs> I'm just look. I'm you know, trying for the to. the fact that you know how, I know for a fact that you know how to express tone with if. with your punctuation and whatnot, and you're not doing that here. If it's I like may, I... small thing. So, I thought we might appreciate a bit of uh, funny. Uh, Keyblade, I went to an AI text generator and it spat out this, and it's a better, a much better apology than what you just wrote. I hope you're aware of the fact that a robot did a better job. Oh, get on! Oh my, oh my God! Yeah. It's like, God, God, even an AI, God. No, I don't, don't do this. Don't, nope. don't no. do that. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He, what did I tell you last the other day when you were talking about how your balls are going to be dead? What did I tell you? Repeat don't, it. don't make, don't try, don't try to be the, don't try to be the victim. That's a good TLDR. Funny. That's a good TLDR. But what I said was, you don't get to self-immolate. Uh, you don't get to use derogatory terms towards yourself because I know why you do that. I'm not stupid. You keep treating me like I am, and you can think I am. But if you keep treating me like it, I'm going to actually get mean with you. <sighs> And if you'll notice, I want you to pay very close attention, very, very close attention. The entire time I deride you, berate you, insult you, grab you by your short hairs and rub your face in your own fecal matter, you know what Tippy's not doing? She's not backing you up. She's not defending you. She's sitting there on her hands trying not to fall asleep because she's so eepy right now, baby. She doesn't care. You're a fool if you believe she does. This is nonsense. Like a this is pure less... definition of a sick. This is what okay. you do? This is what you do with your time? You just hold on, no. No. E, do you have a job? Um no. So what do you do during the day? I just be like uh I just just hang out I just hang out with people and like watch videos. I take walks at night. Ellie? When did he say he was going to do this? Like, when did he type that message out to you? That he was going to come to yes. no, the call when he, here? When he, when he said he was going to do a video yeah, on okay. this, when was that? What time today was that? Oh, it was in the call that we had the other day. Uh, and that call lasted about an hour. Uh, so I'm going to say about 4 o'clock. So 48 hours. Yeah, just about. So in 48 hours, you've done a paragraph. Even though you have no job, no other responsibilities, you just hang out and watch videos all day. This is the best you can do in 48 hours. Was, Mr. Video I, Editor. Mr. That's my special interest. Mm. You want to know why it's all you've done? Because you don't care. No, I do care. That's why I agreed to do this. It's like... It, no, 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 shut it. This is not the work of someone who cares. It's not. It is not the work of someone who cares. Here, let me go ahead and again use an example of somebody people like to try to take a piss out of for some reason. I've seen jar scripts and they're better than yours, both in the way they're typed and their structure. I have had people. I have had people write hey, I... essay apologies. It takes them less time. They're better formatted. You just don't care. I do. I'm just trying to. I'm just. It's like as I said, this is a work in progress. You have I'm trying this, to figure thing, out this thing has been around for two days, Kay. Is just, it really that hard for you to say I'm sorry that it takes you two fucking days? Actually, um, he started writing this document yesterday. What? It says it in the details. Oh. I thought it was posted on August first. In, 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 oh, in a in a in a slight in a slight. It is currently defense. August second. It is. In a in a slight he, defense of him, I will say I didn't give him a a uh, time limit. I, I didn't give him a time limit. I am now. If you don't get it done by the end of Saturday, hey Susie, mm -hmm. you still got the call, right? 
Yeah. Of course. Post it if he doesn't post it. Post it in full. Oh no, I'm gonna do you one. If better. he doesn't post it, yeah. I'm gonna do you one. Better. Oh, in full. Because you know what? I like. Because you know what? I like Susie. I do. But nine times out of ten, I get better views than she does. I'll throw it on my channel. <gasps> Lyo. Oh, you, I, you, you know what? Lyo. <laughs> Lyo. I think we can do yes. better. I compile oh. everything. I compile everything. Throw it on your channel. I think that no. would be great. Right. Uh, no, then. That's sexy. That's so sexy. I love that for you too. Oh, that's yeah. great. <laughs> okay. So we're so uh, so um again um let's see, Tippy. Yes. Got a question for you before we get to your thing. A second. Mm -hmm. Aaron? Oh, he, he muted. So I actually have a question for Keyblade. I just want to ask it. Um, because I thought about asking it. And after all, and, th and then I thought, you know what, let me not humiliate him like this. But then I saw all of this, and I'm going to humiliate you like this. Okay, Keyblade. Back. Keyblade. Um, real quick, I if Tippy were to ask you right here, right now, to go out with her, what would you say? <laughs> yes, please. Oh, I'm not interested. Liar. Okay. Anyway, that's because you're in public. A Tippy. Anyway, Aaron, Aaron. Uh, my question Has Key ever expressed any interest of going out with you? Uh, if I, I don't recall. Okay. I, no. No, actually. No. All right. Thank you. Your turn. I'm going to make this Tell quick because I actually do. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to. <sighs> yeah, Ellie, you want to back that up? Apparently, Tippy told you. Oh, let's move on to let's move on to Aaron's thing oh, for Tippy. No. Aaron just left. No, I'm still here. Oh, he's there. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you said bye. I have to because I yeah I do need to hurry this along. Um yeah. So your idea of um of accountability, making everything clear and available to the public. Mm -hmm. Where's your video? I don't have a video planned. So what, how are you, how are people going to know what you did? How will you hold yourself accountable if there's no video, no script? I have a script. Gonna... Actually... Do you have a script? It's... Yes. Post it. But uh, I thought you said right. you were, hold on, but I thought you said you weren't planning on making a video. Why do you have a script? The script is going to be posted on, um, on a, uh, soft puppet Twitter account. Yes, I don't know. You. How would anyone know, though? The, so a yes, statement? The other... So, ba so basically, uh, the others are going to retweet it. That's, like, the idea. Oh! In your circle? Yeah, but in my circle. I don't got time for this. <laughs> I don't got time for this. Post your script in the, in the thing and let the, and let the Senate handle it. Handle All right. It. How are you? So you, I'm going. <laughs> Have a good night, Aaron. How can how can you how can you how can you hold yourself accountable by doing another backdoor dealing after you've lied to people in Pog, after you lied to people in the Cloud Palace, and you lied to people here? Right. Where should I post this? In spawn on your main Twitter. No, no, no. The script in the Senate. Post it in Spawn, please. Here, I'll right. tag you if you can't find Here, it. Here, okay. I, no, I, I found it. I found it. I found it. Longer. All right, I'll read it. Uh, it's you... August 1st, 2023. If you happen Good to night. see it, read this. Good night. Good night. Then you're more likely. Good night, Good night Dave. Get some sleep. Then you're more likely to know what's going on. You people can't type. And I'm not going to mince words as I am writing this. I'm going straight to the point. What I've done is awful. There's no excuses for it. Because of my lack of responsibility and not informing anyone beforehand, regardless of my reasons, because of my carelessness in regards to whatever associations with V Omega. And I what I've done is reckless, irresponsible, and it resulted in many people getting hurt and also put a lot of them in danger. I let my naivete get the better of me, believing in the best in people, and gave the benefit of the doubt to someone who did not deserve it in the slightest amount, especially when that person is associated with someone who has hurt those exact same people I care about and is also predatorial. Predator it's not a word. This is something that I need to improve on to be even more stern and assertive when being confronted and either questioned or wrong. This is something that I'm going to practice on moving forward. Okay, this entire paragraph here. 
Stop sucking yourself off. Moving on. Letting myself be associated with Vigil, who's also associated with V Omega for as long as I did. It's a problem because by, val by allowing Vig to still be around in the Cloud Palace, it allowed Vig... Uh, to do anything related to TCP and not and send anything to V, while also manipulating people into silence in regards to it. This phrase is as he's making them be silent. You did. Also, not by informing anybody about it beforehand and by lack of communication. It caused not only a breach of trust, but as a result, it caused people to not trust me anymore due to how I lacked the maturity to handle situations of this caliber. This is my biggest F-up, and I feel nothing but resentment and guilt towards my actions in regards to everything that transpired. I'm also going to be taking steps in improving myself in terms of how I communicate these issues and other people and practice on it to prevent these issues from happening again. Those who I've hurt, whether I'd be current or former friends, mutuals, colleagues, etc., I am genuinely sorry for everything. My actions led to people being harmed and also breaking a lot of trust in the process. I've taken for granted immensely towards... I've t I have taken for granted immensely <laughs> towards those who built connections and with I connected with and cared for, and this is the consequence. This is something I'm going to be taking accountability for, and regardless of everything that has happened throughout... I hold no malice towards anyone, especially to those who have been blunt about this towards me. In spite of me not taking things very well in the call, this is a wake-up call, and I at very least appreciate it for what it was. Moving forward, while the future is uncertain, I will be stepping away from most social media outlets for not only the sake of my mental health, but also to get my life in order. Additionally, I decided regardless of what happens, I will not be coming back to the SEC. Which is why you guys made a server. Why you guys talked about making your own group. Which is why you also have alt accounts. Anyways, I've also felt... I've also left every server that was on my main, as I feel being in those places will not help anyone, as well as removing people from other places. I also need to improve myself and iron out my own flaws, because these issues will only harm more people if these aren't resolved. Additionally, I will take time for myself to recover from everything that transpired while keeping distance of anything that would be considered detrimental to my self-betterment. If given the opportunity to do so, I want to try and make amends in a way however I can, and make amends any wounds I left to those I hurt. I don't expect anyone to forgive or trust me immediately, if not ever, but I feel like I owe everyone an apology because it's the right thing to do. You all deserve better, and I I failed. If you reached up until this point, I appreciate you taking time to read this document. I only wish for the best in everyone, in spite of everything going on. I do wish the best. Take care. So here's the problem. Lyle. Yes. If I may, I would like yes. to very politely point out what I said earlier. Less self-pity, more accountability. And there's a whole lot of self-pity in this fucking apology. Oh, there's a whole lot. Too One moment. I need much. What is with you two? With that whole self pity. The world they learn from the best. You. The world does not revolve around you two. And if you don't fucking learn that quick, you're not gonna be able to survive out in the real world. Simple as fucking that. And I'd like if these two could actually unmute and like at least acknowledge what I'm saying. Like can you guys understand me? Is my accent too thick? Or do I have to speak a different language for you to understand that? I am. Un <clears throat> understand what you're saying. I understand. Fantastic. Okay, Lyle, I'm sorry for interrupting. It's just I saw that chip it's in, fine. as I said earlier. It's fine. At least this got... one. At least this one will be harder to replicate with AI. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> My issue when it comes to this so far is literally all of this isn't accountability this is you trying to soften the blow so other little friends of yours who by the way if they do trust you uh they need to be gone too from people's circles because they're just plain stupid and they're a dangerous type of stupid i've seen stuff like this before i have seen people who have screwed up and instead of taking proper accountability they pull these same stunts. It's why I expected it. It's why I knew you'd come here. It's why I knew this wouldn't end the night everybody thought it would. Yeah, That's it. Also, also, if I may, um, yeah, you want to take accountability um, by making sure that there is no video, including trying to get me to take mine down. Friendly reminder. So, the reason why... The reason why I asked is primarily for key. Really? No. Really? Fuck off! I don't think really. you said- Use him as a shield? I mean, I would. Big enough. But you said the both of you were scared for your lives. That's what you said. That you're also scared for your life, Tippy. It wasn't about key and the message. You didn't even message key that much. Message him once. When you're talking about both of you. 
Tippy, have you ever been in a position? Tippy, have you ever been in a position where your life's actually been in danger? Uh, I got stabbed by my brother. Where? <coughs> in the stomach. How old were you? Uh, fourteen. How old was he? Uh, actually, correction. I think sixteen, and he was like uh, fourteen. Was he trying to kill you, or was it an accident? He tried to kill me. Uh. Then you should know better. You should absolutely know. You should know better than to try to play this as your life is in danger because your friends are being told about your duplicitous dog crap actions. Is your little music friend able to actually talk now that we're two on almost half an hour into this? Are you, I was, I'm sorry, I was coming back from, yeah. Uh, I live in Las Vegas, so, uh, so that's been a while. Uh, right. I was just here, here to originally support me. I had no idea it was Summit to Senate. Okay. So can I ask you a question specifically? Yes, you are free to ask me any and all questions. I will be transparent, and I will not okay. defend any actions. Okay, do you know how to read? Yes, I know how to read. Uh, I highly doubt it, because I've read your message uh, when Key posted our DMs. Where the fuck do you get the idea that I'm being somewhat two-faced or, or back-talky? Because when Key shared our DMs where I said that he had, or that, uh, that the people who I removed from the Cloud Palace might have a chance to come back at some juncture, potentially, um, but they'll have to do it on their own accord. Where did you get that and, and somehow twist it to, uh, you wanted them to leave temporarily, but it sounds like they are leaving permanently. And then to go on to say that you've lost uh -oh. all respect for me, like, as if I'm trying, as, as if I'm being somewhat two-faced about it. Okay, so things for can you remind me as to where this message is? Because I can pull books. Uh, I just uh, know it's in a chat that you were in with, with Key and Tippy. Tippy's old uh, server that she uh, created for you all. Okay. Because I, can, I can, read off, I can read off what I have gotten with my DMs, the just DMs me. that Keyblade yeah. posted. I can read off the DMs that Keyblade posted and then follow that up by, by reading your exact message verbatim. Please go ahead. Okay, so, in our in Key and I's DMs, Key asks, So, Doodle, what did you tell Tippy and Math? I said that Heaton made a good point and maybe it'd be the best to leave the group for the time being. I made sure to clarify that I don't want them to isolate themselves, I don't want them to leave every SCC server, and I don't even expect them to be gone from the group forever. But something does need to be done. And they agreed, albeit begrudgingly. So I gave Tippy, Mav, and Echo Shadows time to save their leaves, and I also informed them that Lyo wants to talk to them tomorrow. So they don't need to leave, like, the courthouse or anything like that, but they will be gone from the Cloud Palace. Keyblade asks, for how long? I said, who knows, but they'll need to rebuild that trust on their own accord. But I mean, hey, they got in once. I'm sure they'll be able to do it again. Keyblade goes, given the circumstances, I don't think it'll be that easy. I replied with, maybe, maybe not. Only time will be the judge of that. They'll still have their friends in the SEC, they'll still be in groups and stuff, and they'll still need, uh, but they'll need to rebuild that trust. Keyblade says, but it's, well, uh, uh, oh yeah, no, but we're not here to talk about how poorly all of this is aged. <laughs> Key says, uh, but is this situation forever be a stain onto them? And I said, probably not. The worst they were was negligent and or irresponsibly stupid. It's not like they groomed anyone, nor were they still in contact with someone who did. There's, there is a degree of separation here after all, but I can't keep slapping people on the wrist for shit like this. Some sort of punishment is in order. Keyblade says, you're true on that, even if it does make me upset. Where does Lyo want to talk to them? I said, the courthouse tomorrow. Keyblade says, the most I can hope for at this point is Lyo is stern but reasonable. And I said, he usually is. You somehow read all of that and said, let me get this straight. Wait a minute. Susie, you wanted them to leave temporarily, but it sounds like they are leaving permanently. Honestly, I've lost respect for Susie. These make me so mad. Key, take your time. Like, you're getting lambasted badly in her comment section. Badly. Or sorry, sadly. 
Don't forget All Tippy's right. little message. So... Yeah, oh, Tippy's message is how can you screw up this fucking badly? I'm so angry. But honestly, this this is more directed at Musically Bright here, who apparently can read, but came to some sort of a conclusion that I'm being a, I'm being two faced about this. Okay, so there was two sets of context to just double check this. Uh, from the chat message. Was this specifically from a VC chat? Or was this... This is a text chat! chat. I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have oh, it in yeah. text form if it's a fucking voice Stop. chat! Stop. Stop. That's why I was... What part of stop do you not understand? Does your brain not connect Fine. with your ears? It doesn't matter where the stinking chat came from. Those are your words. That is what you have said. That is what you were communicated. I don't give a left testicle of a rat down somewhere on Broadway which specific chat it came from. It's irrelevant. Are those your words, yes or no? Yes, they are. Then yes, they are. And that's an why I was asking. Okay, so here's the, con here's the context for that chat specifically. Specifically. The stuff that was going on. You're so I was typing in various chat walls. Oh god, your internet uh, is uh, atrocious. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have no control over that. You don't need to talk back with an attitude, honey. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Uh, I know, sorry. but No, I'm not sorry. Anyways, anyways, to clarify, to clarify as to what the entire two two things two things one i actually need to reach out to you for a specifically different reason i will get to that that's not relevant to this but two but two two to be more specific you promised them that um them in particular oh, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I mean, I I would say I'd cut. I I would say I'm cutting you off here. But you your internet's not post doing that call. for me. And um, you doing it was the breach of trust. That's what I was on. calling you two face for. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I let me cut you off here. You know, before your internet does that for me. Anyway, so first and foremost, I didn't promise shit. I didn't promise anything, really. Like, where in that, where in those messages did I promise anything? I said that they probably won't have this as as a permanent mark on uh, on their reputation. Of course, that's not happening considering we're here. But you know, I wanted to be hopeful, so I said probably not. I said they'll need to rebuild that trust on their own accord. As in, they have the chance to do it. I didn't promise fuck or all. Don't put words into my mouth. <laughs> and what was that second point? Because your internet was, as I said, cutting out like crazy. So I'll address that second point. I just need to know okay. what the fuck I'm responding to. I'm sorry. The second point was this. I have no control over the internets, clearly. Uh... So here was the second, okay? Uh, okay, I actually wanted to reach out to you privately, privately for a different. All I, was, all, I, all I wanted to ask about, ask about was for the video to have a disclaimer, because I noticed in particular, Keyblade was starting to get some form of harassment in his comment section. That's actually why he did take down his, took down his videos. I, I suggested it since I noticed you. people were going after him. I didn't get any uh, message from I couldn't you. private put you. There's a reason for it. I message you on Twitter thanks to, thanks to the new thing on Twitter. Then how am uh, I at messaging fault for this, fucko? How am I the problem here? I was not calling you at fault. At fault you for that one. You me. And if it you sounds like you're calling me two days to five minutes ago. Wait. The two. You literally said that was the second thing, fucking thing, point. Thing, also, the dumbass, second, you I couldn't DM her, or you could have fucking added her and said, I need to talk to you about something. I didn't. I'm going to be honest. If I did that straight up with no forewarning or anything, anything, wouldn't that make me look, look suspicious? No! No. 
Stupid. No. It's better than making assumptions about me out of fucking nowhere. Musical, how old are you? 22. Old enough to know better. This is <sighs> asinine. Yes. We, we are literally on the biggest communicative thing the world's ever known, the internet, and somehow people like you fail this miserably. This is asinine. I need to make excuses for it. You couldn't communicate via comments, try Twitter one more time, go to Discord, see if she had a business email, go to her Kofi. So you just went, fuck it. She did this. Really? No and then you blame her for it? And on top of that, you had the ability to contact Susie on Discord because you're talking to the two mush mouths that got torn apart. Uh, Stupid. They're not done yet. Being I actually apart. did have a reason for that. I have a reason listening. for that specifically. I'm listening. It, I was didn't want to reach out to Susie that way because I annoyed her Discord personally. And if I did so, did so with no forewarning or anything, and that make me, me look weird. That's okay. You know what? So no, now, can I, can I ask a question, please? Can I, you know, can, guys, guys, let me get, can I, I, need, I need to ask this person a question. Who the fuck are you that you're gonna sit here so self important and just assume shit on someone's character? You apparently know Susie well enough to talk about how disappointed you are in her and how two faced you are, how, how two faced she is, but you can't even like like take a second to realize that Susie is the kind of person that has a lot of people come to her about a lot of things and maybe she wouldn't find it weird. You didn't even try. Hey, Susie, um, on your Twitter settings, um, what do you have it set for for um, direct know, messages? I don't know. It's whatever Elon has set it to at any given fucking point. I've, I've given up on oh, trying okay. to keep any sort of settings on okay. that. But okay. Like, regardless, um, I don't know how I'm supposed to be the one to blame when she she didn't even No, fucking... you're 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 still not, but <sighs> <laughs> I was I was just asking for the sake of context. Um before we get into before I get into the other kind of flaw in musically in BL's logic. Um let me ask BL real quick. Um you watched the video, right? Yes, I watched Okay, so you knew that there were other people in that call who likely had contact with Susie Doodletones, the uploader, namely other people who were actually involved, Lyle Convoy and Heaton, and you could get in contact to them to in indirectly. Did you try getting in contact with them? I actually did try getting contact with you also. And Exact same, and I had no idea what your Discord. Also, here's with, another question. With me? Yes, yes, yes. Do you know yes, who you're you talking to right now? On Twitter. Yes, I do. I who are you talking fully. to right now? Leo Convoy. Because I wasn't in that video. I know you... that b me and Lyo are both fossils, but we're not the same person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, fucking Oh, I am so sorry. I, I am on my own. So I am so, so sorry. <sighs> no, How do you apologize pull? to Susie. Sorry, Susie. And I, and I, do, ex <laughs> I do accept accountability. For what I did. At this... I, I would like to believe that, honestly. But given how often we've heard that in this call alone, that you're gonna have to... You're gonna have to forgive me for being a little skeptical here. It, how do you and that is completely you? fair. Again, how do you, again, I am an outs... Again, I am out an outsider. And I'll be honest, my original intent for joining this call was just a... It's Porky and Tippy. If you're an outsider, why the fuck are you getting into shit you know nothing about? Stay an outsider. Mind the business that pays you. Understood. This is Thank amazing. You. How how do you confuse 
Boonslayer with me. His Twitter is Lion Man Bad. We all follow him. I am literally the easiest person to get a hold of here, and it gets me nothing but grief. So how you somehow bumble stumbled your way somehow away from the one person you could contact, which by the way, <laughs> you're kind of lucky you didn't. Because my first response would be my response to you would have been, it's none of your business and butt out chicken legs. Yes, that would have been sir. my response. So now that we are done with you. Understand. He, he. Yes. What time is it where you are? 9.41 p.m. Good. I'll come back to you shortly. Hippie, unmute. Uh, I'm not, I'm not muted. Good. You see, I have to ask. You know why I have to ask? Yeah. Because you're in a, in a call with an audience of 79 people, and I really don't feel like scrolling through it to find your goofy little name. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I am not impressed with anything I've seen here from either of you tonight. You've lied to me multiple times, which, frankly, I expect from people like you. You have made absolute jokes of any relationships you've had here for the sake of some lunatic who very well may have preyed on children, by the way. Just want you to be aware of that. I have somebody in Susie's comment section say, if something happens to you two, that has to be on my soul. I accept that term. I'm going to ask some very direct questions. What harassment did Keep? What harassment did Keyblade get on his videos? Uh, I believe I that. I asked I... Tippy. My bad. I'm sorry. I believe like uh, the harassment that uh Key got were. Basically mocking him How constantly. Many? How many? At the very least, more than ten. Ten. Oh dear, ten. Oh, oh my Maybe. goodness. Perhaps twenty. I oh, also count. 20. I. I also count uh, the stuff on Twitter. Oh, landing oceans. He's truly somebody who needs to be sheltered from. Criticism. And they threaten him. <laughs> did, like... did they threaten him? Yes or no? I recall at least one, but I don't remember the name. What was Where the they... convenient? What was the threat? Basically, they wanted to actually, like, uh, uh, inflict harm on him by, like, Strangling, if I'm right. Saying I want to is not the same as saying I will. Do you know what a threat mm. is? Uh. <laughs> what do you mean, uh? It, it's late where I'm at. Also, Tippy, it's late I don't where care. I'm at too. Go ahead. Also, Susie. Tippy, I'm gonna be a hundred percent with you right now. You're both commentators. Mm. You both have dealt with far fucking worse than one dude in a comment section or one dude somewhere or another saying that they want to strangle Key. You both have fucking dealt with worse, and I know you have. Yes. And stop being a pussy pussy. Like, it's y'all, amazing. Y'all both were around when Sherman was roaming around. Just putting that out there. Yeah, that reminds me. Tippy's still in the Sherman database. You might want to fix what? that. What? At least I think she is. Yeah, I may be confusing them for somebody else, but I know somebody from that stupid call is still in the Sherman database. Maybe it was Neko Shadows. I could it's probably be Neko Shadows. And the reason I, I could be mistaken... remember right, I left. I literally just said I could be mistaken. You want to know why I could be mistaken? Because all you morons blend together after a while.
You know, one of the biggest problems with insular groups on the internet is that they don't actually know each other for the most part. They don't know what each other's lives are actually like. But after having some life experience, you can tell to a point. Hippie, you live a pretty sheltered life, don't you? Mm hmm. Uh huh. Your parents pay for everything, don't they? Yes. When was the last time your parents disciplined you over anything? Uh, my mom constantly. Uh, I said disciplined. Week... Be aware of what that word means. A few years ago. A few years ago. And what was the disciplinary action? To not shout at uh, your uh, figures. Do you not know what words mean? Uh, I asked what the disciplinary action was, meaning what discipline did she give you? My non my my mother's not great, admittedly. Yeah, I can tell. You can tell a worksman by his work. Now, what are you if not the fruit of her loin? Mm. Maybe you can uh, look that one up later on and figure out what I just said there when you're replaying this at three o'clock in the morning in your head tomorrow. All you right. are not you are not used to being taken to task over anything, which is why your reaction was so volatile. That's the truth. He I better hear you. Thank you. You're the same way, aren't you, big boy? Yes. Uh huh. He, do you remember what I said to you yesterday when I told you that you should thank Susie for the venue? Mm hmm. Why did I say that? Because, uh, you wanted to, because you would have done far worse, like bring me here. What? And what did I say would have happened if you had a call in here? Would have been torn to torn to shreds. Oh, there was more to it than that, big guy. Under a massive crowd of people. Getting a little warmer. Well, since he made a spectacle. Well, since you're too stupid to get to the main beat of the thing. We have someone here who wants to have words with you, apparently. Now, Dragon Knight apparently wants to as well, but I don't think they're as involved as they probably think they were. There's somebody else here. We should be able to unmute. Maisie, do you have anything you want to say to these clowns? I only really have a few things. And I'll make it quick because... It's late, and I'm sick. Neither... Both of you... Neither of you are the... It, neither of you are the protagonist of a shonen anime. And this is not your tragic backstory. You hurt, either directly or indirectly, several minors on top of several friends, including your supposed best friend, Keyblade. I hope neither of you ever live this down. And I, and if you are ever caught lying about this again, and I have direct contact with you, I will use it. And I will not use it lightly. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you, Lyle. I would also, I would also like to relay a message from Night in the Shadows. I mentioned this earlier, and I never got a chance to. Um, so, Key, I think you might want to listen on, on this one specifically. Okay. Uh, but, Tippy, it is also directed at you, too, so wake up. All right. So, Neko Shadow says, this is directed at both Key and Tippy. I'm fully aware I'm no saint in this entire mess, but at least I have the metaphorical balls, the goddamn spine, if you will, to stick around and face the consequences of my actions. 
I've been telling all of my friends, thanks to Ellie prompting me, I thank her for what fully to give the uh, thing. I thank her for that fully gave me the push that I needed. And even my own IRL mother about what I did. Not only have you both spat into both me and Donnie's faces, but in the face of literally everybody in that call that showed you even the tiniest bit of kindness. I hope Lyo finds out where you are and metaphorically chews your faces off. Okay. Dragon Knight apparently really wants to talk, so I'm going to let them talk, and hopefully it's something in... Doggone, their name is Jackal Sniper. I shouldn't let Pikey run him buck. There we I'll go. Get him. I got him. All right, Dragon Knight, you can talk now. Okay. So, fortunately for you, Tippy, I don't really have anything to say that no one... that nobody else has said. So, I guess you can just tune me out. This is mainly for Key. So. There have been a lot of realizations that I've had because of this call. A lot. And I'm going to be upfront and honest. For the past year and a half, I hated Avi. Because I thought that he was a scumbag for blocking Donnie. Because I thought that he was just doing it on a whim. And when I tried to ask him what was going on, he ignored that message. And so I thought that it was going to just be like, ah, oh, no, it's whatever. You want to know what was never told to me? That was for his physical health. Now, Avi not saying that to me is one thing, but I'm pretty damn sure you knew. What? His, that Avi blocked Donnie for his physical health. Keeping his core soul low. Hmm. Oh. I'm pretty damn sure he would have told you when you talked to him. I'd just like to confirm, by the way. Uh, yeah, Keyblade did come to me uh, in, t on, in Twitter DMs and asked why or if I had uh, him blocked specifically and i said yes because of again like the incredibly stressful situation i was in not a, like a week or two ago um but yeah like along with having just general heart problems and not wanting to deal with added stress to thank you for the clarification yeah no problem buddy so key From my understanding, you found that out instantly. And instead of relaying that information, because relaying that information would have solved the entire issue in a day, one single day, you decided to drag it out, make it an entire thing. Like, So, I don't know if you know this, but I, throughout my life, had had bouts of paranoia. But initially, they were very occasional. But after that situation started, they became incredibly frequent. And I thought it was because of Avi, because I thought he was a scumbag. But no. The worst thing he did was not telling uh, people when he blocked them that he was doing so for his physical health. That's the worst of it. That's the most criticism I can give him. But you knew. And throughout that entire situation, I did not see a single goddamn message 
you did not say anything in any voice call saying that it was because of his physical health or because of any situation that he need to like step away for a bit none of that so it wasn't avi that caused me to have frequent bouts of paranoia it was you and i'm not the only one that has been hurt by this situation you've whether or not you want to admit it, hurt multiple people, including Donnie, under the guise of trying to help him. Mm -mm. All because you want to act like a hero, trying to be Donnie's knight in his shining armor. But here's, here is something that should be important. A hero doesn't always do a grand battle. Sometimes they do small things, like getting cats out of trees when they're stuck. That is a very small thing, but it's a very good thing to do. And this was just a cat stuck in a tree. And instead of just trying to climb up the tree with a ladder or something to try and get the cat down, you tried to chop the goddamn tree down! Oh, is he done? No. No. All right, then let me be very clear. Be more concise. I'm sorry. Key. I know you haven't learned anything. Because this call made me realize that you haven't learned anything for years. So, I want you to know this. If a situation can be solved with a simple relay of, hey, he's doing this because of his mental health or physical health, nothing to do with like hating you or anything like that, relay that fucking message. Don't turn it into a goddamn anime fight because whenever you do something like that, you cause people to be hurt. Because you've hurt Donnie in that situation. The person you were trying to help. And you hurt a lot of other people too. Is that all you're ever going to say, Kia? Mm. Look, this is, this is hard for me to take in. Why? Because it's like, I genuinely did want to do the best for Donnie. Well, hearing this, it just it hurts. I see. Well, like I said, sometimes being a hero isn't a grand battle. It is just getting a cat out of a tree. This is or a cat could, in a tree situation. Or you, or you could simplify it instead of going on weird metaphors and just say, sometimes you can just not be a dick to somebody. Well, I wanted to use a metaphor so that he would understand better since he likes doing the metaphor shit the the problem with that is that's all he's done the truth of the matter is when it comes to people like key when it comes to people like tippy you don't hit them with fiction you hit them with reality fiction is where they sit and where they're comfortable and where nothing ever challenges them that is not where you hit these people fair enough i'm sorry But yeah. Kaku, what what is your what is your relation to all of this? Because I I really don't feel like staying up another hour because I'm supposed to be up at three hours for work. If there's not a direct relation to this specific situation, then you don't need to be heard in this call. So what is your direct connection here? Um. Hey, what? <clears throat> Sorry. 
I was uh, one of the. Uh, I was a. I'm a. I was a close friend of uh, the uh, Key and Tippy, and uh, I. I don't partic. And I just. I just wanted to say just. Because I've been hearing all of this, and it's just been um. Making me particularly angry because of uh. What I want to say, some hypocrisy that was kind of that I feel like has kind of been pointed at me from Tippy specifically. Because what, hip- what hypocrisy th- would that be? Uh, I think uh, a lot of people here know that I used to um. I used to fucking go. I used to fucking def. I used to the fucking defend V when all this was going on. Like I didn't. Like I did, I didn't think, I didn't okay. believe that he did. Okay, it. okay, okay. Stop. I want to be very clear here. I don't know you from Adam, and nobody, neither does anybody else here. I understand if you feel bad that you defended somebody, you want to be in a scumbag. I get that. I lived that. What does that have to do with this specific situation? I I just wanted I just wanted to say because like because I remember me, me Michelle saying to me that like he kind of drifted apart from from me when like all of this was going on because of my connection to V. So your point is under- your your point is hypocrisy of this individual getting on to you for a small period of time where you defended somebody you thought was innocent, whereas they're communicating with somebody who is an active simp and feeding and abetting this individual and saying nothing. Yes? Yes. Okay. That is scummy. Tippy, you're a moron. Did this actually happen? Did you do that to this person? Well, yeah. Yes or no? Thank you. Not an essay question. So you'll hold this person by that standard, but not yourself, not all your little buddies? Asinine, it's embarrassing. How do you people fail so miserably at something so basic? This isn't about... I'm going to be crass here, and it's not my intention to be. The problem we have sometimes in this server, or in general, taking people to task, is how many of them are on the spectrum. And sometimes it's hard, very hard, to fill out the difference between a misreading of signals and true failure. This is the latter. The reason why I can 100% know this is the latter is number one, intentionally hiding it. Number two, convincing other people, including literal children who hide it. Number three, when you two, both of you, are taken to task in a, per, in a server far more restrictive, far more polite, with people who mind their P's and Q's far more, you lie through your teeth, you learn nothing, and you turn around and act like we're not going to know when you're screwing up again, when you're turning around and causing more trouble, when you lie behind people's backs, when you sit there and you try to just pretend like nothing's been wrong or you're trying to mitigate the fact that, oh no, somebody's getting negative comments in his YouTube videos because he did something really stupid. That's why in this case, not an excuse, not a reason, not even a possible one. Right and wrong. Simple concept in this case. In some cases, it may not be. In some cases, it's hard. And that's why I said in that call, if that clown had threatened any of you, there'd be some leeway. Because it's very obvious you two are terminally online. And I don't mean that just the typical brushing away type thing. I mean literally. You just had... He here admit he doesn't do anything. He just spends all day on the computer. And you're no different, are you? Well, I do help my mother from time to time. Congratulations, you do chores. I do that every time I come home to make sure my wife doesn't have to. Working a full-time job. And a secondary job. This is the one time Ponder can make fun of me. The secondary job for a long time was doing work on an indie comic that they never paid me for for three years because I'm stupid. So yeah, not going to be a clearance with me. 
And I've screwed up before. I'm not going to pretend like I haven't. There's a reason why this call is situated like it is now, because one of my previous screw-ups was letting the peanuts, who don't know how to keep their mouth shut even in text, which, by the way, making this clear, in the very, 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 very near future, we are going to be addressing some of the way this room's culture has affected things and influenced things, because way too many of you have gotten too used to running your mouths. And if you were put in the same seat, you'd do just as poorly. Because you're in a server called Senate, based on a freaking meme, doesn't mean you're more important, or that you're better, or that you're smarter than some of the other clowns we bring in here to tear to pieces. About time some of you learned that. I'm not beyond reproach, and neither are the rest of you. One of the key things we can learn about all this nonsense, one of the key things every single person in this call, in God's creation, needs to take in mind is communication. Number one, if you have a problem with somebody, I don't care if it's a big creator, I don't care if it's a small creator, I don't care if it's a peanut, I don't care if it's me. Talk to them first. Directly. Period. I had somebody this morning Miss Reed, something I wrote on YouTube, or not on YouTube, on Twitter. You know what they did? They didn't, they didn't go on Twitter and start making accusations. They didn't go on YouTube to make a big video. They asked me what specifically I meant. And I was able to communicate with that person. The person is in this server. They're not a mod. Which people seem to think it's some high, high on the sky type of nonsense. No, we're all dorks. We communicate with each other. Because when you don't, crap like this happens. People who should have been long gone in your communities are still festering in them. He should not. After the call Honda and I had with the in this server years ago, should not still have been around. Much less had somebody sympathetic to them in plain sight that none of you talked about. And even then, got the kids to hide it. Put children in harm's way. There's a lot of things, a lot of things I am way too tolerant of. People on this server even make fun of me for it. You guys have no clue how many mod calls we've had where Jason goes, Well, guess what, old man? You're stupid. You're trying to help too many people. You're trying to help all you stupid commentary or internet morons. It's going to bring you to an early grave and I'm going to laugh at you. Almost every mod meeting. That happens. When it comes to this, people have got to stop this type of nonsense in your groups. And that's not Susie's fault. I want to make that clear. It's the fault of some of you other clowns who try to cultivate your own spheres of influence because it gets you up on a high horse, makes you feel important because you had nothing else going on in your lives. Get a job. Because one day, you are going to look up, you are going to be 50, your parents are going to be dead, and you'll have no way to provide for yourselves because you spent too much time in fantasy land on the internet playing anime character. Knock it off. And you know, initially, I was thinking about embarrassing Key a little more. A little bit of that mean streak that I seem to have cultivated. Key, do you know what I was going to do when this call started? Can you guess? Um... Like, make a spectacle out of it? No. Don't need to. Mm. You already are yes. alone. But you know what? As much as people like to sit here and think that I'm the big mean person, I think these other people from this tiny little community that Susie says is filled with marshmallow people, I think they ripped you apart more than I could today. No, it's not that. T guess again. There was one very specific thing I said to you. The thing that scared you the most when I brought it up. What was it? And you would have, like... A like, hunt of, like, I guess, the mo of, like, people I who don't know me roast me? No. I said, I'm tempted to have you get your father. Mm. I'm not going to. The reason why I'm not going to is twofold. Number one, you know, I have my disagreements with certain people. But I think in some cases they might be right. You're an adult. 
You might live with your parents. You might do literally nothing with your life. And I think you could if you wanted to. I don't believe that people on the spectrum are invalids and capable of taking care of themselves. I will not degrade them in such a manner. But if your father raised you to have such little concern for other people, for their safety, or for your own, I'm going to let you reap that whirlwind on your own. He's going to have to deal with that when the time comes. I will not give him a warning, nor will I give you one. One day, you are going to screw up in a way that's not going to result in a Discord call. Maybe you're going to hit somebody with a car because you're texting while driving. Maybe you're going to mix the wrong chemicals and you're going to find out that your lungs are, in fact, flammable. Maybe one day, you're just going to piss off the wrong person. They're going to hurt you. And you will learn then. For me, you have given everyone in your reach enough grief. You and your stupid little friend Tippy here that you are so interested in trying to white knight that you tell people, tell people, that the person that put them in their place took them to task that you hope they kill themselves after they'd not only lost their father but also attempted on their own life. That's who you are. Character is not what you do when everybody's looking. Character is what you do when nobody sees it. You've shown yours multiple times. Matter of fact, the only criticism at this point I can give to Susie and their group, too tolerant of this type of behavior. Like I said earlier, when they told me that they playfully picked on you for simping over Pippi and other people, I told them no. You see somebody do that behavior, you squash it, you kill it immediately. And I'm going to expect to see that. Because otherwise we're going to have repeats here. And nobody here wants that at all. I don't like being up till 1230 at night talking to some pair of goons that don't know how to function in the real world. Don't know what accountability is. I don't like doing that. I really have high blood pressure. Should have been in bed three hours ago. Instead, I'm talking to you because I gave my word that I would. And that's who I am. I don't know. Ellie, are you still around? Yeah. Do you actually want videos from these people? I do. I, I, I do. I, 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 I do. I'll tell you right now, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. But this is your right. So... That's all right. Not the, uh, if that if that's the case, then I can deal with I can deal with having myself to blame. That's all right. So At least I could say I tried. Here's what's gonna happen, Key, Hippie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you if you have made promises to people, you will keep them. Do not, do not, get stupid enough to try the alt game with me, Echo Coda. Don't do that. Don't think that whenever you say something, it won't come back to me. I told you idiots in the last call, I will repeat here. There's always going to be one of two people. Someone who is willing to tell on you or someone who is afraid of me. And they will tell me if you two are up to more nonsense. I don't want after these videos are done, because Ali's asked for them, after they are done, I do not ever want to see you clowns in this vicinity, in this community. You saw what happens when people dick around and they come back. I did it to V, and I did it to Jorg the other day, or Jorm, or whatever his stupid name is, who pulled almost the exact same stunt, and all it took was him realizing it was me talking to him for him to nuke everything and run again. No more. You are not an anime protagonist. You're not going to train harder and come back and beat me. You're a nobody nothing that doesn't even know how to fill out a job application. Learn how to do it and go live your lives. Once it's done, be gone, stay gone, don't come back, piss off. Do I need to say it in any other ways, or do both of you understand? Do I need to get some crayon and some kind of construction paper and write it in a format you'll comprehend? Do you understand what I am saying to you? Yes. We, yes. yes, I understand. You're I both understand dis well. 
And all wait, three wait, of wait, 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 wait. Um, you, you forgot. Oh, uh, Aaron's request. Ah, uh, yes, Aaron's request. Thank you. Let me see if I can do a good Aaron impression. Probably not. I don't have the class. Oh, two requests before I go to bed. Ooh. I want Key and Tippy to post the scripts to their videos in their descriptions. And I want the edit history logs for those docs as well. I'm not dealing with another star giant escapade. I want full transparency from the both of them. Other than that, night night. Oh, you understand? Yeah, that sounds pretty mm -hmm. good. Yes. You understand? Screen cap, yes. mm -hmm. screen cap the editing history and put it. That in is the not what he said. Uh, he said post. If both of you are too stupid. To, if, if both of you are too stupid to pay attention, something very simple is read off to you. And your endeavors are sunk already. But you know what? That's ultimately going to be Ellie's. Rodeo in this case. I, you know what? You know what? No, no, that right there just changed my fucking mind. I don't mm. give a shit anymore. I don't give a fucking shit anymore. You're just a fucking idiot. I can't believe I actually had tears over this whole bullshit yesterday. I can't believe this. I just. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. You're an idiot. Both of you. Both of you are so fucking stupid. Stupid! How did anyone take you seriously? Ever? In any vicinity? Ever? Oh my god! Don't, don't, you know what? Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Because I, you know what? I, at the end of the day, it's gonna be hollow. It's gonna be hollow anyway. Anything, anything you guys want to say behind my back? I, I don't care. I don't give a shit. I, I just want to have my hands be rid of you. I never want to hear your, your, your high-pitched squealing. Your, your, your stupid fucking... An your 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 dub anime voice ever again oh my god what the fuck oh wow i'm spending i I'm, I, I spent way too much time it's obvious i spent way too much time talking to you it should have been zero because you just wow oh my god you're both dismissed beat it all right so is your goofy little sidekick. And while that is the brunt of it, that's still not all of it. Because after the Senate call and everyone went to bed, Musical.ly reached out to me for some extra clarifications to things that did not matter. Obviously, I wasn't too fond of our conversation, and you can kind of tell going through these DMs. I did get some info as to who the hell she even was, though. This nosy third party was apparently a friend of Tippy's who didn't even know who he was, so that's annoying. Stay in your lane. Post, uh, almost editing doodle, uh, I just need to say, uh, I also told that to Musical.ly's face, too, when Tippy wanted to get in a call with me to inform me that she didn't know what he did. Uh, something I thought was going to be a waste of time, and spoilers, it was. Okay, now it's working. Good. God. Good. What do you want? So, apparently there's, uh, like, uh, I've been talking to BL, and basically there's a lot of stuff that he did not disclose me in regards to, uh, what he did in, re in regards to his relations to others. Okay. And after, uh, so I'm talking with Zephy as well, uh, Basically, uh, Zephy pointed out that the stuff that happened between me and him with the co-op on Starlight Last Fire would have probably been, like, the red flag. And I, I want to ask, what did he do? To get kicked from Cloud Palace? No. The stuff in relation to Neko's... The stuff in relation to Donnie, anything. I need to know. Be well, in relation to Neko's, after this whole situation went down, he broke up with her, and then had a call with Ellie, where uh, effectively he said something, something 
along the lines of he cared more about you than he did Neko Shadows. What the fuck? Don't act surprised. No, I I am. Like I I don't didn't wanted him to prioritize me. Like <sighs> Like sure, he he's been very supportive of me, but <sighs> In regards to Donnie, there was the whole thing between he and Avi last year and you know about that. I know you know I... about that. We've had conversations about that. Yeah, I I know about that. Uh I did not know about how uh he essentially screwed over the friendship with uh with the both of them and and how he did it. As uh the all... as far as uh, information, that's what I have. If you were coming to me to tell me about information, much like BL was trying to tell me, or m musically or whatever she chooses to go by, she was saying that you apparently had information you wanted to come to me about. So why are you asking me what what new information is? Like, what, what, why are you asking uh, okay. me these questions? Okay, I, I... Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It's just... There's been a lot going on, so give me, like, a bit. Okay, so let me just, and like, uh, no, this here. All right, so, I think it's like this, it, it basically is the stuff relating to Senate, where he basically did not really, like, he came honest with me. Yeah. About any of this shit. Neither were you. All I right. called you out of- I called you out for that in the call, remember? Yes. Okay. You weren't exactly honest either, so again, why are we shocked? Alright. I shouldn't even be surprised at the- honestly. And I- I- and, and being honest, like, I don't, like, why am I even, like, doing this? Good question. <sighs> you're the one that, wa you're the one that apparently wanted to reach out to me. So said your friend musically. Yeah, in, in regards to what he did, in regards to, like, Nicholas yeah. and Donnie. Well, what did he do? Apparently, you have information. So, what is oh, this information? Me. Okay, so... What? What? Uh... To be honest, there's... That's not it. That... There's just a few... Alright, uh... I know I've mentioned important... But you can not written more... To, that's not it. Uh... Yeah, that's right. Just fucking... No. And I wish especially Kenny disclosed one of the pa uh, some of the past stuff too. I had no idea some of this, and to be honest, in the eyes of others, I look like a complete defender. If I know some people who have different stands, I knew this. Uh, I didn't knew about some of the stuff that happened with Kenny. Well, I just knew some other. I didn't realize they were recurring pattern. And okay, Kenny especially has a lot of answers too. Is there any new information, Tippy? <sighs> Uh, I apologize. If you have to, you can get your buddy Musical.ly in here and she can speak right. for you, I guess. Alright, all, all give me like a... Alright. She was asking to like... Yeah, like, to be here as well, so, like... That's... that's yeah. fine. Uh, 
o'clock. So again, I repeat, what information do you want to tell me? What was so important that I had to unblock you? All right. So it's good. Um, I'm just trying to like process everything. Musically, what did Tippy want? I, yes. Just uh. So it turns out there is a lot he never disclosed with anyone, including Tippy. Tippy okay. especially. Okay. So. So what? What so, is it? This, it, so, here's the thing, okay? Okay? Uh, All right. Okay, there is a lot of stuff. We okay. were discussing this with someone else. Else, uh, Tippy, can you mention first and foremost the thing you were talking about? Talking about in, talking about in the chat? Uh, like, Tippy is having a hard ago? time finding it, which is why I'm asking no, you. No, no, I'm not. I'm not it, having no, 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 no. Uh, something else happened before she got in contact with you. Uh, oh, yeah, no, Vigil, uh, you tried to call me. Why are you still in contact with Vigil? Why are you not I having a call? I didn't. I removed him from the contacts. And he tried to call me multiple times. I did not want to see him again. Why did you not again. have him blocked? I blocked him. Then how I could he can't sit there and call you? It's in a phone call. Uh, what? Block his number! I did! Then how is he calling you? I block. Like, I did not know, like, why was someone, like, was calling me until I realized the message. And it was him. And I blocked him here and there. I did not know the phone number. I did not know the. F I didn't remember the phone number. It was a new. Like I did not know about the phone number until he messaged me, and I blocked him on site. Uh. All right. What else do you? Got? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. It's just I don't want to. I I will I I'm I'm taking as much fault, but I don't want to talk to him again. Okay. But what does that have to do with Keyblade? Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. But that's why. But that's why it's taking Tippy a moment. But <sighs> I already stated I'm not speaking for her, but I'll speak in regards to myself. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. For, first and foremost, anything in Senate, especially in regards to Key, he he never brought up brought up to me, me or to. Anyone else else he's been talking to to in the past few days. And, and that is an active problem. Uh, what did he not disclose? Not, all, any single all the situations all the situations he was called out for, he never disclosed to anyone. Uh, so it's just like a matter of like communications being damned. Um, uh, there's also the fact that this is the warning sign where, um, so the stuff with Sherman was the red flag for me, because here's the thing, uh, I told Key that, uh, that premiering the video was not a good idea because of multiple people what targeting, video? like, the call between me and him on Starlight Less Player. Okay. Which initially was a premiere, but then it turned out into like a full release due to like the doxing. Um okay. so uh basically I told Key that re premiering the video was a bad idea because Sherman was basically like um I know, I know Sherman was doing Sherman things. That was his yeah, prime and target I, at the time. And basically he kinda like downplayed on that by saying that like he was it like uh Sherman was targeting big creators or people that are like closer to Susie, like to you. And I'm like, I mean, okay, but like Ray Kamiya isn't really a big creator as far as I'm concerned. And he also got targeted 
he also got targeted and um he just told me that things are gonna be fine and because i was a stupid fucking idiot or uh i'm not gonna say that word uh i just follow along with the fucking thing and yeah i got the bombarded with docs and looking back on this and i've been talking to zephy about this as well uh yeah no this was like a fucking warning sign i and i wish i could have seen that is there anything I... else that he has not disclosed because that's not really so, relevant there there is actually more more okay. but this is on tippy's end so i want her to address it but i'm gonna make something something clear clear with the scripting uh because i saw the script he posted uh in senate he would he kept emphasizing on and on again again how important the video was how important the video was to multiple people people so seeing that script was shocking and the fact of the matter is too too is this uh he also did share share some screenshots with one specific person. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be stating who not to drag them into this. Uh where they were talking about a lot of stuff he did. He never disclosed any of that either. Either Be so. specific or there's not any point to this call. This <sighs> is very specific. No, you are not being specific. You are being vague. You oh. are not telling me any name. Well, one, you're not telling me any names. Two, you keep alluding to vague things that he didn't disclose, but nobody, like, you guys are not really elaborating oh. on what it is he didn't disclose in the fucking Senate call. So, in I'm going to be the on. current pattern of uh, the, the whole, like, uh, suicide stuff. Or just being an inconsiderate of, as fuck towards others? We know about this stuff, though. What did he not disclose in the Senate call? <sighs> I should probably clarify this. By this. It's not what he... It, uh, it's a fact straight up. It, it's a fact straight up. Not, uh, neither me, Tippy, or anyone else else talking to you at the moment knew about it. Okay, but what and does that he, change then? It why, changes why, quite a, why is... It changes, it changes quite a bit for this simple reason. Reason. The fact he, 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 he never brought any of this up, uh, up or is even acknowledging it is an issue. I mean, yeah, it's an issue, but we've already chewed him out for his issues. Like, it doesn't change anything in the regards to the to what happened in the Senate call. You guys are not giving me any new information other than the fact that you guys didn't know what he was doing. But first and foremost, Tippy, you should have known of this stuff, considering what we had, uh, the call we had in the courthouse. Second of all, musically, you're butting into all of this stuff without knowing any information anyway to begin with. You didn't know Key before hopping in on on this uh, uh, hopping into the situation, and you read like uh, you you read some DMs, kind of half-hearted, made assumptions about me, and then like acted as if I was being two-faced behind the scenes when I quite clearly was not in the, the screenshots. At the end of the day, Tippy, you should have known what was going on, and musically, you probably shouldn't have gotten involved to begin with. It doesn't change anything. This is not new information. Yeah, yeah, I know. <clears throat> My bet on that then. Just <sighs> this is just a this is just a waste of time that I did here. I would say so, cause again, nothing is really ch being changed. Yeah. This doesn't That's put fair. you. This doesn't put you more in the right. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh. It doesn't frame anything differently it, again at the end of the day it just shows that you didn't know what you should have known Be especially you tippy considering we considering we chewed key out about that in the courthouse mm -hmm. 
The video wait, was then. My, the video wait. was then. You, I know, you were not in the call when that happened. However, I you did, did. I did see, not. The video I came did, out before the Senate call. You I should have not. The video. I did not watch the video. That's on you then. That's not on. That's not on Key. You should I, have known. I, that. I, so should it musically should... actually. Now that I think about it, considering you got into this only af uh only after the 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 call was released, you probably should have known too. Actually, come to think of it. So, so I knew. So I knew about the stuff in the call. Anything else not brought up in the call? This I had no idea about. And Key but, but never Key's, brought it up. But Key telling Ellie to commit suicide was in the call. So you should have no, known oh. this. That's not what I... God, that's not what I meant. It was everything else around the call and the fact to... And the fact to, in particular... Uh, uh, in particular... In particular, he has done this stuff before that wasn't disclosed. Because that changes the context quite a bit. How? Simple. Simple. Uh, simple. Straight up. Straight up. My entire stance on key, key, key does change, change, change by knowing, by knowing how much key did. Just like. Then you still went and have caught. What does that change? Uh. Uh. I'll go and talk to him whenever he gets back. Me and Zephyr are going to have a stern talk as well. Also, uh, yes, I'm going to like leave, eat, leave again. Uh, uh, Zephy has nothing to do with this at all. No, Zephy does have something to do with this. Hmm. Uh, what do you mean? Zephy went to Zephy went to Umbris to try to talk her out of making a statement about all this. Wait, excuse me. Oh, don't act like you didn't know. No, I don't know. Oh, don't act like you didn't know. Wait, excuse me. No, I, no, I did not. Zephy and I quote. In the DMs with Umbris, they say it's not a good call to throw stones at glass houses, but nevertheless, whatever you do to choose go about things, all I'm asking is be very careful, be firm, but be fair. They fucked up, but they've already faced disproportionately large consequences as things already stand right now. That sounds to me like Zephy was talking to y'all before he got involved with Umbris. Don't that act was like you didn't that know. That was because Zephy already had, like, issues with Umbris. But that has nothing to do with, like, this situation in particular. No, it does! Cause he's tr- Cause Umbris was a victim to one, your negligence, two, Vigil, and three, V. To sit there and tell Umbris not to speak on her uh, on her experiences, on being a victim, you know, being able to speak out about what she's gone through. No, Zephy's uh, every bit of a part of this is the rest of y'all. Uh, however, I, I thought we worked that shit out by the end of that call. Because we, we had a nice call with Zephy where we had him... Uh, apologize to Umbris. So, I thought that that was all well and good, so I don't, I don't... I don't know. ¿Qué pasó? Eh, voy a sec. Te puedes ir, mamá, por favor. Eh, no, no, no. Uh, give me a moment. My mom is here, and I don't want her near me right now. Okay. All right, just... Just... All right, I... I... All right, she just left now. You know, Zephy was a part of it. Now, right. grant you, again, Zephy ended in, on a relatively positive note. Or at least I think he did. Yeah. But he's still a part okay. of it. He's still getting name dropped in the follow-up video. Mm -hmm. And his call will be shown. 
I was actually currently right. working on that before I hopped into this call. All right. Gotcha. There's actually something I wanted to ask, though. Sure. Ask so specifically. Because here's the thing, okay? Okay, to make something clear. Clear. I already explained this to Tippy. Tippy. Uh, first and foremost, I am practically, practically a nobody, so I would just really like to know this. Know this specifically. Uh, specifically. Why did you want me in Senate to ask... I didn't so ask, ask you in Senate. I didn't even know you were in Senate. Oh. Okay, Wait. gotcha. Okay. That, okay, gotcha. Good. Yeah, no, no, like... I was, I was, I was just pleasantly surprised that you were there, so then I could ask you about how you fucking read my DMs with Key. So, okay, so, because here's the thing, because here's the thing, and I'm going to be honest. I don't, I went to Senate for one purpose, and only one purpose. Purpose. I just want to make sure, make sure, make sure in particular, in particular, he, he, and to a lesser extent, Tippy, Tippy didn't fully crash and burn in the call. That was it. That was it. Oh, because otherwise, sat, Tippy got a chance to huh? sit nice and comfortably in the Senate call. Didn't you, Tippy? Well, I didn't say anything because I knew what you expect. Like what? It, like what else could be said? I wasn't. I was feeling frustrated, but I knew what to expect from it. Anyway, as you were saying, musically. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, that's the only reason. Reason why I came in, came in was just for that. Nothing else. Nothing else, because I did not. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Thing. I'm not talking to anyone, anyone, anyone in the community at this point. I, at this point, minus you, you of course, and that's just for clarifying stuff. Stuff, and then otherwise, See, and then otherwise, that's it. I don't even know why at this point you need that clarification. You didn't know anything. You hopped into Senate. You got all the information you needed. What more is there to clarify on? I'm going to be in a video video in relation to in relation in relation to to both to both and I'm going to put this nicely. Tippy and Key's fuck ups. That's that's kind of a that's kind of a problem. Okay, but what is there to clarify? You know that it's happening. I know that. I know that. That's why that's why I was doing the transparency thing. It was for me and nothing else. Cause I don't want people coming after me. Me, of course, when I have otherwise not done oh, anything else. God. I just Okay, if you really want to know what I have to say to you, is that you're a third, like, again, as, as I put in our DMs, you're a nosy third party who went in half cocked and shouldn't have gotten involved. And now, you're even more involved to something that you should not have been involved with to begin with. And that's fair. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, just, uh, I, I just think I wasted time here. <sighs> uh, I'm just I, gonna say this, Beal, just don't, I'm saying this right now, don't involve yourself further on this. Alright, gotcha. Just, I'm, I'm just gonna, like, uh, I'm gonna, like, stay, step away again, but, that's mainly because my mom has been like very worried, but yeah, I I w this is just a waste of time. Gotcha. All right. Uh, All right. Sorry for even bothering. Sorry. But, like, take care of yourself. You too. All right. All right. Christ. 
By the way, to the surprise of fucking nobody, Tippy straight up lied about not knowing about Key's behavior prior to the Senate call, because Ellie sent me these little screenies that she got from before the Senate call happened. Should've called Tippy out about it in the call, but I was so fed up and done with these three goons that it didn't come to mind. It's also disappointing to hear that Zephy is still f potentially feeding into Tippy's behavior. Here I thought the call between him and Nezzy went well. Shows how much faith I should've had. I mean, she's got a fucking whole ass echo chamber by the sounds of things, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. You know, just... <sighs> Let me make this clear for anyone in that chat, be it Morphos, Musical.ly, Zephy, or anyone else in there. Tippy put minors in danger. To keep telling everyone to be quiet about it shows y'all ain't learning shit. If you keep that up, you're just going to put more people in danger going forward. Fucking stop. But even that still wasn't the last of the calls because there was one person we missed in the initial call that probably should have been there. Firebolt PT. Now, I warned Lyo ahead of time that Bolt was relatively young when he was told to be quiet about the information surrounding Vigil. He was 17, maybe fresh 18, and Lyo was understanding but still wanted to talk with him because he had technically sat on the information for a year himself. Now, I'm personally a little bit more lenient on Bolt myself, I'm willing to give the kid a second chance overall, and I'll play that call during the outro because it's strangely wholesome given the circumstances. I like to describe the two as a boy scout talking to a scoutmaster. It's pretty fun imagery. I'll probably draw that as well for the outro. Anyway, to wrap up, because we're just about done here. So what now? Well, I will say my messages at the end of my last video are a bit instantly outdated. I still stand my ground that Doll, Mav, and Neko Shadows, while should stay gone at least for a while, generally those three have some manner of integrity, at least in comparison to Keyblade Master and Tippy, which Low bar, I know, but at least they succeeded that much. And who knows, maybe in a few years' time, maybe after some growing, they could come back around these circles if they wanted. Maybe that's just me. I can kind of be a bleeding heart, but I'd be okay with those three after some time. Just, you know, I, I drop at least the grudge. You know, whatever. As for Key and Tippy, well, I've had a handful of people who I've been particularly hurt or disappointed by. Ray Kohai, Crimson Paladin, Neko Koda, but I guess I can now add Key and Tippy to that list. You both should have known better. Y'all have been duplicitous for some time. From lying, trying to downplay your involvement in the situation, Tippy, to Keyblade's continual disregard for fucking anyone that's not himself or Tippy. Like, even down to the Senate. Like, guys, Tippy, don't think I didn't notice how apathetic you came across throughout the whole call. And Key, your utter lack of understanding to anyone that isn't Tippy is fucking absurd. Like, what happened to you two? You both are pretty respected commentators in this little niche community. You both had a lot of friends there. Y'all were seen as pretty good commentators by a majority of the community, but after all this... I wouldn't be surprised if most of those friends burned that bridge. Literally, all you had to do was not agitate the situation, not double down, not lie to people about what happened, not continue back alley or shady actions to keep yourself leeched onto the community. I ain't ever wanting to see either of you two hanging around here, not after those actions. Get some help and stay away from those you've hurt the most. Have a nice night and fuck off. I'm done here. Uh, Susie, speak. Hi. Okay, okay, thank god. Uh, I'm on mobile right now. Well, 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 yeah. Well, I'm also not, uh, yeah, I, I have, yeah, like, uh, I'm also not, not specifically home right now, but I think I have enough time to at least, like, uh, talk. I mean, Lyle's also got, like, ten minutes, so. Okay. This is probably going to be a pretty quick conversation. Hello, Lyo. Hello, Bolt. How are you doing today? I'm actually do I'm doing a bit better ever since ever since uh yeah ever since uh the the whole thing began. I ended up uh, I actually ended up uh, starting to be a bit more active in trying to, in uh with with my actual life, which has at least been uh, helping me. I see. So, real quick question, not a derogatory. Yeah. I want 
to be clear about that before we continue. Are you on the spectrum? Yes. Okay. I am on That's the spectrum. Fine. I just, I just wanted to make sure because, you know, I, I tailor how I speak depending on what they are. Okay, so it was my information that you were told about all this back when you were a minor and were told to be quiet about it, correct? Uh, what, uh, I, I will, I will say I, I was, uh, I, uh, I was, I said this in the chat. I was, I was, uh, I think five or six, six months into being 18. But yes, I was told this around uh, April of uh, like April of last year. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Why didn't you come forward? I wait. What do you mean? Sorry, I'm, oh, wait. Wait. Oh. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I, I just understood what you meant. Okay. So the reason I didn't come forward was oh, it's because I was told not uh, not to say anything. By whom? Um. Uh. Uh. My fr uh, my friend Milo. Milo? Yeah. Uh, I my, think yeah, that's uh, the uh, same person that Mav Station cited as their reason. I see. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna ask you an honest question, okay? Yeah. Are you nervous right now? Uh, slightly, yeah, but not. Why? Like I've had plenty of time to prepare myself. Okay, but why are you nervous? I, I guess just kind of the gravity of the situation. Very reason to be nervous. I'm going to make yeah. this very clear and very quick so I don't fry your nerves, yeah. okay? Mm hmm Never, ever keep something like this quiet again, regardless of who asks you to. I promise. The reason why I say that, let me finish. Did you listen to the call we had this on Susie's channel? Uh, I I, li I listened to, I listened to a bit of it. I did hear like a a bit of like yeah I d like a. You need I to go listen. You need to go listen to the rest of it because here's the truth of the matter: people who have been preyed upon by monsters like that, if they do not get proper help to disconnect from that person, they are still going to want to protect them. It is best not to go by their wishes when it comes to informing people who are around them. Because that gives them the ability to prey on other people. And that cannot be tolerated. That cannot be accepted. Now, because you are on the spectrum and you have been probably shielded for most of your life, right? Yes. You may not understand these social cues. So this is your one time where I'm going to be very polite and gentle with you. I'm going to tell you, don't do this again. You understand? I understand. So next time, if there is, hopefully there's not, but next time, if you yeah. know someone who's pals with a predator, a general scumbag, or somebody doing other dangerous or damaging things, you tell the people that are around them so they can make the decision whether or not they should separate from them. Because if not, what happens is what happened here. People sit on things for over a year, sometimes two, for extremely stupid reasons and put people in danger. Mm -hmm. Do you understand me? I understand wholeheartedly. I hope you do. Because if you and I have to have a call like this again, I won't be as polite. And I know. just so you're aware, you, mm -hmm. you need to go listen to the rest of that call. You're going to hear me get angry. Be aware that it's not the angriest I've been in these situations. I'm... Yeah, I'm well aware of that. I'm a regular watcher of your content you, for about a, I think I think since you ended up uh, I was first made aware of you when I when you uh, exposed uh, V. Keep your nose clean. Mm -hmm. Inform people when there's someone dangerous around or somebody willing to associate with that dangerous person. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, that's all I need from you. Go ahead and have a good night. Thank you too, Lyocon Convoy. Thank you so much for talking with me. You're welcome.